Minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. My goodness, we're here. Hello, hello. Welcome everyone joining us on the chat, everyone joining us on the replay, everyone just watching without doing any chat. Uh, anyone that's sleeping through it, just remember to hit that like button uh, in your sleep. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Hello, dear. Darling. I am, I don't know. I feel out of it today. <laughs> uh, we're both a little wrecked. I don't know why. Movie. Just life. Yeah. Would you like another drink? Uh, yes. Uh, I'll let's... make it for you. Perhaps yeah. you'll get very tired. Oh. <laughs> Does it smell like it chloroform? Doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't taste like rohypnol at all. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Jay. How are you? I'm here. Ready was... to pay for the karmic debt. And I'm not even Buddhist or Hindu, so what the hell? Well, there's your problem right there. Yeah, I could. Exactly. Hmm. How was your week? Ah, it was here. Uh, I was I, I was starting to uh, sympathize with Fiona. If I see one more goddamn summary of 2023, I oh may throw God. things. I can't block them fast enough for my recommendation. Yeah, it is. Hundreds of them. Hundreds uh, of them. Can, Ours can was the just, only one that counted. Can we Jesus Christ? Well, and, and again, we were like, okay, 20, it happened. Now let's talk about shit that's actually good. Yeah, let's talk about them good movies and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then also I've had uh, at least a hundred iterations of Steamboat Willie show up on my feed. So oh sure. Thanks for that, YouTube. Oh yeah, just, don't, just don't stream it. Yeah, I meant to download that clip. Shit. Maybe I'll do it during the movie. Um, I did want to play that clip that you sent me. Yeah. Yeah, some poor guy got some lawyer. A lawyer. Yeah. Well, you explain it, Jay. It's your clip. Yeah, so um as many people know, um, come the first of the year, the uh, the run of the public domain brigade begins, um, and Steamboat Willie, uh, the first uh, appearance of Mickey Mouse, has entered the public domain, and as many people would have noticed on YouTube, January 1st, suddenly a whole bunch of uploads of Steamboat Willie showed up. Um, yeah. Now, there is some question as to uh, which images you can use, um, you know, some other things, busy, but yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's copyright law. It's always a shit show, but, um, as we've discovered, uh, time and again, the YouTube bots, uh, that, that handle, uh, live streams are rather different, uh, than the ones that handle a standard upload and, um, a, um, uh, attorney who was, um, discussing, uh, the copyright implications and the and the uh, potential problems uh, with using Steamboat Willie and was using a small clip uh, from Steamboat Willie got his live stream killed and a community strike uh, with no appeal available, Ooh, which was hilarious because yeah. he was busy discussing the very thing that YouTube but, then came in and did to him. stomped on him. Fucking YouTube. and he's got I think he's got like a hundred and some thousand subs. Oh my god. Wow. wow. Normally I think that sort of those numbers make you immune to a lot of bullshit, but apparently not. Yeah. I think, um, so as I was kind of run through is, you know, again, we've seen time and time again, the, the problems with the, with the live stream bots. Um, so 
it's easy because of the the upload stuff uh they use a lot of of basic fingerprint algorithms um to identify copyright uh work and and they can kind of do that as it's being uploaded and then also scan it um as it goes and then run multiple layers of bots live streams are a little more complicated and so i suspect well i know that they're using different algorithms but i suspect that they're having That's to use way. more trained neural net um type stuff and it is very easy to add something to a neural net. It's very hard to remove something because you essentially have to retrain um, with that um, piece missing from the data set, and and that's not a uh, not a trivial task. So I uh, I think well, there's a reason we we get hit pretty regularly again because they're op they're singing out of different hymnals um, yeah. for the bots. But I think that um, if you try and 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 use uh, Steamboat Willie clips in in live streaming for a while. You're gonna have a real problem, and I think it it opens up a, a bigger concern um, that is gonna keep brewing up with public domain works and other things um, that YouTube's will automate all the things approach uh, is gonna start um, causing problems. Oh, well, speaking wow. of things you can't get rid of, here's our favorite otter, Mister Smiley. Ah, Hello oh, there. I'm very well, thank you. Very well. Um, that is incredible news, R2. Well done and great timing. Um, that is yes. amazing. Um, did anybody else get slightly aroused when when Jay was talking there about neural nets and data? I love it when he uses words like that. It makes me a little tingly. I, so I thought I thought you would get excited about the fingerprinting. <laughs> <laughs> the With thumbing. The sexy yes. brain on Jay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good, everybody. I'm uh, I'm ready to go. Fantastic. Oh, boy. Right. That makes one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing the uh, definition the enthusiasm. ready. <laughs> Speaking of one of us, one of us, it's our old friend Jetherbot. Hello. Hey. How are you? He's gone. What? <laughs> He's not even muted. What? We lost. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> Sorry uh, to sneak up on you, but uh, that's all right. <laughs> I'm enjoying my first movie? drink of the year, sober January, officially over. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> and uh, dry day and, is done. Yes, that's right. And uh, also, in the course of that, apparently, bumped my mic or something. I don't know. There Technology is hard. There you go. Yeah, you sound good now. Woo! <laughs> we well, I I will say. Uh, Jethro sent me uh, a couple of links for shorts, and one of them kind of blew my fucking mind. So we're gonna watch that later. Oh god, it's not the cat oh. video, is it? Oh, Jesus, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my my mind is long gone from that. Um, are any any of you familiar with a, a kid show from the fifties called Andy's Gang? Uh, it doesn't sound no. familiar. Uh -huh. I mean, well, there's a good reason. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the Red Hand Gang. <laughs> it's just it's, it's I mean you yeah. you may have seen it but but psychological uh you know uh, defenses have gone up and erased it, it from your brain. Yeah. yeah. It's it's pretty special. So we'll quite do, likely. Quite likely. Yeah, we'll do that right after the feature. Hey chat, how is everybody? Amelia's here. Black, Black Lives, lives. Here. Professor. Jamma. Jamma's here. Gamer, Jamma Lama's here. You dead. You dead. You dead. We have auto representation. And Melvin. Melvin. Oh, hey, Melvin. Yeah, Eraserhead's here. Oh, yeah. And I think that's the crew right now. Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of other people streaming right now, too. So uh, yeah. I'm not, yeah. Too, uh, not too worried about it. I'm sure people will filter in as their uh, inhibitions get lowered. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, we wouldn't know anything about that. Gosh, I'm just all excited. I don't have any inhibitions. I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm all excited about this Ahsoka news, man. Yeah. Wow. Yes, truly, my nipples explode with delight. Man. Well, from what I understand, Disney like cut a bunch of shows loose for low ratings. So. No, that's not true. I I have it on excellent authority that that everything has been a stunning success. That, that they're selling <laughs> oh. everything at 
massive yeah, numbers. You uh, read last week's news. I, I must be wrong by the everything that I read then. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're reading wrong, just like you watch movies wrong, for God's sakes. Yeah, really. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I did all the clicky clicky behind the scenes. Uh, what else is going on in the shithole known as Hollywood this week? Any other news? Oh, well, uh, David Soul died this uh, oh, year. Oh, yes. yes. yeah. Right. I, I, I've been actually overdosing on the episodes of Starsky and Hutch um, for about six hours. <laughs> good on you. There was another. They're so good. They're still great. God, on the soundtrack, the uh, for, for each episode is brilliant. It's so jazzy and cool. It's excellent. And and Huggy Bear oh. is excellent. Oh, he's he's just a. Uh, I don't know what it says about me, but I always like Huggy Bear was always my favorite, just because he was such I, a character. Yes. He was mine as well. He was mine as well. I loved him. He was he was like Angel from the Rockford Files. I loved Angel. Oh was, yeah. I was thinking about it a lot. It, it, when um, when Starsky and Hutch aired in the UK, it just felt like uh, this was a time when anything that was American was kind of exotic and interesting and exciting. I mean, um, not many of us were really jetting around in the very early 70s. So it's probably like late 70s before everybody started to go further than, than Europe. Um, so we're seeing these big skies, massive cars with loads of chrome all over them, um, you know the the the, uh, uh, the the big tall skyscrapers and all that kind of stuff. Very tanned, healthy-looking humans, as opposed to the pasty ones that we saw in our police dramas. <laughs> you know, it was just it was just a different place. It was just incredible. So look, even now, going back and watching a few episodes, I thought these have aged pretty damn well. They're still good, well, and you it, can see them all on YouTube. They're all it free. had to be very confusing for you to see Starsky and Hutch, two cops that did not have mustaches. <laughs> all dressed in leather. That's true. Yeah, it's weird, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> there are other types of cops, apparently. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I don't know how to feel about uh, the word exotic and American being it's, used I know, but it, I can't think of a better word. I really can't. It was just so, <laughs> it was just so alien, so different. I mean, things like the fall guy and all that kind of, you know, uh, um, you know, those, those kind of productions were all the same. I mean, they all wow. have that same feel to them. And as for the oldest gamer, yeah, Knight Rider, we loved Knight Rider in Britain. Every child of the right age was talking about that the next day. Everyone was doing the impressions of the car. Germany was probably on fire at that point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Well, oh. I mean, the the Barbara, you mentioned the the thinking it's odd or whatever. But if you if you go back, like you know, the Europeans, uh, like in World War One and World War Two, when they first saw Americans, the first thing they thought was, "Look how tall they are, <laughs> right?" And and mm. and broad shouldered yeah. and all that, right? Because the Europe had had kind of perennially had problems, you know, providing enough food. And and all that in malnutrition and bad genetics, right? And yeah, <laughs> and that's just in the aristocracy. Um, no offense. The, yeah, everyone had teeth in your in your shows. It yeah, and they and they were more or less straight. It was very exciting. Um, but yeah, I, I remember coffee. reading accounts of of like civilians who saw um, like the Doughboys coming over in World War One, and they that gave them more just seeing. Now we were shit as troops because we hadn't trained for more than like eight seconds and yeah. and, and didn't have any weapons. Uh, we had to get them all from the French. Um, but when they just saw the Americans walking, you know, standing tall with broad shoulders, straight and and uh, you know, well muscled and all that, they they just thought, well, these supermen are coming in to save everything. Took a bit yeah. of time. Um, <laughs> and and the same with like World War II. You know, the the two things they remember about Americans are you know, the, the size of them and then chocolate and, and the sheer amount of, oh, of material, sure. right. That, that, that we brought in. Yeah. Our um, sheer lack of, uh, manners and uh, culture doesn't really apply in war. I've been occupied by the Germans. They were hugging they, the buffet uh, table. We were, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we put our arms on the table. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> uh, explain to the truth they didn't actually own france now just because they were there. <laughs> nobody wanted to own france did uh, it had did already you, been uh, broken by previous owners did you get the professionals in in the states did that trouble 
No. no, no, no. I saw someone mention that in the comments, and I was if like, you haven't, no, I don't I mean, recognize if you, if that. If you actually watched that that series, it, it is a tremendous slice of uh, the 1970s, and it's our version of Starsky and Hutch in many ways because it's just got it had the budgets, it had a, um, the mm -hmm. occasional explosion and car chase and stuff. Some of those episodes are directed by Martin Campbell, who directed a, a, at least three of the James Bond movies, so yeah. they actually do have some um, uh, you know decent um, production value. Uh, mm -hmm. I, Honestly, American television was, uh, I mean, the only way I ever saw anything imported for, from England or from anywhere, truthfully, was if it was on PBS. PBS. Which is, yeah. Yeah. Like six episodes of Monty Python and six episodes of yeah. Monty Python served. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I rewatched um, Professionals only about four or five years ago, and um, the first two series really hold up. As soon as it hits the 80s, it all goes rapidly downhill. But um, th those first two series are superb. So, yeah, I recommend those. Um, if, uh, I, I think if you're I mean, looking I, for something a little, you know. I certainly <laughs> saw printed, uh, plenty of, of British shows in syndication um, in the U.S. You know, The, the Prisoner, um, you know, mm -hmm. I saw... Um, the you know all of the 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 um comedies um that came over um that was a mix of both syndication and and pbs um but like you know doctor who i mean i watched sure. um you know the, the that was, Tom Baker that was era the only way the, i saw doctor who was that was on pbs, PBS. yeah but yeah. my parents uh man they loved that uh are you being served? And that that other show um, with Judy Dench. What was it called? I was I was thinking the one with the the, the keeping up appearances. Um, my in laws absolutely loved watching that because the the woman uh, was constantly um, oh, yeah. trying to to outdo the neighbors and and act like she's all sophisticated, and the yeah. husband is just. Put all that on. class, isn't it? A lot of a lot of um, uh, UK comedies about class. It's more. It's, it's usually about class rather than um, uh, race or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the social climbing that we quite enjoy watching. <laughs> same with Faulty Towers. It's the same thing. He's yeah. trying to uh, yeah. you know become Benny he, Hill. He feels he is. Yeah, yeah, Benny Hill. Yeah, Benny Hill. Faulty. Amazing. Yeah, Benny Hill. Uh, I could never get into Faulty Towers as a kid. I, it was on a lot, but I never really sat mm -hmm. and watched it. I don't think I watched it until I was like in my late teens, early twenties. Yeah, I, I, I can I, remember watching it like early mid teens, and and it was it was humorous, but it it didn't it wasn't quite as over the top as like Monty Python and all that stuff. But then as you get older and you you get a lot of the subtext and the and the social positioning and things like that, then it becomes a lot more funny. Yeah, it's yeah. like the opposite of Benny Hill, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As far as comedy goes. Why can't uh, I think of that? What is the name of that show with Judy Dench? Why can't I think it? of it? What is she doing? What's going it was, on? It was her and her husband, her like second husband. Who, they were both widowers or something. Oh, the but, um, something. Uh, as time the, goes by. Yes. No, as time that's goes the by. one. As mm. time goes by. Yeah, my parents loved that show and Are You Being Served? And it was they were like back to back on Saturday nights, PBS. Hmm. Yeah, my mom was a huge fan of uh, uh, As Time Goes By. That was, a, that was a big one for her. I think actually, I think she liked keeping up appearances as well. Uh, but uh, uh, Are You Being Served? That was that was definitely more my thing. I, I loved that. Um, and, and my dad used to look like that. In fact, when I look back, all of the programs that my um, my dad used to watch with me as a kid all had um, an occasional moment where a lady would often be in a bra or have, or, or <laughs> you see the top of her stockings. <laughs> and there was a little bit of that in Are You Being Served? So I think that's probably why he watched it with me. <laughs> I'm not saying he was a massive pervert, but I'm just saying. Probably. <laughs> but, but he was a man. So yes. you know, it was kind of implied. Yeah. Well, really the other thing is, my dear uh, old dad would say to me in times like these. Yeah, uh, <laughs> masterpiece theater was another one where you saw a lot of BBC yeah. um, dramas and and you know yeah. series. I loved masterpiece theater, and I also loved uh, mystery. Mystery. Oh, uh, I it, haven't thought that of that. Opening forever. animation was so hilarious. I loved. Well, I loved the intro with all the yeah. Edward Gorey. Edward Gorey, yeah, that man. Oh, I love that. 
uh, the, the the animated in, intro though with the, oh you know the the, mm-hmm. the yeah. woman laying over the, the yeah the, the painting couch or whatever yeah. she did no she's on a she's in a she's graveyard a I think graveyard oh, she's on a yeah. tombstone yeah it's been a while. um yeah I loved masterpiece and I also loved uh mystery yeah yeah I actually saw a really great uh mystery once with Helen Mirren um and it may have I mean it. It was it showed here on, P- on PBS Mystery, but it was Helen Mirren was a, a female detective and she kept getting a bunch of shit from all of her male co-workers. Um, but she was the end. Of, she was the one who ended up catching a serial killer. And it was a really good, good show. Wow. That was a, and that I can't remember what it was recent, called either. Like like pretty up to date when it aired. Prime on, Suspect. Uh, oh, That's yeah, those are great. Yeah. yeah, she did a few of those. They, they were. Yeah. yeah she, it's an excellent part for her. Yeah. Well, and bear yeah, in mind, it's amazing really that that too. woman can still walk given that she did sleep with Liam Neeson once. <laughs> yeah, they were oh, together she's basically for a while. Disabled. Yeah. 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 <sighs> she had to get a artificial. When I was a kid, uh, there was a show on Nickelodeon, <laughs> a clip show that used. Hello? Oops. Yes. I unplugged him. Oh, oh, was no. anyone listening to him? I'll put him back. Well, here we go. Oh, hang on. They showed <laughs> the, like. Huh? Did you? you can you guys out. hear me? We yeah. can yes. and occasionally. Speak, yeah. Speak. Okay. <laughs> we can. We can hear okay. you so much I'm... better if you were using your voice to speak. <laughs> You're using your inside your head voice again. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's called Turkey Television. And they showed a lot of clip shows. It's on Nickel. It was on Nickelodeon when I was a kid, after school show, and they showed a lot of adult stuff that was like edited, including Benny Hill. Oh, really? Yeah, huh. yeah. Um, well, but they showed the like out of it. I mean, yeah. yeah, they showed stand-up comedy where they would just take you know the swear words out, but the context was still there. It it in looking back, it was a really inappropriate show. You know. Uh, Considering what else Nickelodeon showed at the time, you know, it's a, yeah. that's a weird pitch. Yeah. Like, well, we're going to take this stuff mm-hmm. that can't be shown on network television and take yeah. all the naughty words out for little kids. Huh? Well, you remember, you remember that, that wretched Canadian show that they showed on Nickelodeon pinwheel. Oh no. yes. Oh, yeah. I thought, that I that you was do that on television. Well, you can't yeah. do that on television. Was actually amusing for a kid, but Pinwheel was this LSD trip mm-hmm. of like experimental. Oh, we're making a kids show. None of these people had kids. I'm gonna guess, uh, and it, it was just bizarre. And it played for like six fucking hours in the morning. And so Nickelodeon was essentially like off, totally off the the, you know, stay away from it. It's it's evil until like afternoon when when they switched to something that was not a psychotic nightmare the, the only canadian yeah. shows uh that showed up on british television were um degrassi street um and um and then later it would have been uh the kids in the hall yeah kids in the <laughs> for, hall for a lot of years that was pretty much all we got out yeah of that there. actually showed up on hbo for us oh really yeah 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 yeah, yeah. no that, i used to love kids in the hall um, yeah I, was, I think I was I was into that before pretty much. Cabbage else head has been shot. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I liked the um, oh, what was the guy that was the uh, the guy that was trying to threaten everybody to a tennis game? <laughs> Do you remember that? that no, I, I always remember the guy that was crushing people's heads. Oh yes, yes. Oh god, I love that. Crushing your face. <laughs> oh, crushing yes. your head. I'm crushing your crushing head. Crushing your head. Your face. Yeah, uh, the the guy that played squash. It was, was called called Indominator, I think, or something like the Indominator. Eradicator. <laughs> the Eradicator. 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 Yeah. That's the fella. Gotta look like that. Oh man. What's that guy funny was great. Is... And I love the Scott's uh lounge singer. Oh, you know. God, yeah. um, <laughs> oh I forget it. Those were so good. Um what I find is that I can go back to Kids in the Hall and, and still watch it, but Second City does not hold up. No. Ooh. It is rough. I mean, it was it was a bit rough when, on first air. There, there were you'd watch it and you'd be like, "Okay, I, I suffered through the three unfunny skits to get to the one that gave me a chuckle." 
and that's it. You know, the the Schmidt yeah, brothers were it, were always amusing. The Bob and Doug. Yeah, I think, Bob I think and Doug. A lot of those shows. Oh, yeah. I mean, even Kids in the Hall to some extent, uh, they are a bit of a shotgun. You know, they, you get some that hit the target and many that sort of don't. But the ones that do sometimes really stay with you, don't they? That's the thing. Yeah, about yeah. Well, and 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 it's that way. You kind of you kind of mentally block the first like two or three seasons of, yeah. of Saturday Night Live, which were the funniest <laughs> seasons. But yeah. there were some real fucking duds in in that yeah. in in the in those early ones that and you just kind of block it out and remember the still you know, land oh, yeah. shark yeah. or Finding or Bill Murray doing his lounge there. singer yeah, yeah. we all I've forget been, the I, killer bees yeah. yeah I've been referencing girl drink drunk uh, my entire life the chocolate choo choo still say it today so uh, so I guess uh, the kids in the hall girl drink drunk bit i you know. i think the mckenzie brothers hold up i okay. i will watch strange brew strange brew about every five well that's years. because max von yeah. Sydow carries the whole movie i mean come on, <laughs> that goes without saying but, 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 but what about degrassi street though that was like hard-hitting drama that was like um nypd for <laughs> yeah, kids oh yeah it? like the wire <laughs> in canada except everybody was much more polite <laughs> I, I used to love that show it seems so different from the acting and it was really quite good it was kind of it was kind of too good for it to be a kid's TV show. I remember an episode. It stuck with me my entire life about some young girl getting her first training bra. It just, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I, this story I, so why? to me. <laughs> Did your dad also watch that with you? <laughs> Tracy was at work that day. I'm oh, okay. Like... <laughs> mm. At the bra factory. Yes. <laughs> Mom, we're out of tissues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. We're going to need a bigger sock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're... <laughs> What is <laughs> Let's get to a feature. Ooh, okay. We have to. <laughs> well, if you want to get to the uh, Andy show, later. Uh, do yeah. I? Do I want to? <laughs> <laughs> Ask Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's lost all credibility after the cat hell that he put us through. <laughs> trippy flurkins. Um, I think that might have been a clip from Pinwheel. He put have your there. vegetables once you've eaten your vegetables, Jay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't have a whole lot to intro this movie with. Um, it's one of those weird ones I stumbled across on, on YouTube. It's uh, it, It's got this weird sideways sort of propaganda that gradually increases to like a sledgehammer to the end. It's, it, it's very strange. <laughs> it's very high concept. The premise of this is incredibly complicated, but there's plenty of exposition to go around. So <laughs> let, let me get on my whiteboard so I can keep track of what the hell's going on. <laughs> I've uh, seen the trailer. I'm still none, none the wiser. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Barbara, anything you want to add about this? You've seen it. Oh, well, it's, yeah, it's. Well, with that kind of ringing yeah. endorsement, uh, let's all get very excited. Brace yourself, guys. This is a good yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, it's, it is I mean, it's, speechless, for God's sake. It's actually, it's a pretty good thought-provoking movie. It's just... Um, there's a good premise, and, but they've overcomplicated it. Does it involve oh, yeah. Mormons it's, kidnapping it's, an entire it plane? It gets really heavy-handed with the, the propaganda, but it's, it's yeah, it's it's got a good premise to it. I, it is a good movie to me. And it's it's well made. It's well shot for what it is. Yeah. So um, oh, right. it's very much like taking a Twilight Zone episode and making it an hour and fifteen minutes. So uh, buckle up, buckaroos. Here we go. The twenty seventh day from uh, nineteen fifty seven, I think. Hey kids, how would you like to hear this on the screen instead of the great show you came to see? That's what you sound like. Honest. Please cooperate and do your part in keeping this theater quiet so everyone, including you, can enjoy it. I remember lots of adults and kids, too, paid admission to enjoy the show. We must insist on absolute quiet. Oh, I couldn't Otherwise, do it with him last weekend. We will be forced to evict all disturbance makers from the theater. <laughs> Those asked to leave today will be refused admission to this theater in the future. Don't you make Thank promises you. to me you can't keep. <laughs> Nerd. That suit was so shiny. Uh-oh, there's a Russian name. 
没关系啊。Uh oh, another Russian name. That was a feral red in there. Female producers, what? what did they know? Jesus. It'd be a <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy production. Ooh. Well, it's all right. There's an executive producer that's a man, so. Yeah, I wouldn't would subject you guys to Kathleen Kennedy. That guy stood around and was like, why don't you produce me a cup of coffee? Exactly. <laughs> Perhaps a sandwich. <laughs> oh. Well, she's produced a couple of things I'm very interested in. Yeah, it's maternity. <laughs> Time for the one. Do like it, it doesn't look a Lying. thing like me. What is it? <laughs> My impression of the coastline of Cornwall. Oh, oh Harry, color. darling, you painted the entire coastline of England. I mean, the, it's, it's just shades of grey, isn't it? There's like 50 away. shades of grey on that thing. Yeah. Never mind. Keep on trying. I'm going for a walk. You've absolutely no appreciation for modern art. Well, he's I do gay. so love how you insult and discourage me. <laughs> Well, she's seen his work. <laughs> Was he supposed to be British? I didn't. I, I didn't they, see they the both are. No. Supposed to be. Uh... He hasn't really grinned, so I can't really tell for sure. Yeah. Okay. He looks quite healthy. Yeah, he's got a, a soaking wet hot babe next to him. <laughs> she, she's well fed for a Brit. Where's yeah. Lincoln? His repression has uh, taken the form of art. Come with me, please. <laughs> oh. This is, oh. this is like how Atom cut Connor does and put us in his cellar. Exactly, isn't it? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sugars, three. Get in the magic bin. <laughs> Get in there. Someday you'll be the boss of Los Angeles. Oh, Thanks for the compliment. Starting to That's remember, I was on the beach. Someday you'll be the treasurer. I was on the beach. I was just Thanks. having a good day. Did I even finish that painting? <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> it was pretty shit when I saw it. Yeah. That's... Pedro Pascal there. Ooh. Oh, his early work. Models. Early work. Yeah. <laughs> 78th role of the year. Who's there? My name is of no importance, Mr. Clark. But I must ask you to come with me. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey. <laughs> really, hey. <laughs> William shut the lighting there. They're all gonna wake up and this puppet on a tricycle's like, did you want to play a game? I see some villagers are being re-educated. Is this Detroit? This is Detroit, right? It is Detroit. Okay. Sultan. Come with me, Sultan. I am liking it so far. This is well, fascinating. I'm ready. He's going to collect the whole set. Take my notes with me to America. <laughs> Got to catch them all. Honored by your invitation to the concert. She was the one who seemed to take it well. She was like, oh, yeah, she's okay. fine. Oh, well, the house is burned. Godzilla's on his way. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I mean, after your husband's been shot in front of you, what, what the hell? I mean, the good news is she's hoping to skip the big famine that's coming. Professor. <laughs> That's quite the map painting of a telescope, isn't it? Yeah. It would be difficult to get there without it. Huh? Very big well, erection. Professor, have a nice trip, <laughs> and we'll hear from you soon. Huh? Thank you. Okay, Mr. the illusion is Goodbye. beginning to be broken a bit. <laughs> Close <laughs> the door, Professor Bachman. Did someone call me? Professor, I'm afraid you'll have to interrupt your. I'm between two folks. It's a talking oh, bush. God, it's the bush. <laughs> person to Shouldn't you be burning? Why? Yeah. I'm afraid it's, it's not a... quite that simple. I have some commandments I need to hand to you. This is a this is a biblical story. It is. Twenty seventh day. Not and on the twenty seventh day, God created kumquats. <laughs> Ivan, he was high as fuck. <laughs> you are in no danger, Ivan Godovsky. Halt! Brian, fire! You're is the Ivan. entire first act just? Yes. yes. Oh, come on, yeah. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Wow. Edward Wood. Oh, the movie can hear me. It's like, all right, fine. Wow. Well, spaceship. You don't want to see can hear us. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's like a quiz show now. Star Wars trivia. The 300. Well, I sure am glad cool. I have a hat with me. Why do we have Russian Gregory Peck? 
<laughs> also, You'll somebody's going to be uh, left out because there's only two women. What are yeah. they going to do with just one member of craft work? Excuse me, aren't you Professor <laughs> Klaus Beckner? We've already discussed this. Women have at least seven holes. Oh, it's what true. What are we doing here? The Can professor we... goes both ways. It's fine. Yeah, no, yeah. I was writing a column in the office of the Los Angeles <laughs> Record Telegram. Somebody spoke to me. Next thing I know, I woke up here. Los Angeles? I was in England. And I, my dear, was in Collins. All of it. She was in all of England. She was, yes. <laughs> Not a specific Powers. place. Or all of England was in her. <laughs> her one time or another. Look at map. Find a town name. <laughs> it's pretty obvious where you're from, my dear. Rampsville. <laughs> ah. I am. God, we're not going to do yeah, shadow figures already. Me. Shadow puppets. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It's Grand Moff Tarkin. It's Dollar Tree Peter Cushing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I thought you got Daniel shot out in space and Superman Each of too. You is hearing my words and hears not heard. <laughs> stupid, stupid. Who are you? Well, since I'm a stranger to each of you, perhaps it would be simple. Wait, why do I think I've seen this? The alien. I don't know. Are Did you, you ever from? bother watching our channel? The name of the planet I come from. Not, is no, no, not, it, not on, on purpose. I mean, <laughs> only under duress. Where are we now? In space. I don't believe it. If you please. Oh, is that actor? Um, he 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 played. Um, he was an actor, but he but previously he was like Kodos or something. Um, wiped out a bunch of people. Kirk Kirk finds out, and his crazy daughter ends up like trying to kill the witnesses on the Enterprise. Furthermore, no measurable time oh, by Earth's okay. standards will pass while you're here. He's 57, so that's about a, a decade. Yeah, about, yeah. about 10 years, yeah. All right, exactly cool. I appreciate that aliens use ink scares. I mean... Time, as you know it, does not exist. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows fiberglass came from the UFOs. Actuality. <laughs> Why have we been brought here? If you'll kindly be seated, I will try to explain. Is he in some sort of German electronic band? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what he's brought to Earth. <laughs> I bring you. That, that's Kraftwerk. that's why Jethro asked, "What are we going to do with only a single member of uh, Kraftwerk?" <laughs> fun, fun, fun None on the autobahn. Yes. But as representatives of the human race, we are light then years ahead of you. Earth, this is a synthesizer. <laughs> this is a moog. We are here to help you save your beautiful planet. You talk as if the Earth were about to be destroyed. That danger exists. Your entire history is one of self-destruction. You have now what you believe in. Yeah. Total assholeism. We're building a highway, you, you see. Yeah. You <laughs> he likes to listen to my poetry. Give you these <laughs> Nikes. Yeah. For it is needed. Yeah. Put on the universe these special in which my Nikes. world exists is dying. Soon our sun the universe will be going into Nova. In which explode. my world is. Aren't we all in the same universe? Need a new world. Nah, uh, Marvel fixed all that. Oh, oh, God, it's more multiverse shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, it doesn't appear that there is a theremin this week. I'm hoping for um, bubbling vials, though. Yeah. Um, glass tubes. We are prepared. They would have busted it out by now, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, no, there's plenty of time. <laughs> I mean, we have globe lights. This weapon affects only human life. Well, we Nothing got a scientist building hard. a bomb, so I'm sure yeah, there'll exactly. be some sort of experimentation later. Five days remaining to us. If at the end of that time, midnight of the twenty seventh day, this is little notebook, time, you've not used it. The weapon will automatically become harmless. Uh, gamers got it. No Did the Russian guy get to keep his weapon. gun? Yeah, oldest yeah, gamers, right? We will. Please ignore that my contractor installed my lamps upside down. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Iceman. We're actually sitting on the ceiling. Hello. Whoa, what a feeling. Your race will live. Mine will die. I'll be filming a Lionel Richie video the later. <laughs> the weapons, one apiece, will be given to each of you. Right after I finish molding this playhead. I like that. Lionel Rich Richie reference there for the kids. <laughs> The day oh, the is, Earth stood a Kimbo. The day the Earth did an exposition dump. <laughs> and now, exposition. oysters. Yes. And now, the MacGuffin. Ooh, five mystery boxes. It's Mary Kay. J.J. Abrams wrote this. 
Not yet, Professor. I can yeah, understand uh, uh, your uh, curiosity. But they're protected. Iceman, was she watching the show here. or? Each of the boxes is tuned to the electrical <laughs> So sorry. Yeah, prom promise her she doesn't have to watch. It's no, <laughs> yeah. the one to your left is yours. Well, these these film choices will cut the right down. The next is yours. Yeah. Should I make her a drink? Yours? <laughs> if you have Sit to down, ask. You too. Yeah. The last is yours, Jonathan Clark. You will be Mr. Pink. Why do I have to be Mr. Pink? Because everybody wants to be Mr. Black. Just shut up here, Mr. Pink. Hands, the power of life and death. Each box contains three Paper capsules. Weights. Just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. You have to go through the shit. Just shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> Did, didn't he try that when he, he got kidnapped? It didn't work out well for him. Well, I mean, you know, he's, he's in mid Try it again. No. <laughs> there is then in the combined capsules more than enough power this to wipe out all human life on your planet. <laughs> To use the really capsules, you remove the spindle, place the capsule down, speak loudly and clearly, the latitude and longitude in the center of the target area. The energy thus launched takes only human life. Oh, this is definitely not energy an allegory for nuclear war. It cannot be opened by ordinary means, Professor. No, no, no. This movie is only far too subtle. Only your own waves will actuate the release mechanism. No other force She's probably wishing she had worn a different box. dress that but night. Once it has been opened, <laughs> anyone can pull the spindle, and any voice can launch them to their targets. What if we die? If any one of you is called by death, the capsules will become ineffective immediately. One more question, please. The vices of thought of everything. Do we have your solemn word They're that still if thinking. we succeed in keeping the peace for twenty-seven days. Earth will be free of invasion. You have my word, Professor. Twenty-seven days. <laughs> you ask us to learn in twenty-seven days what has escaped the world for thousands of years. You ask us to practice peace or die. The choice is not new, Professor. Only the weapons. Now, if you'll forgive me, time is short. Will you be kind enough to return to your seats and you'll be sent back to Earth? Peace or Die was a far less uh, successful arcade game than Skate or Die. Make <laughs> please. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Although the the, the the Buddhist monk level was pretty exciting. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I was hoping I could make fun of that this episode Jonathan, somehow. I forgot your last name. Where do you live? Clark, Los Angeles, California. I'm going to make sure I uh, dial you in. Uh, nice one. That's terrible. Okay. Must remember some mustache guy from L.A. I am liking the inserts of the... Uh, well, the good news is it's, his name is Clark, so that'll really narrow it down in L.A. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Operator, I'll put you through the clock straight away. Of course, <laughs> four one two. Could be a Doctor Clark. <laughs> what did he say about this again? Just go ahead and pull. Shake the, it. Uh, <laughs> did I lick it. What did I, I do with eat, it? I little little dab these? between behind your ears. Rub a bit on the uh, on the wrist. Whoops! I lost it. I lost it. Oh well. well she's running down the hill on rocks in heels. Yeah. This is one of the best ones I've seen. Real woman. Oh, the crushing oh, one. Well, it was a different time, you understand, 1957 or 58. <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and paint her killing herself. That's your free sample. I pad it with makeup. <laughs> the racism is just implied in the music. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually the reason those troops showed up and uh, killed everybody. <laughs> you know, turn that shit off, we're gonna kill all of you.
So no spoilers, but she's the only one that made the right choice. Yeah. And then I, and now I, you I, see why I said no spoilers, Black Lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also want to point out, um, if anyone hadn't noticed, she gets a name, but she doesn't get a single line, and no. she doesn't get a credit. Oh wow! Show. She, she does doesn't get a credit wow. in there, and, but she is listed in on IMDb, IMDb. for it. Yeah, but she doesn't I'm get a credit to... in the actual film. Is, it, is that because she didn't speak? Uh, <laughs> that or because she's Chinese and people hate her? I don't know. Very strange. But well, like, she, she didn't she's get a Chinese playing line. Japanese because she admitted Nari Curry. I don't know. Suicide is uh, borderless. Yeah, but... and it's painless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing she's fleshed out more in the book. <laughs> 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 it's a pop-up book. <laughs> Professor, we have to hurry to catch the plane. Yes, of course. I, I was thinking of ending the world, though. You see, I... <laughs> you fired Yes. What happened? I thought I saw something. You saw something? Uh, I guess I was mistaken. What the hell accent are they supposed to have? City room, Clark. Pasadena. Okay. Yes? Just a moment, Mr. Clark. I have a paid call for you from Cornwall, England. Cornwall, England. Well, there you go, Sir Alex. Oh. The West Country. They have ridiculous accents. Okay. That's right. But apparently, fantastic legs. Mm. Why, uh, of course I do. No scurvy over there. Uh -huh. How did you know where to find me? They have rocky, romantic yeah, shores. And shit painters. Look, I'm going to come to California. Now be sensible, Miss Wingate. Stay where you are. Look, I can't. I've, I've, I've made reservations on the midnight train from London, and, and I'm coming anyway. I'm leaving tonight. Now, wait a minute. I can't talk now. You can't take a train to L.A. from England. <laughs> Maybe they can. I want to. I just want to know if they do, if they actually speak to anybody in that part of the the uh, of England at any point because the accent is so distinctive. <laughs> Research? No, I don't. No, I wouldn't have thought so either. Maybe she was. I there mean, on given the quality of the alleged Russian, uh, no, I think it's going to be. Shot. <laughs> Basically, they all sound like pirates. Amelia. Maybe, maybe she was away. there on holiday. You don't know. They're watching Andy's game. Oh, my God. What do you have today? Let me have a steak sandwich. Medium rare. Yes, sir. Hold the steak. <laughs> hey, Joe, fix the television, will you? And nothing but trouble. This is an emergency broadcast. It's an announcement of the most vital importance. He speaks very well, doesn't he, the alien? Yeah. yeah. He's good to some sort oh, of he, he, is, he is excellent in the, uh, in the Star Trek episode so where he does Shakespeare. Of Earth. I'm starting to remember. I do remember that. Yeah, I do remember that episode. Flying saucers. Thirty-six hours. Yeah, I do remember that episode. of human race were transported from Earth to the space vessel from which I'm speaking. <laughs> Each of them has since been returned to Earth. Rigging with them information of concern. That's a great. She's wearing a trifle on her head. That's lovely. These five people are pie. Yeah, it looked like a cream pie. Yeah. <laughs> Professor Klaus Bechner of Germany. She's like, oh my god, it's happening to me again. She was also on that flight that got uh, kidnapped by the Mormons last week. Well, Julia Child said this is the latest thing. Yeah. Mayonnaise! Wait. Oh. Quick, rifle the body. I'll take the spot. Like a double feature with Doctor Strange, though. Uh, sure. yeah. Now, do some vaudeville. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, puppets. Damn it. Shut up, puppets. puppets. Word just in confirms that the strange stream. broadcast that has startled the world <laughs> has been heard throughout the Iron Curtain and the satellite countries. As to the question, was it real? The answer Rome, is now London, be held New York, to be, Paris, Berlin, yes. Detroit. Insofar as can now be determined, the aliens. 
Wow, look at that. Whatever he is, effectively managed to blanket every facet of the Earth's communication. I need to stick one of those on my house. In which he had his say. <laughs> Trying to figure out what that first word is. The FCC's official white private men, they are now white convinced. women, the swastika is calling you. <laughs> beyond and outside. I hate Illinois Nazis. <laughs> that one barber with the razor was just thinking, like, should I do it? <laughs> it might be my only chance. Where are the five people whose names he kept repeating? Through the years of holding back. What do they know? We'll never know because we weren't paying good attention. No one recorded it, and we're kind of fucked. disappeared from a downtown Los Angeles restaurant during the Aliens broadcast and is assumed to be in hiding. At LAX. <laughs> He's too old to be a newsie. <laughs> Isn't he Superman's dad, Jonathan Clark? Don't say anything. Yes. Yeah. Neither did I. How'd you find me? Sure. I didn't dare. Why are you? I kept watching the planes all morning. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I just laughed at something that was very inappropriate. Damn you, Black Lives. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just register with me? Yeah. Does this thing work? Yes. Oh, well, Jonathan Kent. I'm so sorry. You're absolutely right, Drew. I'm an idiot. Uh, it's early. It's very early. What's the matter? You look different. I have a car size. I have this guy. Oh, you shaved off your moustache. The best I can do under the circumstances. See, the film is listening to us. People were saying yeah. that the moustache was crap. What are we going to do? Yeah. I wish I knew. Since one o'clock this afternoon, I've been public enemy number one. Are you sure we're right? That's Herbie sneaking up on him there. Yeah, the oh, oh, that's yeah. gone now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different road. <laughs> we could get out of Los Angeles. Herbie's the star of this. Three minutes after my disappearance, <laughs> comes to the rescue, saves up. the planet. Hmm. Where's he gone? Why did you find his name? Remove Herbie. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, but it might work. We're gonna have to stop and buy some things first. Isn't that risky? That's a chance we'll have to take. Sorry, I was too busy dancing. I, uh, no I have no idea what they said. The There's a fight concussion, but he'll be able to talk in a few days. That long. <laughs> I'll throw you out of this theater and you won't be able to come back. <laughs> I shall evict you. Yes. How are you, Carl? Sorry if you drag you away. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> He's here to see Kramer. Listen, uh, steam escaping. Bad news about Newman. Is it anything you've ever seen before? Newman. It's kind of. Can you open it? I'm I'm afraid what's under the the two hats of the other guys. Story of a spaceship. We must assume there are four more of those, including one behind the iron. Each have a little rat there, pulling the hair, controlling them. Yeah. Any minute they're going to start cooking up bombs. Mm. Or ratatouille. <laughs> Send him in. Ooh. Some great phones. It's Benny Hill. <laughs> Come forward, Brad. Hello. Do you like my maracas? <laughs> You have been oh, no. honored, Brad. <laughs> First member of our country to visit space. I understand you were a little confused when Colonel. Oh, that was uh, a little he prophetic. Peculiar impression that you were I wonder if Sputnik had been launched. The broadcast was uh, the space It would have been 57 when Sputnik was launched, but hmm. I'm What's wondering. The time back that you yeah. Did not come yeah. to us at once. I was afraid no one would believe me, sir. I understand that these people from space gave you some very important. They could only afford one actor with a decent Russian yes. accent. I'm waiting. They it says, remember to drink your Ovaltine. Yes. Ooh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> R. What about the 
<laughs> a crummy you commercial? Know, you don't know. Not exactly, sir. Hey, look, their background's back in uh, episode one of B Sides. Yeah. The alien gave you this without it's telling a, you what. Uh, Hong Kong. Kong. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Could, could be. Contained the secret of great power. Did he tell you how to use this great power? Oh, it's possibly one of the oh, worst sir. Russian accents, isn't it? That he is. is. He's terrible. He's not even trying. They're, they're, yeah. all, all of the soldiers are shit. The general, at least, is giving an effort. It's like it's like Sean Conner, Connery in the Hunt for Red October. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a little Through the power. For the mother of <laughs> Maybe that's why they wouldn't let the Chinese girl speak, is because she was destroy the rest of their accent. I mean, clearly they didn't have any standards. I don't know why that would have been a limit. No. You're dismissed. Before B-Sides, I thought I was bad at accents. But now I feel like I could do it, you know? And these people are paid for it. Yeah, I'm putting it on my resume. Yeah. Well, if you're putting it on it, then I'm putting mine on it. I am a graduate of the Meryl yes. Street School of Dramatic Accents. Oh, my. <laughs> well, all right. Every time I do Russian accents, it always comes out a little bit sort of Grand Theft Auto y, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they kill you with gun. It's a real good. It's a real good. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much Borat on there. It's, it's like <laughs> Brown's Jamaican <laughs> accent. Yeah. That's, my idea. That's why I don't do it very often. <laughs> I'll kill you with a gun. Da? Okay? That's the brown uh, term. Come on, let's go. Yeah, we killed Moose and Squirrel. <laughs> Boris and Natasha. They're bringing me to the monster truck rally. Look out for the cat. Look out for the cat. Oscar the Grouch pops out. They're over here. They're over here. Pulls over. John Smallberries. <laughs> and you are? <laughs> How many of those? John Just two oh, yeah. regular rounds, but we can avoid them. You're awfully well informed, aren't you? I used to One of those cats isn't kid. gonna start singing, is it? I spent a lot About, of you know, being a cat or something. Oh, oh, that's cool. cool. <laughs> you there, it's gonna yeah, swallow them. <laughs> it's a fur I'd be more than happy to, to follow the cats through the rest of this film. Yeah. Because <laughs> they'd have more charisma, I think, than some of these people. Look, I think if the cats had access to this, they'd have killed everybody a long time ago. <laughs> they would have casually knocked it off a shelf. <laughs> they'd be like, Fuck those humans. <laughs> That's when they tried to run them off. This thing. Oh, did I do that? Oh, guess you gotta pick that up. Yeah. Give me some cream, bitch. We'll be safe here at this nuclear test site. <laughs> what are all these mannequins doing around? <laughs> I'm more worried about the fridge. It's okay. Yeah. Get in the fridge. Yeah. I hope this works. It's a Kelvinator. We're fine. <laughs> this is the set from Stalag 13. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I know nothing, nothing. <laughs> Black Lives Atom will only get to the Marvels in about fifty Black years from now, so I think we're okay. When it's yeah. retro, he'll he'll love it then. He'll rediscover it. There yes. is no chance that is ever going to become a class. <laughs> so just like knock it off. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we can say that enough. about all the movies we've seen here recently. It'll be bad enough that we'll show it on B. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what else could you say about it at this point? Really if memory down. serves, these were if classic actresses down. back in the day. <laughs> One Before yeah. Brie Larson was president. <laughs> On her third oh, God. Time. <laughs> <laughs> it just shivers down my spine. <laughs> There's the diplomatic oh. incident of 2053 <laughs> when she took off her shoes. <laughs> Well, that strict nine is bitter. Better yeah. what? Better to drink it quickly. Odd. Clark never has more than yeah, one too. cup at home. 
Those Americans won't survive unless there's some peanut butter. Why don't you take your drink and go and look at the moonlight? Bloody addicted to it, aren't you? You are addicted to peanut butter and American cheese. Oh, Jonathan. Which is something <laughs> I've heard Why about. Just call me Jonathan. A cheese-like product. <laughs> I trust you're a sound sleeper. I don't want my sleep if that's what you mean. Exactly what I meant. I don't walk Hello. in my sleep. Mm. Uh oh. Dun, dun, dun. The suicide is bailing. <laughs> Here's my new cheap joke. Five o'clock, Charlie's coming in. <laughs> What's up, Zach? around every hour on the hour. I'd almost forgotten we were hiding. I know what you mean. No, we'll play hide something. No. Why is there an X on the door? Oh, look, a Wingate girl had alien weapons. Miss Wingate was seen hurling a small object into the sea. Her gentleman friend, Harry Bellows, who witnessed the incident, reported that the girl appeared highly distraught. The populations of Rockhurst Cove and other coastal communities are being evacuated on the assumption that the object might they didn't well have a, um, a, a map of England. <laughs> they just used a world map for the BBC there. <laughs> of course I know. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> they just keep using the world map in every scene. They're like, I don't know where any of these we countries are. It's just here somewhere. Bubbling flasks. Bubbling <laughs> Drink, everybody. Have a drink. <laughs> have assumed that the object in question was a weapon and the london press is actively speculating that all five of the aliens visitors may be acting under orders to place the alleged weapons in strategic positions all we have to do is get rid of our capsules huh look andy's hey. gang is on in three minutes and i don't want to miss what it. do you expect <laughs> reason discipline are these pants high enough those people out there i feel sorry for them well i do they're bound with fear. They're frightened, every one of them. Ever since the alien came into their lives, they've been waiting, waiting for they don't know what. Those characters you're feeling sorry for are so full of hate they'd lynch us if they could get their hands on us. I know. I've forgotten how easily hate comes alive. People hate because they fear, and they fear anything they don't understand, which is almost everything. You're not terribly fond of I'm talking about trouble like right here in River right City. City. <laughs> trouble with T and a capital T and rhymes with P and stands for John. pool. Or capsule. <laughs> I wish there was something nice. to find out nice. with him. Very smooth. Are you starting that again? Just wish we knew. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> we can't. Any bets on how high his pants will go up by the end of the <laughs> Nipples. I'm betting nipples. He's just walking around with their He's walking around with their shirt open and he's just like, you know, tucking it under his belt buckle. Yeah. I, I think it's to allow sort of horizontal expansion. Exactly, yeah. yeah. His pants yeah, make oh, down. Yes, you know, the <laughs> In any case, anytime she's sitting down and he's like comforting her while standing, you know why. You know oh, why yeah. he's doing that. We shall continue our efforts. He's a dirty old man. Thank you, gentlemen. That's Arthur C. Clark in the middle there. Just going. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I saw him. I'll be moving to Bali. The hell with this shit. All right, right. tell me, what, tell well, me, Jesus, what should I do? So. <laughs> you think he's lying? No, he's not clever enough to have thought up a story as in. Could he not have said yet? Tells. Jesus There's Christ! He's not telling us. exactly. <laughs> but we've There's only the one story, person that can lie. have the Russian accent. It's taken tremendous courage for him to go on like this. Like a talking Even stick, torture cannot break. Around. He must yeah. be broken. <laughs> I have the conch. The contents of the box will be useless <laughs> if he dies. He's right. It's like an accent game of telephone. Yes. They keep whispering what the accent Chinese they're girl. doing yeah, into yeah. the guy's ear. Disintegrated with Moldavian? I don't even know what the hell that is. You must find a way to make Odovsky talk. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. We have this. Yes, Make it How difficult do you think it would be to get to Vechner? 
I'll find out, sir. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't good. Oh! oh. That was like the uh, that, that clip of Echo that's going around. Very convincing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Filthy, <laughs> traitorous liar. They shot it from the wrong angle for the trailer. It was a weapon. <laughs> and you pretended that you didn't know. <laughs> Look. America revealed space box weapons. American warmongers are screaming that knowledge of the alien weapon makes them undisputed rulers of the world. Ivan Kodovsky, who refused his country information which might have protected it against the American threats, will go down as the greatest traitor this country oh, has ever he's known. He's falling asleep. I yeah. understand. <laughs> I understand, man. I'm tired of slapping you. You, you must bore me. Tell me the truth. Look, he's got a medal for actions. <laughs> or I shall There's bore you medal. further. Yes. <laughs> All right, break out the poetry. Not these accents, Amelia. Shock. You've pushed him too far. How long? There's no way of telling. Professor, I wonder if you fully understand the concern that has gripped the world. It is because of Lee the Marvin. concern that they must withhold my information. Ooh. The White House feels the guy with the terrible hair. Yeah, the aliens' mission. I mean, they're really getting a wig. <laughs> Don't you see that by remaining silent, you create even more apprehension? I see it, Mr. Ingram, but unfortunately, my God, his hair is worse about. than the Russian's accent. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. His got like Muppet hair or judgment, something. Professor. <laughs> However, there are a few questions I must ask. I hope you'll at least try to answer them. I will if I can. Does the alien in any way constitute a menace to our society? I have already said that their ethic does not permit oh, is this them menace to, harm to society. Any form of <laughs> I didn't life. recognize it. <laughs> is this box or its contents when they say the title dangerous the to our security? The box and the contents cannot uh, Amelia Adams certainly be harmful could. to anyone. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to you see some selection of movies. I'll talk anything. And probably two of these boxes behind the iron curtain. Guys. Yes. Another yes. raft subplot. Oh Nothing god. Else. Oh god. <laughs> All right, bring in the pallets. You can think of without success. It can't even be That's scratched. it. We're all going no, to no. the Tam Tam. Yeah. Yep. In my personal uh, opinion, you get nowhere. Just as what soon as we opinion, walk this beach. Yeah. I am this movie could use a trip to the Tam Tam actually. has been unsuccessful. You promised me teenage zombies. There are no teenage zombies in this. effective than those already tried. Not even a chance. Yes. Mr. Ingram, the capsules <laughs> are a mystery to me too. But I have a feeling. Boy, those scars are deep. Something that the aliens said. And I mean, to be fair, they haven't actually in real time tra traveled to Russia to, to then listen to the bad the accents. Circumstances, Professor, that's out of the question. Too I'm soon, sure like Too soon. Yes. Thank you, Professor. Goodbye, Carl. Let's talk about this guy's hair. I do hope when all this is over, we will have an opportunity to talk. I'd be most grateful uh, for your views. And have and dinner and perhaps. A and picnic. I, Doctor, would like to have your views on almost everything. Thank you. Certainly Let's hairstyling. Show you, you did show you my personal you, movie collection. There was no right? yes. physical force <laughs> capable of opening the box. I did, but uh, mind you, Doctor, it's only an old man's opinion. Goodbye, Professor. Yeah. Yeah, there's a slightly creepy smile there. Yeah. Time for your medicine, Professor. Oh. Another enemy. It goes in your urethra. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the ice cream. Get the nurse in here with the door shut. Yeah, for sake. The switch cream and a nurse. This that was the highlight of this film. Quarter of eleven. And this woman is jealous of somewhere? that uh, doctor's yeah. hairstyle, so she's trying to replicate Just it. If we couldn't get some news. <laughs> Downstairs. Yes. If he'd have told them anything, we'd have heard. That little radio looks very angry. How long are we going to stay here, just hiding like hunted animals? At the very least, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't think I like hiding, do you? Somebody stuck something in its battery think? socket. Here I am, a newspaper man, what? sitting on the best story of my mm. life, and I can't do anything about it. Then why do we stay here? It's the Mr. Bill Radio. Maybe for the first time in my life, I think enough about the next guy <laughs> to do the right thing. Radio got to it. Maybe you're wrong. Why don't you just keep doing what you're doing and don't try to judge me? I'm not interested in your opinion. Well, I have a right to them. But I don't think you do. 
As far as I'm well, concerned, you lost your no. rights when you threw those capsules away. Hmm. She's disappointed with the height of his trousers, though. They're not as high yeah, as she expected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not with. <laughs> so, so that's where you put the buckle. Okay. Men commit a variety of crimes, and they always seem to have the same excuse. Uh oh, here we go. It's gone woke. Uh, the, pa <laughs> the patriarchy. But are you in now, for God's sakes? Bloody girl boss. Okay. Been here 10 days. All right, Mary. Disagree on everyone. <laughs> You know who she sounds like is Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, she does. Yeah. 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 He keeps looming over her Actually, right at her cleavage. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. But it's true. It's time I went to bed. She's giving you all the signs, dude. <laughs> Sleep well. I'll be over here. Uh huh. Alone and alone. alone. Cold. Gosh, it's cold in here. <laughs> Wish there was uh, some heat. Me and my sock. Um... <laughs> <sighs> I'll just slip into this lingerie. <laughs> Got a copy of Boy's Life. And... <laughs> <laughs> nun's my Life. A copy of Nun's Life. <laughs> I can't even open the Nun's Life. All the pages are stuck together. <laughs> yeah. Look at the filthy habits the they have. Mm. Mm -hmm. Were you a determined soldier? What do you mean? I mean Did you fuck around yeah, while you were a soldier? What is wrong with you? Can you show me what you did? What you did it with? What did you catch while you were over there? Yeah. Can we just do hand stuff? I don't know. Come on. What did you say? I said good. The music suggests romance, but with a different score, this entire scene could be a lot different. Hello, house lady. I am repairman. I'm here to get if Liam's in the other bunk. Dr. Hawkins and I have been asked to examine Professor Beckman. It's kind of like those two are trapped in a one act play. I think this will supersede any previous orders. Kelly, give me a check on license New York 5F9836. Well, I guess I can't argue with this. Go ahead, Doctor. Thank you. There's some great cars in this. Yeah. Great parking. Bad parking. Yeah. Ooh, bad parking. That'll be on Facebook now. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Dr. Steven Meisner. Meisner. Meisner's home in bed. Come on. Uh, I'll keep police dead. He must be in here. He parks like an asshole. <laughs> I do not have it. I tell you, they took it away from me. He's making that poor nurse his armpit there. <laughs> I think you know where the box is. You must believe me. <laughs> Blam, blam, stop or we'll shoot. Yeah. You two all right? Yes. But who were they? I think we could both make a pretty good uh, guess. Never know. I killed them. Beckman yeah. was unharmed and is resting comfortably. The official bulletin said merely that two unidentified men were shot and killed last night in an attempt on Professor Beckner's life. But it is widely assumed that the two would-be assassins were foreign agents attempting to recover the mysterious box believed to have been given Beckner while on the alien spaceship. Don't turn me off. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, it's just radar. The security time clocks. It's been a long time since I've seen those. Still the haven't done it, have they? They still, still haven't. <laughs> the friction the is still there. It would all be gone though if they could have. I don't know. She she may have the look of guilt on her face. Yeah. Yeah. In the past 48 if he, if he hours, I'm guessing that he put on, he put on some Let's put it this way: if he forgets to put Remember, his pants on at this point, the pants are still staying up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And puts his belt on. Yeah, you know what I meant. Yeah. Uh huh. This is a great drink over here. 
Happy New Year. You're no more to blame Happy for the panic in the world than any of the rest of us. We all avoided our responsibility by running away from it. No, oh, he's good old Moody. Owner kill. He's just playing hard to get. <laughs> he's gonna go hide behind that sticky plant again. He hasn't been the same since he had to shave the mustache off. That's true. Nobody, no, no girl likes a sulky man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I went to art school, man. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I would. I also went to art school. Yeah. So, uh, it was no yeah, shortage. It can work for a while. <laughs> Some girls just want to pry you out of your shell. <laughs> I'm starting to think you're not interested. Um, Do you think maybe a man could be so uh, wrong? Oh, can't leave me here with the cure and the smiths. Come back in an hour. I wouldn't have much respect for a man who wasn't pig-headed when he was sure he was right. A man like that could Based. be dangerous. Maybe. When the alien first gave us these capsules, I thought the whole thing was preposterous. It seemed pretty obvious that all we had to do was to keep them hidden until the 27 days were up. Then well, the motherfucker had to go on TV and tell everyone we had them. It was all too easy. <laughs> would have been all right if the alien hadn't made the broadcast. Yeah, At least you did. still have yours after you're mine in the ocean. They were being hunted like animals. What a dick. They tried to kill Professor Beckner, and I hate to think what may be happening to Ivan and the Chinese girl. Yeah, uh, you have to worry about her. Think about yeah. Worry about her. They might. The Chinese girl that committed hurry car. see who could discover the most powerful weapon of all. <laughs> To this, the <laughs> oh no, that'll only pique her interest. Any man that claims he has a tiny dick. Oh, like it's, it's like I'm hung like a Japanese mouse. Exactly. Stay out of it by hiding. She has got to know what the size of his penis is at this point. I mean, know? he has rubbed it near yeah. her face about 14 yeah. times already in this film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like labyrinth, isn't it, all over again? Sarah, <laughs> don't look at the crush, Sarah. <laughs> My eyes are up here, Sarah. <laughs> I thought you told me that the world was built on self-preservation. The most important thing in life was to look out for number one. A lot of my convictions have begun to wear pretty thin the last few days. For instance, I had a very strong conviction that there wasn't a woman alive who could make me fall in love. What did you say? It's a miserable way to find out, isn't it? It's a miserable way to say it. Show, don't say that. Same See, pattern. Moody played off, paid off. Oh. Yeah, so that worked. Uh, I feel nothing. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm gay. <laughs> I guess they were right. Yeah. Oh, it's like kissing my brother. <laughs> Boy, is that guy terrible at his fucking job. It's a new lap record, Lenny. You know, it's not going to be so easy to give ourselves Open up. Shitties, we can't walk out of town to and say who we are. By the hour. What about the guard? No. <laughs> when we give ourselves up, I want a lot of authority around. The guard? You want to make out with the guard, too? <laughs> oh, Jesus, the combats are coming. Out. Me? Oh. Oh, it's a fire truck. My bad. Enough for the cats. Good morning. I'm Jonathan Clark. Hang, I hang, love hang. the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the alien has given me a super weapon. Fire. Talking of the alien, he doesn't show up much, does he? He's no, he just I comes in, does his uh, exposition but, dump, and then I'm out this month. Or have a framing device, days. yeah. You can question him, sir, but you understand. He'll show up on TV again and be like, Ugh. from my last message, I really thought there'd be more fighting to the death. You guys exactly. are boring. Dance, yeah. monkeys, dance. There is no need to be frightened. <laughs> I know now you wanted only to protect us from the <laughs> black lives. <laughs> Yet 
<laughs> the imperialist nations have pooled yes. the aliens' weapons. <coughs> we find ourselves defenseless unless you can help us, Ivan. You and you alone can save your people from destruction. Your father gave his life in the defense of his country. I have here a letter from your mother. <laughs> she wants you to ensure that your father keeping life the underwear that was came not with it. given in vain. Exactly. Help us, Ivan. If you should have a relapse, we would be at the mercy of our enemies. I'll tell you everything. First, you insert them rectally. <laughs> My God. The aliens gave enough. us the AAA <laughs> batteries. If you wait long enough, you put the them in opens. and alternating mint. Yes, yes, you have to alternate them. <laughs> Why is the Berlin? Why are all these foreign newspapers? Using English headlines. Giant floating newspapers invade Earth. <laughs> can't just sit here and do nothing now that we know spinning. that Ivan has put the no. weapon in the hands of his government. Are you proposing floating that newspapers we was our... the alien that destructive the first device? Step in fulfilling the alien's plan. The alien, all this nonsense about their high morality. Oh, it's like the lady with the cream cake. They give us a weapon and they expect us to use it. And yet they give the impression that they hope we won't. Morality. But they're so full of morals and loving kindness. How come they just happen to have 15 the, nice, uh, shiny Vulcan human exterminators there, I mean, lying around? I don't think you are being fair to the alien. Fair! They could have simply used their capsules and taken our planet. Jonathan. But, but they're jigsaw, so we have to do it. In their eyes. <laughs> Since the first men hit one another with clubs, the human race has spent more time destroying itself than in any other endeavor. But the aliens have not tried to judge I mean, us. I would say they have you know, merely intensified. I would say, yeah, uh, reproduction has really been number one. Eating, yeah, thing. Yeah. There's a lot of and things we've done more of. Yeah. It is an ultimatum. I Making think we are shit all movies. missing a significant <laughs> point. That, professor? If we were a stable, mature people, this would be almost nothing. The alien would have presented us with the capsules, and we, upon returning to Earth, would have... With the quality of the actors, I can't have absolutely no sewer. idea which country he's supposed to be from now. I don't know, but all of a sudden, the, uh, the British lady is getting extra credit for tossing hers in the ocean. <laughs> well, her accent. <laughs> trusted to no. handle these bombs any more than an undisciplined child could be trusted with a high-powered rifle. That still doesn't help us to know what to do. If only they'd let me work on the capsules. Well, they are even afraid of me. You have an idea? Have you seen your hair? I do not pretend I like to know that little, how the uh, capsules lean over operate. that she, the lady but in the background did, because he was terrible at blocking that. Perhaps, perhaps what? No, a little further. A little further. Loosen the blouse. <laughs> or I ought to know it. I think I might have to go over there and me, stand over you for a Pentagon. moment. That's a, is that an action figure on his desk? Several. <laughs> I, th I think that's uh, Gandalf and then the Our eagle. Our government is seriously um, concerned yeah. that other powers have succeeded where we have failed. We were hoping... Now I think she probably does, no yeah. I think she probably does smell nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like I lavender. Might yeah. us. Something with a, a, like, like a citrusy thing. Uh, she probably smells like decomposition now. But... <laughs> it smells like exposition for women. <laughs> oh, God. Exposition. <laughs> <laughs> By fellow knee. Amazing. You said it Amazing. Birth control no fills the space. No, wait, wait till he discovers the compact. Little. Ring and the, the clamor like I have got one of those in my purse. By the same token, no one but Ivan Godov. It turned green. That means box. I'm excited. Exactly. Okay, now it's blue. Yes. That means I'm relaxed. Oh shit. Well then their story is true. It's the mood stay weapon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but what about their claim? That their capsules have destructive powers within a radius of fifteen hundred miles. 
three capsules then will be able to destroy every vestige of human this life. This is some very long American and uh, confusing Panama, foreplay. Hudson Bay. Can anyone believe that? Believe that such energy is contained in a cylinder smaller than the cup of my fountain pen? A cylinder that will understand instructions like a robot? Is he? Is this then a metaphor? Give them to us in the first oh, no. He got, no. He got to say robot. Oh, here on Earth. Oh, robot. Place these boxes in our hands. And let us believe they will do everything the alien says they will. If With you are robots. right, Dr. Newhouse, it's almost too clever. The only way we can check the truth of the alien's words is to test one of the bombs. As an aside, I uh, I had my shopping delivered I'm by a robot. So sure. um, there is an they? area more than really? really? mile yeah. diameter. Yeah, that actually happened. I really America. did feel like jetpacks were five minutes be behind. You forget, Admiral, Was it like bitty 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 life? We cannot put a human being in the air. Sadly not, but it did speak when it delivered my shopping. Ah. Don't run. We are your friends. Our concern <laughs> may be unnecessary. I have we very mixed there feelings of well that. If I could have the capsules <laughs> long enough, I can't wait for them to deploy it in Compton. See how that works out. Perhaps there is another way. That decision I cannot make. I was tempted to steal it. However, I suggest yeah. we adjourn for the present. Well, no, I never got here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> never figured it out. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am America had a hitchhiking robot for a long time. Continent. If the uh, one day someone do killed it. from Europe and Asia and confine themselves to what? continental United States. <laughs> You don't know about this the hitchhiking no robot? That could finish no. Us as well as them. There will be a while no ago, war, Marco. Yeah. If I launch got killed. these three capsules, they will not have one single person left alive to give orders and none to carry them out. Where is your war then, Marshal? But if they strike first... The lessons of history have been wasted on you, Marshal. Democracies are appeasers. And the Americans in particular cannot be provoked into a war. They must be bombed into it. They will do something, sir. Of course, they will threaten and bluster and make angry speeches. And they will end doing just as we ask. I shall read to you the ultimatum. It's like one of Aziz's uh, rants, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I haven't disagreed <laughs> with him thus far. It's very disconcerting. Of all American Maybe it's the accent. Civilians on land, sea, and air. To within the limits of continental United yeah. States. On pain Suddenly of I'm on war. board with these guys politically. Yeah. yeah. I'm signing papers. Within 48 hours of the moment this document is placed in the hands of the government of the United States. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. This is not their people speaking. It is one it's man. Fucking accent. We can't yeah. accept it. If we pull everything back home, we've piled our potential where <laughs> it can destroy us with a single blow. To be fair, the people didn't get a lot of speaking opportunities the in the USSR. The limit, <laughs> seeming to be complying with their demands. Not willingly. They might not use the weapons until it's too late. But what about my suggestion? If the boxes do not actually contain weapons, you're giving up the world for nothing. If you would only permit <laughs> me to examine the capsules, I have an idea that... I'm sorry, Professor. Approval we must given maintain our ignorance at all costs. I cannot stand the ideas. Is readily yes. available. <laughs> if we flew out of here tonight, we could start the test by not the day after I won't have your so-called knowledge and facts leading me astray in these decisions. So as not to yeah. Facts, Max, you can use facts to prove anything. Mm -hmm. More like Floppenheimer, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> moral ones, we cannot use condemned criminals. Because it's a flop, did you get... Uh, uh, yeah. Did you get that? <laughs> I got I another need drink. <laughs> yes. As soon as Maybe I, I need another drink. It, I subjected myself to a fatal overdose of gamma radiation. It will alter his body chemistry, and then yes. when David Banner grows angry, a startling metamorphosis will occur. Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. A position where you could not refuse. <laughs> I turned you into see, a great bait. Although I'm born in Germany. <laughs> I oh, boy. In oh, great. I so, to be shown. Wappenheim and Carl, the forfeiture of a life such as yours. I'm not at all sure the test will be successful. But if it is, then what is one life against millions? Well, there's worse ways to go, Black Lives. Stop all engines. Aye, aye. Seaman. <clears throat> Just getting it out, though. So, he does. Yeah, he does kind of look like the Mentat from Dune, the 1984. 
Yeah, but only the the uh, FFTs can open them. But then All anyway, it's Hi. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, fine print on station, in this doomsday okay, shit. <laughs> now this is the limit of the radiation radius. Doctor Newhouse is here. Just How the fuck the did they know the radius the of anything? Is here, one mile outside the radius. It's science. Sir. That we, we haven't uh, been allowed to study, so we have no fucking idea. And we are here, clearly inside the cancer zone. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Poor ghost. This is a it's, Godzilla prequel, isn't it? Look, it's Tom Hanks. <laughs> Wilson! Wilson! Let's but leave him out there time. this time. <laughs> Knowledge is the mind killer. Won't open. I know what it is, Jonathan. Well, tell it your nose really is swinging and you possible. need a powder. Yeah. Radiation poisoning is a pretty terrible way to die. I think we proved that twice. Hmm. Oh, it was because he had regerts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the no regerts pill. I'm going to take the red I, pill. I can't do it. Latitude 71 degrees, 25 minutes, 13 seconds south. Longitude 150 degrees, 14 minutes. I'm ready to die, seconds. guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, good lord, I didn't see that coming. Oh, neither did he. <laughs> That's right. He died in dragon fire. <laughs> God, I'm getting more and more enthused with this. Oh. <laughs> the initial Brexit. U.S. declares, fuck this shit, I'm out. Ooh, is a sailor, pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Americans love to pull out. That's why we have such big families. Yeah. Ooh. At midnight tonight, the 27 days will be over. Oh, there is a black guy in this film. Yeah. Well. Serving the white guys. Or are we on the verge of annihilation? So like you want to pour some coffee on your crotch? Someone. No? Okay, <laughs> no. At the last possible moment, so that your enemies have no chance of striking back. Exactly. Colored boy. Unless something happens to prevent it, the weapons behind the Iron Curtain will be launched. It is a question of life or death. No. Not life or death. Life and death. They're related <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I think I I could find the link. <laughs> <laughs> I better go do some science shit. Figure this out. Life, death. Hmm. What is it, Klaus? <laughs> Jonathan, I must have your. Touch. Nope, just can't <laughs> see the connection. There is some message on that. Jonathan, you simply must let me have your. Adam Dove's love his BBC. Must. It's cold, even. <laughs> Alien has put some kind of message on Black Lives Matter on, on his Maybe. white sofa. They cannot be here yeah. without the third. Please. And you and four friends serve it from behind. That's, <laughs> that's not cream. Admiral, will you please have the capsule sent here? But that is half and half. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you see that? That is sweet I transferred love. them to play. Oh, no, we'll get it sweet and love. Reliefs from the two that were left, but the message is incomplete. And these hieroglyphics really mean something to you. They are mathematical symbols, some of which I have never encountered before. 
It's the fifth element. There is always I like the one with the cat. I am sure and here's a guy walking. <laughs> you think it'd be fun if we walk like that? Let's all try it. <laughs> Jonathan, there are only five hours left. We have to decode this comic strip. We tried Silly Putty. Yes. <laughs> It says Duracell. <laughs> oh, so if you tick it a little, a little bit, alone. it does open. Okay. Exactly. Please. It's going to tickle it the right way. Yeah. It'll open for you. Clark, I hope you know what you're doing. For 1958, oh, those breasts are not pointy enough. No, they're, they're a little more natural. Right? It's been a long it's week. She's not wearing the rocket. Uh, maybe she's over, because she's from England. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that could be it. Kind of hideous, she hasn't had the opportunity to change, and those wires do not get stronger Spaceship with time. No, 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 no. Especially under that kind of load. Luckily, she still has the best pair of tits on that ship. Well, <laughs> we haven't seen I mean, all the doctor. Th that doctor was. Uh, <laughs> cruising about in the middle of nowhere while the world goes to pieces. It all seems so hopeless. It's supposed to have a purpose. If Ivan were to launch his capsules and we were all in Washington, there'd be no way of striking back. Yes, I have, and I and should have told you that before I handed it to you. <laughs> what do you mean? Maybe the heavens of Professor, enough, we know that they're real and they're spectacular. Maybe, maybe people really aren't worth saving. I don't know. There are a lot of nice ones around. Uh, Let's go find a couple and swing. He's got two of the clams open now. Uh oh. Busy doctor. One's orange, one's mm. green. I gotta stick them on my knuckles. <laughs> this would be so much easier if the world wasn't black and white. <laughs> and I wasn't colorblind. <laughs> Cut the gray wire. <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> oh, no, the other gray. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh I'm gonna shit! Have to borrow it's the dianetics. world maps from uh, from everybody, the BBC. <laughs> but before you cut the wire, it's very important that you. These are our targets. That's Mickey Mouse. One of them is it's people that Mickey. like cats. Oh, be careful! We're gonna get copyright struck. <laughs> shit! Again. I would hate area. to be Canada. Jesus. Soon the world will be ours. <laughs> Sit down, you. This is you like watching us films. Point. This is a Venn also... diagram of those who agree with our decision. <laughs> I even feel a big, big hand on my shoulder when I try to get out of this. <laughs> this circle is people who like cats. This circle is people who have had an appendectomy. Latitude. And this circle is mother-in-laws. Yes. 45 minutes. I will put it all in the intersection. People have all eaten food. It's those who appreciate degrees. Jethro's humor. 21 minutes. You fools! Oh. Out hoot! He was trying to kill himself, so I shot him. If he dies, the captains are useless. <laughs> Look after him. Oh, Russia works. <laughs> Latitude 45 degrees, 4 minutes. I don't know why you opened that. I don't think there's any glass in it. In Soviet Russia, suicide commits suicide you. Commits you. <laughs> Those damn Russian windows. People keep falling out of them. Light from the inside. Professor Bender. Latitude 55 degrees, and it is painless. Do, do, do. Oh. North. That's true, he did. Oh, my hearing aid is acting up again. Oh, for God's sakes. I knew I should have changed the battery. Damn Soviet craftsmanship. There's the batteries. <laughs> Longitude 37 degrees, 37 minutes, 14 seconds east. The hypno talk toad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> wow, there's a throwback. <laughs> well, fan of the hypno toad. Yeah. Oh. 
just says John 316. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm coming. Watch tower? Answer me, Klaus. Where are they? I've launched them. I've blanketed the world. And the capsules didn't work. Of course. If they had, we'd all be dead by now. We well, are dead. There may be some lag. This was written by J.J. Abrams. <laughs> I think they worked very well. In that case, you could end the any second without the any kind of resolution. <laughs> yeah. Surprise, motherfuckers. Invisible rays from outer space. Reports pouring in from all over the globe confirm sudden and unexplainable deaths. All the cases have shown the same symptoms. All heard a high-pitched, almost supersonic noise. Accompanied all by had diarrhea. Severe shock <laughs> and followed by death. I know it's unbelievable. Fantastic. But the rays appear to have killed and every really person cool. throughout the world, known to have been a confirmed enemy of human freedom. Yes, the entire world is now united in a spiritual unity unparalleled in its history. Oh, I figured the only common thing they had was that they'd all watch B-sides. But let us pray. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Thank exactly. God. No, no, there's like eight of Unlike them. Unlike you, Jonathan. They can't all I be watching. I never believed that the alien was acting that brings up a good question. Gave me the idea the capsules could be altered. Yesterday morning, in my excitement, I used the phrase "life or death." Remember? That's <laughs> good. Good cases crazy. of diarrhea, black lives. Board the spaceship. The <laughs> alien said, "Please you spare my in life. Hands, Please the power spare of my life and death." He might have meant that the capsules all of them were mugged bring us life Alexander. as well as death. And on evidence like that, you launched the capsules. Yes. You see, almost every form of energy, fire, electricity, nuclear fission, has two diametrically opposed uses. As an asset for peace or a weapon of war, for good or for evil. The capsules follow yeah, the pattern. This, uh, they had seems to. like a bit of a... And oh, by the way, we end with a fucking exposition dump again. <laughs> yeah. I suppose we should be happy. Yeah. I can't help thinking exactly Watch the credits start rolling while they're the still end. talking. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what? We're kind done. Of drifts yeah, out. We're done. Done. In the credits, there's <laughs> more <laughs> exposition. <laughs> but what happened yeah, was. But really, what should have happened. How many years may pass by before this can happen again? Think of all the knowledge they could Even give George us Lucas knew about action scene. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think R2 might be right. This is advocating for first strike. Deserts, polar caps. We can't use them, but maybe they can. But there's no time. There are still eight days. Klaus, Look, as long as this movie's not that bad. We've got a no raft with a goat on it. I mean, no fear, no suspicion. Yeah. No velociraptors, perhaps, but yep. Yes, yeah. perhaps it could be done. Did have bubbling. Excuse me. We got some bubbling noises. Thank you, Captain. They created a great haircut and then destroyed it. The Captain has orders to rendezvous hey, with the Hey, he did use a Navy salute, You, Miss Wingate, Mr. Mm -hmm. Clark, will be yeah, flown back to Washington immediately. Why is with high pants and large breasts. These are all this winners. A funny point to think of, Ladies but why did they give that guy a life vest? You know, he actually just normally wears that. Like, <laughs> he took it from the goat. The yeah, he, he, he didn't have his smoking really jacket with him. May hear his reply. <laughs> if we succeed in contacting him, we have asked that he answer our invitation at midnight. As of okay. five minutes ago, every radio and television broadcast went off the air to ensure clear reception. Except Since B -sides. Professor Klaus Beckner has been almost <laughs> Which and Benny Hill. And bringing us together here in can't stop the signal now. for the first yeah. time in history, it is only just only an orbital strike will stop. Final them. invitation. Around half of the UNM bones against us. Klaus Beckner. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Wait, I thought, I thought this thing was supposed to destroy, like, the enemies of humanity. Oh, yeah, Wouldn't the UN be pretty fucking empty? Right. <laughs> well, that's where the propaganda <laughs> comes in. Space. Oh, okay. It only kills Earth. communist leaders. The okay. Of Earth calling. We this would be a good opportunity to um, get uh, about as another as 30 accents into this film. Oh, all we of them shit. We trust and hope now and in the future. This invitation comes from every nation <laughs> and every race yeah, yeah. on the planet Earth. If you hear us, we ask you to reply in 
I like to think that that's the uh, microphone that Atom uses. (laughs) 15 (laughs) seconds? Jesus Christ, you're a bit demanding. Yeah, it is a little pushy. So Iceland didn't feel like showing up. They're Mm. dicks. Uh, They couldn't get a sitter. (laughs) They were actually all destroyed. They're all enemies of humanity. They've just sent Bjork. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. and Speaking no one can the enemies of humanity. Worse, it says. Intelligent worlds to tell you they're waiting to greet you among the stars. The fiend. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, 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 the enemy is all about using the right technique to open a clam, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Use your okay. mind to open the clam, not brute force. Uh, right. There's right. a good lesson in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the lesson is don't watch movies with Adam. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jeez. The the problem is that so the the reason that they have to have the exposition dump of doom at the end that give no hint that this is actually the solution, right? It's it th- there yeah. wasn't there wasn't in the in the exposition dump from Kodos. There are uh, no setups and no payoffs in this film, it's, right? It's, just mean, it's, it's here's the situation. Okay, we'll drag that on as long as we can, and then we'll solve it with an exposition dump at the end, which I I I do admit is better than J.J. Abrams, where he doesn't even have the exposition dump. It's just he just takes a dump, and that's the end. Yeah, I, I one thing I do like is that there's a fourth act to really hammer home the fact that America good. Oh well, no, it's the UN, the UN, the UN, yeah. the well, UN has saved us. And where is it located? America. I mean, I would be willing to relocate it. Mm. Wow. Dream kill, huh? <laughs> yeah, he didn't open her clam. That's true. Mm. And That's he true. did it try. The one, it was the one clam that remained closed. Even though she offered, she's like, look, here's the magic words. He did, no, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. What? What is it, it took like me an hour here? to take these pants down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give me the idea of the effort involved to get the pants these high, this high. What is it like years later when he's telling friends about that and they're like, so of course you like, and he's like, no, no. no. Oh, but you were like in the same room but though, you... right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she yeah. she got out of her clothes and got into bed clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, happened. yeah, 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 yeah. And she was hot, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, she oh, was hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. She kept talking yeah. about a clam. Yeah. It was like, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, she and was you, hot uh... for me. She kept giving me eyes saying, you know, come to bed with me now. Yeah, yeah. she used But I wasn't boy. falling for that. Oh, yeah, okay, no. all right. It's a oh, trap. It's a trap. Super, <laughs> super confusing. I hate being friend zoned. But anyway, it was a long yeah. week. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I was on the fence about that one because it's not. It's a horrible, horrible. And I like to show you guys horrible. No, it's. It, I mean, it's a. It, it, you're right. It's. It's like a, a 30 minute Twilight Zone episode. Stretched that, out. Uh, got way stretched out. Or. <laughs> A, a jingoized uh, a setup a setup for like um star trek you know the the original series yeah um, i think it would have been a much better tv episode but uh, yeah yeah just the awkward uh sort of patriotic uh propaganda that's shoved in the ass end of it is just wild i mean did, did ivan survive because he didn't seem like he was much of an enemy of humanity no he he's dead oh yeah. What about his mom who wrote that fucking letter? I hope she died. She didn't write that letter. Yeah. What? What, what? about the what about the Asian <laughs> lady that turned up in the first half of this film? She was her, already cold and in the Siberian ground. I was going to say <laughs> her hand was way too broken to write at that point. <laughs> she had read the script. She knew what was coming. Mm-hmm. I'm not mm-hmm. sitting through another one of those exposition dumps. <laughs> Yeah, that was basically Star Trek First Contract. Her first contact. No, the first, first contract was, was a different one. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, it's one of the Hitman movies, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, guys, geez. So Quentin Tarantino 
Star Trek that never was. Uh, with Sam Jackson as Captain Kirk. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> said, fire those motherfucking phrases. These motherfucking tribbles on this motherfucking oh, getting on my motherfucking nerve. <laughs> Cling on to die, stutter. <laughs> it's the phrase that says bad motherfucker on it. <laughs> I would watch that. <laughs> I would. I would watch that. I would watch the hell out of that. The problem is there'd be a lot of feet, and that would be problematic. No, yeah, there'd be a lot of feet, yeah. Maybe I alien feel like feet. No one disliked that idea. Like, I don't know why it didn't e exist, you know? Well, like, you know, he keeps on um, he keeps on talking about that 10th film that he's going to do, uh, which we've yeah, now yeah. learned what it is, but... He's kind of uh, he he's, he has hinted that he doesn't want to retire as such after that tenth film. So I suspect he's probably going to go into TV. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't believe anything he says. I don't believe well, any proclamations that. Yeah, he just like he just like uh, building a bit of a hype train for himself, doesn't he? So yeah, and that's fine. It's well, just... I think the other thing is that you, you come off like a big project, and you're like, "Fuck this, I'm tired" or whatever. Yeah. You give yeah. it a couple of years, and you're like, "I'm starting to get the itch again. I want to kind of." Yeah. You get a couple. I can't, of I can't deals. see him going forever. Yeah, no, I, I mean, mean uh, Soderbergh, you know, he he said he was done, and then uh, he came out with that Adam Driver con movie, like just like three years later, right? I keep wishing Ridley Scott would say he's done, and oh, actually, man, <laughs> man his next yeah. film is called Bomb, though. So come on, I mean, that's that's truth in advertising. It, it that just pays writes off. itself, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's weird to watch Ridley Scott get further and further up his own ass as he yeah, just yeah. slides into senility. <laughs> I just I just keep waiting for him to vanish entirely. It's like he's he's become a, a singularity. The Ouroboros. <laughs> yeah, the Ouroboros singularity. Just... He's directing I mean, Gladiator too, isn't he? He's he's uh, he I think he is directing Gladiator yeah. too. I think that is what he's working on is the sequel, but Ugh. He, you know, he's always made shit films every once in a while. Like 1492 is not a good movie, mm -hmm. you know. Like, uh, there's there's stuff earlier than that too that was like, mm, yeah, yeah. I think I think yeah. the thing is that um, he always delivered a certain visual um, experience, right? You know, he's I mean, he's a he's, he's a an art a, director. By he's sure. a hell of a cinematographer, and yeah, and, and he's and a great that, visualist. But... I mean, even the storyboards are beautiful. I mean, he also right. went to art college, so he probably also knows how to get girls by. Yeah, well, movies. and and made his bones making commercials where no, yeah, you don't fuck right, around. Yeah. Like, you've got to get shit done in that's a hurry. Right. That's and, a tight and, ship. Yeah, and but but I think even like some of his later works, you're like, really. We're, Ridley, this isn't this isn't even some of your best visual work, mm -hmm. and and also what the fuck happened to your ability to at least smell a a story underneath it, right? That could be worth telling. Um, which, which I don't I, like. I, I have a lot of problems with Soderbergh because he's more misses than hits, but he's yeah. young enough that it's like, well, go ahead and do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like you're not you're not studio bound. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. don't have to do, you know, Che Guevara or whatever, you know. It's like... I, th I think the, the 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 biggest disappointment for me is James Cameron. I oh, mean, a, a guy a guy who came up, you know, in, in the Roger Corman system, and so you know knew how to make things on a tight budget and yeah. and and deliver the goods, you know, as far as action or 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 suspense or whatever he's doing, right? And right. and then. Even when he got bigger budgets, you know, he was he was at least able to deliver. The stories got a little weaker, but the but the, you know, there was still all the good beats were there or whatever. And then he yeah, just I mean after the nineties and he's... decided to do I'm doing Avatar and yeah, it's gonna be dog mm -hmm. shit from now on. Enjoy. And he's that. now working at like a a Kubrick speed, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. that one film every like seven or eight years. It's and he's like... not putting out Kubrick films. Yeah, well, yeah, no, without, without exactly, the quality yeah. of output. Yeah, I mean to be fair to him, you know those those two Avatar films have made a heck of a lot of money, so well, they did what right, they said. Like, I mean, they're, they're I mean, what they are I, is. They're, they're tech demos and and, yeah, and yeah. they're visual spectacle, right? It's like oh no, it's totally. Like when you I mean, go to a big fireworks display, and you're like, man, that was fucking impressive. No, absolutely, I'm completely with you. I think uh, I think he is uh, a, a big disappointment in some respects because well, Av Avatar you know, hasn't made any of my money. Yet. Well, no, <laughs> no. I, I, I feel I, like I he's he's one. definitely like living for today, though. You know, like I'm sure that James Cameron is happy and is probably not too vexed that you know you're not happy no you know, I mean, it's, kind of, it, it's kind of like you know rob zombie and his his wife you know like 
everyone's always like, oh, I hate their movies. And believe me, I fucking hate their movies. They're oh, terrible. he's a hack. Yeah, but, but I think, he's like, in his I own think, little world. And I he's think it's beautiful happy. that he's happy and she's happy and that they're doing that together. I think that's yeah. great. Right, but I and, think the difference is that, so, so Cameron, again, it, and it dates back to his Corman era, right? If the audience isn't happy, then then you failed, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Cameron has put out a lot of shit where people were like, what the fuck is this right and then he's like but but this thing made money yeah okay but is does anybody care does anybody come back you know and it Mm -hmm. whereas his early works man those things stand the test of time well yeah people are still watching battle beyond the stars but no one is re-watching the first avatar no 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 single person is sitting around watching Avatar. No, and I'm and I'm still on a desperate search to 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 actually meet people in real life who saw Avatar two. I don't know how this thing <laughs> made this much money, but but somehow it did. I think it must be all overseas or something. It must because be overseas. I, I I know a lot of people have seen Avatar two. I didn't see Avatar two. In fact, when it came out, I was like, I cannot fucking remember very much about Avatar one at all. You know, blue people. I remember, okay, like, yeah, and tech demo. Was, and then, like, I, yeah, I sit there, I would just sit there for a while, silently tugging on my beard, and suddenly go, "Hail sex." You were tugging on your what? <laughs> my beard. My beard. Is that what you call my it? Beard. Oh, oh, yeah. My tuft. I was. Uh huh. Yeah. I was brushing my tuft. Yeah, razor and head. I said, I, yeah. Lo- lofty, lofty doesn't count. I don't think he's real. Um, I don't believe in lofty. Certainly not by the by the. And I definitely haven't met him personally because he's still living. Um, but the... <laughs> <laughs> lofty saw every showing. Yeah, yeah. He single handedly funded the U.S. Uh, box office for uh, for Avatar two. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate. He's a bit of a disappointment, isn't he? I mean, I, I, I'm sure. Um, I'm sure you're, you're right, Jethro. Though he's uh, he's he's blissfully happy going underwater, looking at wrecks, and uh, yeah. exploring deep caverns in 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 the oceans. Um, I don't. Yeah, think I he's love that worried. <laughs> I, I love I love that he took you know for for a while he took his money and he's like fuck it I'm gonna go to the bottom of the Marianas Trench. Yeah. And oh, by the way, Titanic. do this thing right instead of ass clowning it like some other people. Um, you know, that 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 and that's and, the thing, though. He had fanboys, they were like the sons of Batman dying down there. Well, they're like know? muskrats, though, man. They're yeah. like true believers. You know, when you see James Cameron in, in public, I mean, forget the obvious, like you know, sort of TMZ bait sort of sound bites, whatever, he doesn't seem happy. Does he really? Come he off he seems body? a little bit angry, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, I think, yeah, he, the, well, the thing is, so, so he's got, man syndrome. yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing is he, he, I think, well, I think part of it is he has, he's had enough success. He's not hungry anymore. Right. And, yeah, and instead yeah. is doing things because either um, angry man shouts at sky um, that, no, look, I do the thing. And, and, and yeah, everybody, you know, oh, they, they they love the hell out of Avatar until next year when they all forgot it even happened, uh, except yeah, for the furries. Yeah. But but the <laughs> the the thing is that like when he was geeking because he is a geek, right? I mean he's he oh, nerds full, out on he's things, a full right? nerd, yeah, yeah, full yeah. Nerd. yeah. In, yeah. In the same way that Lucas was was a nerd, right? Um, yes. Lucas right. lacks some of the story and 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 directing humans uh, skills. But but from like the technical filmmaking standpoint, they're both very much of, of a similar mold. Well, every and, every anecdote you hear about on set with James Cameron is that he's miserable with people. Like he's yeah he's, yeah he's, he's a prick. I mean that 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 you know often the actors have to convince the crew to come back on the set because Cameron yes. has been a you know a prick. Um, yeah. But but I think that like again when I saw him doing that, I'm gonna. I'm going to dive to the the bottom. I was like, good on you. I mean, just go, just go, pers- you know, pursue your geeky, you know, nerd isms and, and, and enjoy the hell out of it. And then it's like, and I'm going to make avatar too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can, <laughs> I mean, can, can we drill a deeper hole in the ocean? You can go dive and just spend time in that. And there's, I mean, all of that crowd from that period though. I mean, there is, a, there is an element of the fact that they're all getting old and, uh, you know, being a, um, a vibrant, exciting director is really coming from youth. 
to some degree you know a lot of these people just don't have anything else to say uh, yeah. so they they're just telling other people's stories now and don't really have anything to add to them you know i don't think there's any of them maybe scorsese could sort of you could say is probably still doing work I mean, that's I, interesting. I, think, I think scorsese is telling the same story just wearing different costumes possibly so, so yeah, yeah. I think he's trying to challenge himself. I don't I think, think I think, Cameron... so. I think yeah, and he still does documentaries as well now and again, doesn't he? Which yeah. which don't get any attention. Yeah. He still he still throws a bit of uh, time into those as well. So he's he's probably w one of the very few. Spielberg seems to be kind of just he's been phoning it in a, a little long bit. time. Yeah. I well, I think um, the, the one well, thing Spielberg about... has always had bad taste. You know, it's just when when taste aligns with mm -hmm. his talent, he makes a good movie. But he yeah. will pick. He will pick a bullshit project, no problem. You yeah, know, like yeah, it always has. And like, yeah, and, but but totally but it's forgivable because because then he'll oversell it, you know. Right, yeah. but then he'll follow it up with something where it was like, oh, I see, I see you're back on point again or whatever. That hasn't yeah. happened for a good long time. I'd love to see him just doing a big audience pleasing movie again, rather than. I don't think do he something. can though. I I think I think he's I, lost. I agree. Touch with the I don't audience. think he can either. But would, it was great to see, wouldn't it? Just one big last hurrah, some <laughs> massive big roller coaster movie that he just, you know. No, I think just... Black Lives is right. They're all of the great ones are just. They're all pretentious. They're all full of them. They're former glory and yeah I th there's no, just ahead. nothing good coming out of american cinema american cinema right now yeah well i yeah for for any number of reasons but i think i think the the problem with um a lot of the 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 former greats um is that success uh tends to attract sycophants and eventually you are surrounded by people that just, oh yes, your farts don't smell. You're the, that's the most wonderful idea everywhere, right? Whereas mm -hmm. creativity is an adversarial process in a lot mm -hmm. of ways, right? You have to have people that push back. You have to have, you know, the the no, that's actually a shit idea. Try again. You have to um, have collaboration, not a dictator. right. Yeah, and, and, well, and again, it's it's a collabor. You know, you, there have to be equals, which is already a problem, right? Ke or, Ke Kevin or Smith made an interesting point about that. Actually, uh, he said um, in a, in a moment of honesty when he wasn't crying, uh, he said um, <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, that um, he made Clarks, he made more rats, he made um, you know Dogma, Chase and Amy, and then kind of after that, he got a lot of money and basically separated himself from his old friends and started to gain new ones mm -hmm. but it wasn't so much the uh the 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 sycophants it was more the fact that all of his now all of his life experiences were now coming from being from being within this new bubble that he was in you right know? you're no longer was, hungry right. yeah not just hungry but also not talking to regular folks in, right. in the yeah. street so he wasn't not getting normal. any life experiences <laughs> other than just Hollywood life experience. Right. It's yeah. it's it's the old uh, the the um D Snyder from Twisted Sister when he when when you know they they finally hit it um with Stay Hungry and then their next album is just covers of 50s whatever the fuck because he's like you know the the when you're angry you know you, you you're poor and and you're driving around in a broke down van and and going from gig to gig and you're getting mm -hmm. like 50 bucks a night you know, it's easy to keep that energy up. Yeah. What What am I going to, you know, sing angry about when I'm sitting in my, you know, $5 million mansion and, right. and, and sitting by the pool? What What am I going to do, right? And yeah. and it just sucks the, the energy out of you. But yeah, I think the the, the losing touch of, of you know, as, as you know, the, the common phrase is touch grass, right? Go out to yeah, the fucking Home Depot, right? Hang out absolutely. with people, you know. And particularly for people like Kevin Smith. I mean, not you know, I'm not just using him as an example, but I mean, his all of the all of his very early films are from directly from his own life experiences, right? Aren't they? So, and, right. and there are other directors like that as well that do that kind of thing, where they're you know they're very much down to it's their own vision of the world. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, as they get older and as they surround themselves with people who say yes to them and keep away from other human beings, then you can understand why they basically just start turning in versions of the same thing over and over again, but they're just weaker. Well, I've, I've, I've act, uh, mentioned this before on the show, but um, you can count the number of bands that got paid and then didn't suck on like two fingers. Right. You know, uh, the cure would be one of the mm -hmm. few that I would think of. Yep. Um, they 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 have a progression in their music, 
and they definitely found their own sound after a certain amount of time, but they never phoned it in. Like it's not garbage. It's not Avatar 2. You know? Yeah. But, but they're all, you know, well off now. And they all came from humble roots. So mm-hmm. um well, yeah, I always think I always think it's best for like um so a a, a band that I, I I always had respect for that that they didn't really hit big, but they they brushed success and at least got you know some real money for for a while you know like the Blasters um um it's a they're kind of a, a punkabilly band um, from San Diego they were in Streets of Fire. Right, one bad stud is is a blaster song, right? The, yeah, yeah. It's in that, right? Um, and the the front man um, is pretty well known um, for just giving it his all, no matter where they are um, and and how much they're getting paid. And to to the point that um, that James Brown uh, refers to him as the second work, hardest working man in show business, right? But <laughs> but. I thought that was Ron Jeremy. No. Oh no, 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 no. No. It's it's the people. (laughs) It's the people that are with Ron Jeremy that are the second hardest working people. Uh, Uh, Tool. uh, I was a huge Tool fan, and I refused to listen to that last album. It just sounds like it's been sitting in a closet for five fucking years. Uh, I've seen him half a dozen times live. Um. They didn't become any less intense, but they haven't covered any new ground either. Right. This it's like they're in stasis. Yeah. Kraftwerk. We did mention the Kraftwerk. The Kraftwerk. Earlier. Did they ever really get paid? Uh, no, they never made it massive, but they've had enough uh, fame to get their own documentary, I guess. <laughs> well, right. so did the beat farmers. That doesn't really mean anything. That's you know. Yeah. I don't I think mean, how much money there's a they really need, farmer's though. documentary. <laughs> oh, yes. yeah, I think we talked about this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. I like the question from Bot Lives, by the way. I thought, that yeah, was I wanted to go back to that. Um, yeah. hang on. Uh, <laughs> Do you know, it's funny you say that, Black Lives, because I actually saw a uh, I think this is on YouTube only about two or three days ago. Um, Michael Mann was at the BFI, I think, in uh, in London and was talking about Ferrari and various projects, you know, his, his, his career. and. I think all of Michael Mann's. I was thinking about the loss of um, physical media because Michael Mann puts mm. together brilliant directed commentaries on these DVDs. Um, I'm not suggesting that Ferrari would be a, an incredibly in- interesting, um, you know, watch with his commentary. But um, it's, when, it's... I remember watching Collateral and thinking, God, he, if if I was into if I was into starting up, you know, getting into directing. Yeah. This would be invaluable because he talks to about he talks about the lenses, he talks about the cameras, he talks about how he uses the various techniques. He's giving it's, you every brand name of everything he's using. It's actually really very well documented, just yeah. like Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, used yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's still got the passion for it too. He's one of the few that still has that passion. He's getting up there, and he's um, he's still he's still making interesting stuff. When I was young, and I still you know thought that I I might have that point oh oh one percent chance of actually making real movies um uh, behind the scenes stuff was oxygen to me you know like yeah seeing I little, used to all that stuff yeah yeah just little things before dvds and whatever like little little behind the scenes things yeah, the making up. of that they would run you know for 15 minutes on hbo, HBO yeah robocop you know, yeah. and things like that would pop yeah. up then again that was you know. like oxygen to me and, <laughs> yeah and yeah. i grew up you know getting my yeah. hands consuming every oh, star log and, and cinema yes. you know mati- mm. magic uh yeah cinemagic star log uh the horror ones um yeah yep and uh Bangoria. It, it, You'd occasionally get making of books as well. I think I had oh, close yeah. encounters in the Star Wars stuff. And yeah. I still have the oh. Raiders of the Lost Ark uh, screenplay soft yeah. cover. Oh, yeah. I still yeah. have it, and it taught me how to <laughs> draw storyboards when I was like, yeah. well, when it came out, something like that. Yeah, I, it's it's an interesting question. Uh, so, the wanting to know behind the scenes for a film. So, yeah, the the so it's two things. I you know, there's some things where it's like. I'd, I'd like to be the fly in the mall um, while a certain movie was made, you know, less about the art of making the movie and more what the fuck was going on. Right. That that's mm-hmm. one thing. Um, <clears throat> but I think the, 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 the technique of making film um, we're in a bit of a stagnation uh, 
point right now, right? That that the there hasn't really been any great innovation, um, you know, because we, we so think about in our lifetimes, um, you know, you have you have Lucasfilm and ILM, um, you know, coming up with the motion control cameras on, you know, that that are repeatable, and then you know the 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 improvement of 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 matting uh, for shots. Um, you have the, your next great leap is, um, you know, digital editing, even though it wasn't digital media, but, but, you know, you had, um, you know, edit droid stuff that also came out of ILM, by the way. Um, you have then the nonlinear editing where you're, you're really digitizing things and you can start to play with sound, um, in a full 3d scape, um, you know, with, with surround and, and making that work. And then you have CGI and after that, and then, and then the, and then the cameras go fully digital, right. Where, where you're no longer transferring from film, you're, you're going direct to digital, but I mean, that was all achieved in 2000s, early 2000s. Right. Um, it was all around 2000 that, right. That you finally, you know, you've got, Jurassic, you know, you have, you have the steps of CG, right. So you have Tron, um, you have the last Starfighter. And then you have Jurassic Park and you're like, okay, well, that's peak. Now it's just a matter of uh, making the horsepower, the CPU horsepower cheap enough that it's accessible mm-hmm. to more people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then when you got, you know, the first digital cameras, which, you know, were shit, um, nobody's doing that. But by the time that you get uh, camera sensors where everything can go full digital, you already have all of the background of the digital edit systems, um, you know, once you go nonlinear editing and, and, and then now you have full digital CGs already, again, it's just a matter of, of how many, how many bodies you want to throw at it and, and, and CPU and, and CPU gets cheaper every 18 to 24 months, right? It, it, it halves. Um, so we've kind of been in this, here are the tools. Nobody's really, th- there hasn't really been another innovation that has happened. No, we're Since getting tiny, we're getting just tiny little uh, evolvements right, of that same stuff. So, I mean, I mean, we had the uh, the massive system for big crowds uh, in in Lord of the Rings, and then we've uh-huh. had deep fake in the last sort of five or six years that have kind of taken it to new levels. Right, and, but these are these are just variations on absolutely, the team, yeah. Right? They're just it's just an improvement on the, right. the, so the, the story. The issue there. is not new innovation. The issue is that the the art of storytelling has been lost. That's yeah, well, that's the main thing, isn't it? It's the writing that's the, that seems to be the problem in an awful lot of the stuff that we're watching. Or, yeah, or well, but, but that was a small about. problem that suddenly became unsolved because we got incompetent people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and so solving writing isn't isn't necessarily a let me let me look again. That's a, a fly on the wall kind of behind the scenes thing that I I would want to know from the technical standpoint. Man, I don't I don't know because I, I there just hasn't been an innovation in the technical, you know, aspects of movie making, um, you know, in the last 10, 15 years, other than just more. Right. Um, and, and so the, the behind the scenes become much more about the, you know, the story or things like that. Right. That, 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 that you, you can watch, you can watch the director's commentary and, and all the, all the behind the scenes for Lord of the Rings and learn more about filmmaking. Um, okay. You know, so, at that time, then you so could then, anything now. So yeah. then, uh, and I agree with you. Um, so what, uh, so how you frame this would be the rise of the internet and the fact that these all used to be cinema secrets. This all used to be behind the curtain. And now it's right out in the open for everyone. Right. The democratization of knowledge. And and technology. And, and tech, yeah. Stuff. And the accessibility of the again, the, the, the futures here is just unevenly distributed. Yeah. Right. Well, if you look at the distribution now, pretty much anybody has at their hands the ability to make a movie comparable to Jurassic Park mm-hmm. and only spend 10, 15, 20,000 in equipment. Mm-hmm. Right. You may trade time, but like Unreal Engine Five and all that as as ways to to set up your CG and and render and, and and take shortcuts that puts you way ahead of the game. The question is, why in the hell aren't people actually doing this shit? Yeah, that's the thing. Why aren't we getting like a fifty auteurs coming out every year? You know, <laughs> with with all of the tools at your disposal. But then again, there is that other thing about creativity coming from. Um, a place of uh limitations you know right. limitations often drive drive creativity and if you've got if you've got a um 
a massive blank canvas on all of the colors in the world and someone says draw me something then it'll take you forever to decide what to do but if someone gives you a a tiny a5 piece of paper and says well here's one pencil just draw me a, a you know an elf then you'll you'll put all your effort into drawing the elf well if uh, somebody leaves a piece of paper on the on the table with a pencil i will probably sit down and fuck up that paper you know me too I mean? me too i can't resist yeah Without absolutely yes if anyone leaving a napkin in a, in a in a cafe and i've got a pen or a yeah. pencil in it yeah, yeah but that's it i'm, not, that's I'm coming up. forth right <laughs> Jethro, I mean, you you see because you spend a lot of time, you know, going to 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 art and 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 indie um, cinema stuff. I mean, is there is there innovation that that you're seeing there apart from storytelling, right? Good because question. again, that's that's a that's just a matter of of, of skill and want to and, and and drive, right? But but from the technical <clears throat> side, have you seen anything that that you really go, man? I really want to know how they made that. Uh, I. I just saw Yorgos Lanthimos' uh, Poor Things, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Thought it was quite good. Yeah, right. Um, I'm from the north, so good luck saying any foreign name from any nationality. <laughs> Can you spell it in the chat? What is it? Yorgos. Yorgos Lan Lanthimos. Yorgos Lanthimos. Uh, oh, just drop it uh, in the chat for people. Yeah, and. And uh, his film, his new film, is called Poor Things, and it stars. Um, oh, oh yeah. yeah, this is the guy it that did the lobster, right? Yeah, the lobster and, seen, and the favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a friend, a friend of mine who's really looking forward to this. Yeah, the name just as soon as you as soon as you wrote it so, down, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So poor poor things um, was shot entirely on sound stages, and there is clearly a lot of CGI, but there's also clearly a lot of sound stage built sound stages and it's the line is the line is really well blurred and so it's interesting that black lives asked this question right after i see this movie because before this movie i'm not really sure maybe divinity like you know uh like uh, as a movie i've seen recently where it's like wow it'd be really interesting to hear about you know the the um you know behind the scenes and where special effects start and the set stops and stuff like that but with right. poor things which it's funny like it takes place in multiple countries but it's all shot in hungry on sound stages you know um uh, but it takes place in a fantasy world anyway you know and right. it has there's steampunk sensibilities normally i wouldn't recommend anything steampunk it's really not my aesthetic but i don't hate them automatically but they're just so i don't hate it automatically there you go so you got it casually yeah. used yeah 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 so yeah, a bit bit loose with the language and, and the, oh look i put gears on my hat and that ain't steampunk get the fuck out of here i'd like yeah, to see the behind the scenes for um uh godzilla minus one because i, I don't oh, yeah I'd oh yeah like, I'd like oh, to see yeah Godzilla. That's the, well, um... again, from from a, in in and that's a, I mean, I guess that's a technical point of the the how did you manage with that budget? Yeah, to exactly. Produce? Yeah. Well, it's a material. Again, it may be that that look the 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 you know the technical tools are here for almost anybody. Somebody just recognized it, and then and it's then the a also understood. Tool. It's the old school terrible. way of making movies with you fucking storyboard, you write shit out. If I, like if I was working in Hollywood, I mean, I'd be, I, I would want to be to, uh, to see how they did it for that budget. Cause yeah, you know, that's the thing is I wouldn't be watching it for the technical stuff. I would be watching it for the organizational. Absolutely. Yeah. And, how do they do that? Yeah. Right. How, how much, how much of that is rediscovered or, or you know, or, you know, things that, that, that of course you did that, you know, and has been lost. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it would be nice just yeah. to get the uh, interview yeah. footage with Godzilla as well, sitting, you know, it's backstage, true. It's waiting true. in his trailer, just waiting. It's a, it's a what the kind of weight gain that that? How did you manage the weight gain and the muscle mass because you were so small <laughs> at the beginning of that movie, and then oh, he you know, De Niro. He, he goes yeah. full De Niro in Raging Bull. He just, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Loads of protein yeah. shakes. Was the diet, yeah. How, how did, you know what was your workout regime? That was, yeah. it's, but, it's, but I think it's that, like. That, um, 
we had to so take the, a six month break because I really had to beef up at the gym. Yeah, like yeah, every day. No steroids. It was all natural. I assure you. That's okay. Right. All right. Yeah. Twelve thousand deviled eggs. And, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. But so but they the, said they the, had to dub my voice because for some reason I don't really understand it. Yeah, I don't know. I it's just very. I had to be so butch. It was crazy. I want to uh, see that, that honey badger voice come out of the fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla, Godzilla don't care. Godzilla don't care, yeah, don't care at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe Matt Cat made that uh, video. Um, the oh. <laughs> the, the strays. Everybody catches strays. Okay. The look at those but, civilians. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Godzilla doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. He just stomps what he, he wants. Just stomps and stomps. <laughs> he just has a little slip, wakes up, and is ready to go. Mm -hmm. Oh look but, at that! He just threw them. He just threw those guys. <laughs> but I think. But I think there's a there's a um. So the, the the we talked first about like the the embarrassment of 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 capability that that people have now and that kind of paralyzes right that that without constraints it's very hard to be creative. The other thing that I think is is um, kind of a fundamental change is most people now view their computers or or electronic devices as like consumption devices not tools for creativity mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. we come from a different era where it was like look kids here's a computer learn basic to make it do anything it was a whole new paint box yeah. right and 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 you had to learn you know the the i was talking to to a startup um five or six years ago that we're talking about um well, we want to we want to have computer education in school and create more programmers and i was like let me tell you a story kid so I grew up in nowhere, Kansas, and they brought um, the first computers in to the classroom when I was in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. And the by the time I was in junior high and then in high school, every single person in the school had to learn basic programming. Wow. Right. The cheerleader, the anything, right? That was the comp sci. You know, that it was a mandatory class because they they recognize, okay, future, right? But if you want to get anything done, you're going to be writing something. Now, the vast majority of the people that learned that shit did not go on to become programmers. Right? No, but um, but they had an understanding of tech in a way that the prior generation didn't, even though they learned, well, I use it for Lotus one, two, three. I use it for this, I use it for that, right? That it was it was um not a a tool to create something. It was just a, a way to make my job easier, faster, right? And there's a very interesting quote from Steve Jobs um, around, uh, it's, I'm thinking it's like 82 or 83, right? When when the Apple IIs had really started to infiltrate the, the, the educational system pretty hard. And he was talking about, um, he had saw a, a, um, study on um, the efficiency of, of different animals, right? Um, for running and, and, and the, and the calories they used and, and the, the things they could achieve. Right. And from a physical standpoint, we were like a lower third tier, um, you know, as far as the, the amount of energy we consume versus the speed that we could get the, the things that we could lift and all that. Right. But if you put a human on a bicycle, we suddenly shot up into like the upper 5% of efficiency. And his view at the time of the computer is he wanted to make a bicycle for the mind. Mm. Right. Now that's a pretty powerful idea that sadly then got disposed because I'm um, turned everybody into consumer. Right. right. Well, the, the buy button appeared on the internet and that was, well, I mean, the buy button wasn't so much the problem. It was, it was that we're going to make the computer a walled garden that we control. Right. Uh, you will, you will use the app and no, you don't get to actually load your own stuff. No, you can't program your own stuff, you know, on a, on an iPhone or, yeah. or an Android device. It, um, it's, I mean, it, as cheesy as it sounds, it just got commercialized. It, it, the the big media interests finally figured out the internet, and then all of a sudden you have uh, undemocratic search functions and right. But it, but it's worse than that. The devices themselves started getting locked down. Right, they stopped being tools for us. 
and they became um, methods of delivering content. Yes. Right. They became TV plus plus. And that's it. And, yeah. and so I think you have a large number of people who have this um, access uh, to this bicycle for the mind and they never learn to ride the bike. Yeah. I, I think there's a lot to be said for learning how to take off your own training wheels, which is why I'm never going to be an Apple person ever. Well, hilariously, I am an Apple person because of the Unix underlying system. Oh, interesting. What I don't have is an Apple phone. Okay. Then again, I don't really care about smartphones because they're pieces of shit anyway. Right. For for a lot of the portable devices that that I use, they're handmade because I control the code that runs on it. I know exactly what I want to have done to it, and I can alter it any fucking way I please. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I've always been a Windows guy because my dad is a, a software guy and uh, he was always Windows. Um, I never really had the knack for coding, so I didn't really get that deep into it. But if I'm going to buy a car, it's going to be something that I can open the hood on and identify the parts and tweak. Right. right. Yeah, the, there's the, oh, um, you can't you can't change the taillight because it fucks with the CAN bus. Well, that's a car I'm not going to own. Right. Uh, yeah. You can't turn off the lane assisted. No, the, the, the only assistance I need is that I know how to drive. Um, that's, that's good enough. Right. So yeah, there's a hard limit on cars that I will buy. I'll just keep, you know, the same cars and just keep rebuilding them uh, over time. Right. They'll become the ship of Theseus. Uh, yeah, I, 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 st I still have a little bit of guilt about driving an automatic, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. but uh, I have other things to do, like eat and make phone calls while I'm yeah. driving. So. Uh, yeah, the old, I think the only car that I intentionally bought with an automatic was when I lived um, in the Bay Area, and I had to commute daily into exactly. San Francisco. Two hours each way, whatever. Well, yeah. no, no. It was San Francisco, the city. Fuck that, right? I, I would burn out clutches every you know couple of months if I had to, to drive in that city with a constant, no, this is under construction, everybody stop. No, move forward six inches, okay, stop, right? You would just, you would destroy your clutch. Yeah, not to mention how they've just made it impossible with all the bike lanes and everything else. Yeah, you're definitely having fun parking, right? Oh God, no. Not yeah, fun. luckily the 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 building that I worked in had had a, a deal for uh, for parking in a parking garage. So I went I went on holiday to San Francisco about sort of seven or eight years ago, and I I get the impression I missed it in its prime. <laughs> Yes. yes, like quite a few decades, perhaps. It was a little, a little scruffy. So, but looking. the San Francisco that I knew from like the seventies and eighties <laughs> is long gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long I gone. barely, barely got a taste of it in the nineties, and then uh, actually moved there while it was all just being stomped out. It was. I painful. mean, I mean, I had a good time. I, I, I had plenty of touristy things to do. You know, I did all the usual things and visit Alcatraz and saw whales and things like that. Alcatraz is great. I mean, it's a fun yeah. city to visit, especially yeah. if you're from abroad. Yeah, absolutely. But... And I was only there for about four or five days. But on the on the tours that took you around the city, or you know, uh, I just found it a little sort of tired looking. Um, and it, it's and just tired, not... and it and it's stratified. Yeah, it is yeah. One of the most polarized cities I've ever been to, um, or lived in for sure. But it's 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 definitely very feudal. Mm -hmm. It's very top tier, bottom tier, and there's very little in the middle. So it's 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 What's pretty painful. Just over the is it just over the bay? With there's kind of like a there's a there's a, um, a sort of a high class area which is kind of like oh, separate from it. I'm trying to remember what it. Oh, uh, the the north. North, yeah. like North, North on the Golden Gate. Uh, I'm sure. Oh, well, I mean, you know, you, you're talking to somebody who's been there for like three days. <laughs> I, well, no, I, I know, I know, I know. I know boat the trip thing. across the. Yeah, uh, yeah I yeah. know what he's talking about. It's yeah. Oh, it's, are you it's, talking it's, about it's all, Marin? Yeah, Marin. Marin. Uh, maybe on. it was all. It's all coffee shops and ice cream stores and um. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. There well, that's where Lucas Farm is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, yeah. I actually saw the uh, the old building with the uh, the bronze Yoda inside it when I was yeah. there. <laughs> Those people have no sense of humor. They are not <laughs> not, not interested in working people at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, so so Bender Bender brings up something. It wasn't until tablets and phones the problem really started to occur. No, that's not true. Um, 
the the idea of the computers the magic box really started happening um in the early 2000s where um and it certainly got worse from Dude, there you're but, getting a dell but the 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 final yeah the final nail the like the ultimate you know choose the form of your destructor is definitely the fondle slabs where i'm going to finger paint on it fuck off right there's a reason that i have a keyboard pinching your black rectangle yeah <laughs> yeah all right well let's stay on target everybody good discussion great question what black lives, <laughs> no that was yeah, there's a target about? what there at, uh, no black lives had a great question what was the last yeah. information maybe about behind the scenes that that was uh Mm-hmm. very thought-provoking yeah, I, like I, I i i still yeah. do want to know the background to a lot of films uh but yeah. i do feel like i'm more and more in the minority um well i think i know what he's getting at which is is it's yeah. just a little less special now oh no totally yeah, i get the, it absolutely the, yeah you know the um i guess like the lack of behind the scenes is kind of a devil's bargain because like yes on one side you know something like the adventures of baron munchausen is a thing of the past but mm-hmm. on the other hand, instead of just having one Terry Gilliam, you have an enormous pool of potential Terry Gilliams, you know, and like nobody is limited, like by just like kind of like that. Well, I just watched, getting I, the, you know, getting the gig, getting this like, you know, kind of 1%, you know, opportunity. I, I have watched the, the extras for Sky Captain. 10 times more than I've watched the movie Sky Captain because the movie yeah. is shit. But <laughs> the technology and the fact that two brothers made that happen with their own force of will is fantastic. It was like the first full green screen movie um, right when the Star Wars prequels were coming out, right around 2000, 2001, somewhere. Around. Yeah, I remember when that came out. I thought it looked really neat. Well, it blew my mind just the application potential. Like wow, I could right. make a movie in my one bedroom apartment if I had a right. green screen kind of thing. Like, and I've watched those extras over and over and just memorized them. Um, you know, the final product didn't work, but uh, that was more of a, a yeah story problem. story pacing issue than acting than, and yeah. Oh, the acting is like <laughs> they look like they're sitting in a green room, not knowing what the fuck is going on. So it's it's a little painful. Uh, and and not exactly the most emotive actors to begin with. No, yeah, no. yeah. not uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Films, uh, and and projects that you wanted um, a really good background, uh, you know, DVD thing, and you got nothing on the DVD. There were always the most vanilla DVDs you ever got. There were yeah. plenty of those over the years. I was like, I That's really want to know topic. more. Yeah. Most of the the Coen Brothers stuff had almost nothing on there, um, you know. Uh, do you know, I'd even like to see some of the old uh, uh, pioneering video game stuff with um, uh, like Wing Commander, where they were using acting and blue screen and what. Yeah, happened. yeah, the, the the full motion stuff that they. Yeah, that they I'd love to yeah. see how that you know see how that came together because that that was a that was at that stage where it was a bit more pioneering. But so, yeah, there's quite a few titles where I'd love to see more, but we never got it. Yeah, I think I think the the but the you know at least for the last like you know fifteen plus years I mean, even you know well so in the in the like mid 90s um I had a buddy that who had a a contact that that got a hold of him and was like hey um we I've, I've got i've got a contract and i need like script pitches for 10 low budget movies right and and so my buddy called and said hey why don't you come down and and talk um, we'll, we'll all kind of, you know, sit down, and have a, you know, a confab or whatever and, and talk, um, about, you know, what's going on and all that stuff. And the thing that, 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 um, I, I start, we kind of started going on, you know, what are the possibilities and all that. And I said at the time, you know, cause I think Jurassic Park had only been out, you know, a couple of years. Um, and I said, you know, the, the, the technology for this is rapidly, democratizing and you know probably in the next five to to seven years um people will be able to do this at home right because i was already doing 3d rendering and stuff like that on my amiga um and so i knew 
what the universal possible was. I just knew that, that, you know, CPU horsepower was the big bottleneck. And he, he was like, Oh, you're, you're crazy, you know, and all this stuff. And, and then, you know, sky captain comes out, uh, in, in within that time frame, And I'm like, yeah. Mm, so, so how's that working out for you? Right. It was a lack <laughs> of vision. Um, you know, even within low budget stuff, which I found really disconcerting because I remember, you know, watching, um, like documentaries from, you know, the Corman stuff mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and realizing how they were in their low budget way, still pushing the technological edge and, and, and they may not have been innovating, but they were early adopters to pick it up once it became more affordable. Right. Because they knew that the, the, their, their filmmaking tech was probably going to lag behind cutting edge by five years. Right. But things were moving fast enough that, that they were still staying on top, right? They, they, if you look at battle beyond the stars that has the motion controlled shots, mm -hmm. um, that, that was, you know, truly innovative in 77 with star also, Wars. Cor Corman understands an audience and right. he understands marketing better than, you know, 99% of Hollywood. Right. And knows he how knows to make he's money he's off of a fucking movie. He right? knows what he's selling. Like if you look at the terror, the terror is Jack Nicholson being free for four days and they've got leftover film after mm -hmm. they shot another movie. And it's just like, well, oh, put him on a horse. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. You know, that'll work. That's fine. We'll figure it out later. You know? Yeah. But, um, but I think the, the, the thing that, that is disconcerting to me is that, that right at the time that all of these tools became democratized, there was just no real output, right? I mean, Babylon five really pointed out the way that they were, they were early adopters and maybe a bit too early on the CG stuff, right? Because they were, because of the budgets, yeah. but it's not aged well, has it? But, um, but it, it, if, if the story is great and the, and the characters are compelling, you sort of forgive it. Right. You overlook it again. It's like the original yeah. Star Trek, right? I, sure. I don't like the restored version of, of the original no, series. I don't right? either. I don't I, either. We, I, we watched I, I, them all the way through and I, it, it bothered me. Actually. Yeah. I mean, I, There's I a restored like, or yeah. Yeah. They update, they CG a lot of stuff. And, oh, and so, no. oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not it's not, you know, the the the, the, the giant, you know, the giant planet killer um, you know, is is not cellophane with um, you know, a a, a red light in it and then the crazy, you know, spinning it's radiation effect when you go into it. No, no, we're going to CG horse. it and make it look more realistic and I was like, fuck that, right? That's Just not what it. I want. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the same feeling when That's you watch Star Wars a lot of bullshit. special editions where you see the big halo ring coming out of the explosions. It's like, ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Well, that's that's also the moment that I realized that George Lucas had jumped the shark and that, that fuck him. Um, the yeah, special yeah. editions in, in 97. And it's why I had no hope for the prequels. And, and his attitude had so fundamentally to where he's like, fuck the audience. This is my movie. Right. And I, they will, you know, slurp up. He literally said, right. It's my they story and not, I can do with it, whatever I want. Have, you've got to be fucking kidding me. They could not have gone back to the original series. And they did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They did. Yeah. Yeah. That's, they did. That's on that's streaming now. Bullshit. Yeah. yeah. That's, and, that's usually what you find on streaming now is that I do blame Luke. <laughs> and with all with reason. all the technology, they still didn't eradicate. I think uh, Clinton it somehow Howard. is his fault. <laughs> Welcome to the rest of the internet. We all yeah. do. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think I think that, but the the you know from the from the Hollywood side, I mean, I, I expect them to turn to shit occasionally. That that's been their cycle for a good long time, right? They get they get a little too puffed up. They they begin to think. They, they don't worry which way the wind blows. They begin to believe that they are the so one that blows fun. the wind. Why did you guys tell me this? Maybe they just blow. Yeah, well, then that's the problem, right? But but they're like, well, why aren't you doing... We make the thing. You consume it, right? Yeah, and it seems yeah. like every generation or so, Hollywood has to learn. No, you don't. Back yeah, to we're, 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 we're talking about James Cameron earlier, who does kind of have that Simpsons. People will like what I told them to like. You know, mm -hmm, sort of mm -hmm. like funny... Homer Simpson yeah. attitude. Women will do what I tell them to do. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 somebody took Noam Chomsky seriously and thought that manufacturing consent was actually a, a, a user's guide to to how to market shit, right? And then they found out, no, that's not working out so well for us, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's the, there are certain shitty ideas that that bubble up every generation or two, 
uh, because they're every generation thinks that it's the newest one and they're and they're totally innovating and coming up with new things and then they find out no you're just doing the same <laughs> stupidity Stay on target we're too close Stay oh on man uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's get to our short. I get it. Short hair. I get it. <laughs> oh, I love that clip. Okay. Uh, which I had to edit it out of linear order not to get fucking. Yeah, started. I was going to say. Uh, oh, and, really? and there goes the, the, the stream. Yeah, it's not it's not quite accurate. So we'll leave it at that. So Jethro, our uh, regular contributor and first time caller. Um <laughs> sent me this and wow um oh, Lord. prepare for cats everybody brace yeah. yourself uh, take, take something. put on your We're peril sensitive mind. sunglasses chat meow meow i'm a cat meow meow <laughs> <laughs> jeff is there anything you want to say about this before we do it is there anything you'd like to say in your defense before we reveal yeah. the evidence what i want to tell you is that um this is one of the things that uh my dad when he was a kid used to watch on television um i've had a lot of conversations with my dad about things that he would watch on television (laughs) and i've looked up a couple of them online and what i could tell you is that when kids turned on the television in the 50s and the program started it was like pow the program and like it's such it by today's standards an offense like it's hard to be in the room with it's almost <laughs> like the texas chainsaw massacre if you of, started in the middle <laughs> you know and yeah, the setup and, and, was we announced that it's starting get ready so bitch. i'm gonna tell you that this is an endurance test <laughs> There's no oh, reason. <laughs> there's no reason to watch the whole thing. However, shush. <laughs> should you get through story time uh-huh. to Froggy the Gremlin, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you'll be rewarded. Well, we're we're going there. Can I can I just take an extra moment to take my meds and prepare for the the full effect the of the anesthetic thing? cotton? Should we I mean, apply the should... genital cuffs immediately? Yes, yes. <laughs> if, if you need to fix a drink, because this thing starts off with a shotgun blast in the face. That's what all I'm right. saying. That's how all kids' shows started at this time. Oh, yeah, there's no subtlety. Like, yeah. there's no, like, as soon as the show starts, it is just like a shotgun to the face. It screams at you. It's and like then it you, keeps screaming at you, you it's know. Like, like when you take so, you test, you're testing out some acid, and you're like, nothing's yeah. happening for an hour, and you're getting this <laughs> an hour, like nothing's happening, and then oh my, oh God. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why are the walls bleeding? Yeah, yeah, Bender, we're we're about we're about to oh, fuck, yeah, buckle up, hold on. Yeah, so right. so the thing is, all in chat. Uh, I'm sorry, you you have no case. Your lawyer will tell you that you had been properly forewarned and had given consent to watch let this me, shit. Let me offer just a little bit more context. Oh, my um, God. It only gets better. <laughs> oh, the edging. The yeah. edging is real. I just, want, I just want younger members of the audience to know that in the 50s, television was live all the time. Yes television was always live like not always live but it was live a lot like a lot a lot and so of course for shows for kids it's going to be live and it's going to be like massively unscripted so yeah this isn't quite box. yeah this isn't quite that unscripted it but has you will, a, it, it has but you will get some feel you will get some feel for that I think but anyway, should... I yeah, you should just yeah, exactly. Mo- Fuck it. We'll most of live, um, yeah. mo- we'll most live. of Jethro's videos come with like terms and conditions which go on longer than the Apple. <laughs> it contract, is. It is. So. Yeah, I'm, 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 not not on the, I'm not ready this to sign off. I'm not ready to sign off on these DNCs. You guys this pile on me. Long. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's right. You're the motherfucker that decided. No, this was such a great idea. I'm going to show it, even though Jethro has a track record. I probably <laughs> repeat no, it. I'll never live down cats. No, you will not. No. All right, so here now, we go. Now, get ready for uh-huh, uh-huh. Holy okay. shit. Hey, you oh. kids! It's yep. Andy's gang! Wow. Oh, dear God. 
There is no chance All right. that man is drunk. I'm in. I mean, it, yeah, this is similar to the duty. Brought to you are by they Buster speaking Brown. a different fucking language? What are they saying? <laughs> it's well, it's it's uh, you have shoes and everybody needs a good old shoe and uh, but the best shoe is Buster Brown. Yeah, wow. it starts with shilling for Buster. Well, Brown I mean that's shoes. that's uh, yeah that's who paid for this shit show. Well, yeah. they got the kids to sing it, which is amazing. Yeah. That's the opening. That's the opener. That's for it. This show is Buster Brown shoes. Yeah. Have we got a humdinger of a story today? I bet you don't. <laughs> I bet you wet yourself before the half hour is up. Holy this cow. guy! This guy has been in a ton of stuff. Of story today. Yeah. The name of it is the Tiger Shark. Could you do me a favor the and read this Eastern story border, standing up? No of reason. <laughs> just want you to stand <laughs> up. <laughs> the wild sit. shores of the Bay of do. Bengal, and it was to a fishing village. That the Maharajas I sure hope we get some white house, guys in turbans in this. And oh, boy, oh, there oh, they oh, are. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> oh, Your idea to leave the elephants in the jungle was a good one. There would be nothing for them to eat here. I I am indeed a wise one. No, and you also aren't. a braggart. Oh, but come, it is not far now. Why is one of them oiled and the other one not? Well, the, the oh, wave hit him. The wave hit him. Oh, I missed it already. Sorry. Yeah, and that was a sticky wave. Where's the owner? Fishing is hard. You are Street Poligar, headman of the village. I am the Patel. That man has been spray painted. Yes, he has. I am Ganga, sent by His Highness the Maharaja yeah. of Bakor. His Highness. Highness. Is that the Sit Prime up. Minister of Canada? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Now we know who's on top. To know why it is that your people sit and starve when there are so many fish in the sea, and uh, we're lazy. What is this tale of a tiger shark in the Nagar Bay? Well, uh, have you ever heard of the God Caucasian? To a tiger shark. <laughs> Ask Candy. The ruby from Let me the tell you about the patriarchy. Too. Already, she has killed and eaten the thief. <laughs> and you believe? But well, where's the accent supposed to be from? No, but uh, the Bay of Bengal, so India. The high priest has made the people. Uh, yeah. tigers, tigers live there. That's all Some you need to know. <laughs> tigers live there. Yeah. Went into the temple there of are sharks mixed and stole with tigers. the ruby ring from the huge finger of the idol. Then it was he got into his sampan. He started across the Bay of Nadar. Suddenly, yep, R2's huge right. tiger shark. <laughs> Bigger than my house, uh, attacked the boat. What do you mean by you? And people? devoured the thief. Yeah, that's that's the guy who, who you know was this? the host. Well, yeah. many of our yeah. fishermen really? were on the sea and saw yeah. it. Oh, wow. yeah, I was like, I know that guy. He was anyway. wearing the uh, also huge ruby oh, ring yes. on, on his wrist, like a bracelet. Uh, Robin Hood is uh, uh, unapologetically my favorite of the Disney under. animations. That's a good pick. Because he liked me I think Such I, is true. I had the Viewmaster that is why they Yeah, I think I did as well. Diva turned into a tiger shark, and they will not fish. Instead, they sit at home and... Is he mooing? And for the hey, kids out there, Viewmaster was um, like VR technology from the 70s. <laughs> a more important question, is there anything between that curtain and his junk It is only us? that no. the tiger shark has wandered from the usual not. place of life and attracted by the shine of the ruby it's like, he attacked. If not, I'm staring like right at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for one I door. Know, my eyes <laughs> have moved from it. Every day that yeah. people see the big one. Yeah, he's in a ton of stuff. Then we must catch him. That's some bad hat, Harry. How many men are needed to handle your sampan? Four. Get a hat like How that. How should I know? Go to that and get one man to volunteer. That will make four of us. And tomorrow morning we will it's catch a giant the ice shark. cream cone someone put on well, his head. Here. Uh, that will be <laughs> uh, hard. Uh, his friends are wearing He's the dunce of the village. Wow, he is commando. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's free balling. Hey, Later on, these three young the men shark. continued to hunt. Now, Jesus Christ, look at the number of pages we went through in that story. How big is the print in that book? To find out why the people Andy has a God, lot it of is stories. The so many <laughs> yes. <laughs> he sounds like Winnie the Pooh, too. It can't oh, be him. No. no, it's not him. 
The people believe that this huge Winnie tiger shark was, Sterling, was the goddess Siva. Yeah, he appears in a couple of episodes of Twilight Zone to so Winnie the Pooh. And they were also frightened the guy that did the voice of the bay. figure as well. Knowing this to be a fully Zone superstition, Gunga oh. and Rama were determined to catch this killer tiger shark. God, that's amazing. The next morning, three <laughs> I've seen that film so many times. awakened the boy. How is he allowed around children? And gave his I have not the <laughs> I'll be sure and plug every inch of your skin. For any shot, well, no, you notice like he has to maintain a distance. To the tiger shark. Just pause. Can you pause well, for a second? Ahead. Absolutely, I can. To answer your question, there have been a series of laws passed <laughs> since the making of this program. Um, Vex feels represented. You know, <laughs> as a Canadian, I mean, you know, Vex. Were you? It's good to see her also? prime minister here in the uh, in the in the short. You know, unfortunately, and a lot of these laws are, you know, like named after victims. So, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> and see that Krishna keeps his end of the bargain to go with us. And hurry, for daylight will be soon upon us. And do not forget to bring the sail and the pole. Oh, it's lovely that Vex shared her home movies with us. <laughs> and I need a fresh ice cream cone for my head. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh wow. Jesus! Wow! Christ. Wow! 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 wow. Stay in bed. Is that a talent salon back there? Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! What? We Man, it's like they just whoa. manufacturer prime ministers in that fucking building. <laughs> wow! What were you doing in the coal bin? Children. They am lovely. That street poly guy said, "Fish are deep early in the morning." This no, turned into a minstrel show quite uh, dramatically. Dude, this is better racist because yeah. they were already <laughs> singing not me. I'm out. And leave us to die. With These are white people portraying people of a different nationality now portraying people of a different nationality. Yeah, it's, it's three de three degrees of racism now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We whoa, may whoa. be unlocking a out. new and exciting casual racism that we have heretofore not experienced. This is this is one letter. Uh, a one layer uh, deeper than uh, Henry Silva playing a Japanese detective who playing a Japanese detective. Yeah, he was only Japanese playing guy. his yeah. own race twice. Yeah, that doesn't count. This is yeah, Race it is. It's raceception. <laughs> yeah, raceception. Square. <laughs> yeah. is, it <laughs> is it possible to cringe yourself to death? Yeah, this oh, this no. is this is <laughs> racist. <laughs> this is so. Oh my god! How yeah, they they died. Come he died by tomorrow. cringe. Yeah. I'm already looking through one set of uh, fingers. I can't look through both. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna need an extra set of hands. <laughs> Watch uh, off, Andy, I'm gonna need more context. Can you? <laughs> yeah. Can you clarify some things? Andy goes. Well, Andy, you'll see. Andy brings his entire gang on an apology yeah. tour. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> kids. Well, kids. Here's our was over the line. <laughs> we catch his bait fish. Oh I have God. no liking to the catch. catch. Oh, it's a tiger shark. It's striped, so it's mixed. I think we Whatever they're striking with is waterproof. It ain't yeah. coming off for a week. She's no. I'm committed to that. Holy shit. Everyone in this show, please stop doing everything. I am overwhelmed. <laughs> stop I cannot doing stand doing. any of this anymore. Oh, dear God. I'm waiting for them to try and sell me pancake syrup. <laughs> Or some white rice. <laughs> oh, now we're going to pause? Oh, I see. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. I had, hang on. <laughs> the whole control booth went to shit here. <laughs> <laughs> Even the control booth is cringing. I'm out this motherfucker. You <laughs> tell, you're all said, on your own, son. Oh, God. And now I said we'd be rewarded if we got through this, but I don't want to anymore. Well, yeah, I don't want that. I don't want that <laughs> I trophy. Don't want I, want the the, I, want that, I don't want the reward. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, I, I mean, actually, I disagree. We do have to go through this. Look no, no, I think so. Holy. So we're right. He's part of the shark cult. And because it's a tiger shark, 
he decided to add stripes to his hat to fit in. Okay. It's, there's a theme here. We're it's a waffle trouble. cone. We are in big trouble. Yeah. I just want to point out Jethro chose this. <laughs> That's not a shark. This is a this flying is a sailfish. Fish. A yeah. sailfish. Flying fish, yeah. If I kiss it, it will become my prince. <laughs> we will not need many small ones to make bait for the big hooks. A few flying fish like this or other small ones will do. What does this Small? Happen? That looks at least 15 yeah. inches. The black face is cruel to animals <laughs> who entertain the children. There is a group of children watching this and they are entertained. Jesus. No animals were hurt in the making of this film. <laughs> well, uh, fish don't count. Yeah. Small it, it is is not oh, a needlefish. Those things are dangerous. Deep water. Oh, this is from uh, TV Days. Um, yeah. I would recommend everyone go subscribe on... to tvdays.com. Oh, yeah. yeah. So their on... YouTube channel is fire. Yeah. On TV, on TV. TV this is someone TV. else's childhood, you guys. I mean, it's, it's really. Well, it explains some things, doesn't it? <laughs> Rama, you'll be ready with the heavy sinker. Heavy sinker coming right up. I love how they're using like stock documentary yeah. footage of actual people, and they're like, "No, no, just put on what? blackface. You'll, 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 yeah. you'll just put on good match. You'll, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god! They don't match the arms that, that are in the shots, do they? <laughs> I just want to take a second to reflect on. I'm how, overwhelmed. How far we've come from just Andy busting out on stage? Right. So yeah. This is like two minutes later. This is, this is what we're watching. <laughs> I mean, well, obviously, sure this the whole show isn't live. I, I think this is actually sponsored by Buster Black Shoes. <laughs> hey. oh, well. I mean, I just put a link in the private chat there. Do they still exist? <laughs> and does Maybe Buster, he was right, I'm still real Buster Brown, right? yeah. Do they still exist? Still a brand, yeah. Yeah. I, I got it, Smilex. Yeah, I mean, that's from the 70s. And yeah. I don't think we've moved on that much. <laughs> Look upon my bunch. <laughs> Gaze upon my works in despair. Quickly, yeah. the fire. Yeah. We're Gaze upon my black uh, face in despair. Labyrinth. I, I love the the shot for shot reenactment, but the stunt doubles just don't look quite the same. Yeah. No, that's clearly like a man called Colin Pemberton or something. Yeah. It's a whole <laughs> <beautiful> <laughs> way. Why do I think that even the seagulls I hear in the background are wearing blackface? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want, folks, but this is where your coffee comes from. Okay? Pretty sure so it's a good thing for us. We have the strong wind. Pretty also, sure the seagulls are so shouting deep. racist slurs. We will not have to go too far before <laughs> you're sick and weakened. <laughs> you get that reference, too. Yeah. Prepare to jive, jive ho! You know what? This I think you're gonna risen. win this race. He has stopped fighting. Lower this head. Ah, ah, ah! The squirrel kept recommending it last year. Yes, <laughs> yes, it is. It is. This is the work part. Did they just catch a Rubik's cube? Is that what happened? It's Rubik, the magic cube. Rubik. Oh God. The magic. Oh my god. How's the rest go? You have the power! It doesn't. And the power is a cube somehow! Now it's either we or the tiger shark who will die. Alright, and then maybe we can finally well, rinse I'm, up and stop I'm, offending I'm hoping society. on the tiger shark at this point. You know what I hope you pull out of that shark, guys? Redemption. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are fucked is up. Dignity? That means he will swim up and... Oh, no, no, I believe that's a long past. That is when I will hit him with a club. 
You're gonna, okay. need, you're gonna need a bigger shark. He uses the club to keep his boat from getting stolen. Not with three barrels, he can't. <laughs> Not with three. <laughs> it can't keep up with three. Those guys are Not a one three, hell of a pallet. Oh, God. Happens. I'm wondering which of these served on the Indianapolis. Get the gap hook, Rama. <laughs> Just the shark, I think. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> Would something like Rubik the Magic Cube be public domain? Like, is any of those kids' cartoons? Like, this way so I can it, it would be, him. but nobody wants it. <laughs> right, like no one wants it, right? Oh, oh, Maxwell yeah. Silverhammer oh, came God. down on his head. Yes. Hey, right, kid. No, no oh, levels were harmed in the filming of this. Yeah, it's clobbering time. Fuck. Andy, can you skip this part? <laughs> All the kids Holy in the audience shit. are just crying. Oh, horrible. No, these, these aren't kids that grew up on bullshit Disney for everything. This, they're like, no, nah, I've, I've seen Dad kill the pig. Pull tight on the gap, Wilk Rama, while three Polygar passes the rope to me. Well, you just keep it? voiceover and like... whatever the hell it is we're showing. Yeah. I mean, this is a, this is obvious. children's television for yeah, 1955. That's the thing is like children's not to be obvious, television for 1955. If this is what you have to do for dinner, that's fine. But if this is what you're showing an auditorium full of six year old white kids, not yeah. fine. No, not like, to be fair, I, I watched the Discovery Channel yeah. when it used to actually yeah. have wild shit where it was like, and the lion just ate the baby gazelle. Oh shit. Disney okay. lied to all of us. Did did a spray painted guy from fucking uh, Alameda <laughs> club yeah. a shark to death? That's a little different. Well, that, no, that's that. These this is actual footage of real uh, Bengalese. They Excuse they are me. then doing the voiceover yeah. and the cuts to the spray painted guy. This is stock footage. Yeah, yeah. this is this is like a documentary. That's why they're painted. That's yeah, the mad it's, stock. It's oh shit! Yeah, obviously. The whole reason they painted them. They went to all these lengths. Yeah, you gotta match the stock footage. Yeah. Although you might have gone a little bit dark. Let us pull him into the boat. Oh yeah. You are not kidding, champ. Yeah, that's a good size tiger shark. Good size everything. Liam Neeson sized. Yeah. You're gonna need a bigger boat. A rope for his tail. Oh, it's so weird. Like, yeah, this, see? This we're is not weirder. really we're not this, really far from this though at all. I mean like you know Well this is weirder than like Sandy Frank stuff where he just imports things and dubs over them and, and chops them up or whatever. Yeah. This is like somebody really went through considerable effort to Take this National Geographic footage or news, yeah, and then anglicize it, it with yeah. a story yeah. and, and put okay. a narrative on it with some spray painted yeah. dudes, right? And, and then Built show this the whole children. story around this like footage of a shark. And like, this is what fascinated all the like kids. Like, my dad's five years old when this comes out, you know, like, Jesus. this is is... this is what this is what everyone like is glued to the TV about, right. <laughs> This footage here. I mean, I mean, it's exotic, right? You know, yeah. it, it, sure. it's definitely out of their normal experience. <sighs> For some reason, this wasn't included in Shark Week. I'm not sure why. <laughs> oh, now, oh, as, long, as long as no it. one humps the shark, I'll yeah. be okay. I'm just At waiting for the whole A Fondo uh, music to start playing. I don't know if they've got any boundaries. I've seen them crossing quite a few already. So. Yeah, I. A lot. A lot. It's, it's been a, a lot. It's, it's been a lot. Even though we are waiting for fresh shark food. How much fun are these fucking kids having at this point? You know, sure. like. At this point, I'm traumatized. I thought Ricky Dicky Tommy was. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is fucking crazy. 
Can we get a class action on this? How many people are watching right now? All right, turn them over. Well, I think I may show you something of great I think there's, surprise. Uh oh, uh, I think I think there's an important yeah, there's an important point orders. here. These kids had never seen the warning about don't go fishing with older men. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh -oh. Look uh -oh. how exciting fishing is. God. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Whoa. Surprise. Oh. Okay. What terrifying thing can they do to it now? Oh, oh we're going we to open on. it up. Yeah. You had to ask. You, know, you, know you gonna, had to ask. Now, now we're going to discover the secret center. Oh, it's look, not dead yet, Chomp. Look, caramel, nougat. This is a kid's show. This is fucking ah. In case you ever need to dissect a shark. I, mean, I hope I don't. But I will. If I have yeah. it. Well, now you know how. Uh, yeah, it's still a lot of that. Very educational. I, I thought, here is the ring of Seba. Yeah. Young kids today are 70 years separated. Now you may from return us, it to the temple. Know? Like, it's really not. Once again, the people may fish without fear of the really evil tiger shark. Really not that long ago. Yeah, there's only one tiger shark in the whole oh. of Bengal Bay. All of them contain jewelry. <laughs> And so the huge ring of All right, Siva one question, Andy. Uh -huh. Why are you telling us this story? Yeah, this makes <laughs> no sense. What is the purpose of telling this... children this story? Why think are it was, you telling us this It was this, this particular episode that got in the gig on Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. Zippity and no longer did the people star. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Screaming, children, stop screaming! No more screaming! You know, uh, kids. He's, he's not actually in the room with those children. We are so no, intrigued with our stories of East India, they never seem to tire them. There, are, there are more empty bottles in this auditorium than there are actual children. Well, <laughs> one night I showed them a little movie of an East Indian snake charmer. Uh. And about oh. on the screen, will you? <laughs> it is what, Ricky Tiki Dobby. <laughs> it's what you call a donkey show. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Will you please stop slapping the cobra? Is that I a euphemism? <laughs> well, it is now. that's a bit of what Squeaky <laughs> and Midnight saw. <laughs> So now, I want you to see what they did about it. I don't... What? What <laughs> fever dream am I watching now? Okay, now. This is important. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, wow, oh. this is the bit that you wanted to see. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me get... Let me, I'm getting ready to take notes. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. I want All you right. to do this. Um, Andy actually inherited this show from a different host um, who passed away. From uh, cringe. From yeah, cringe? Well, yeah. yeah. I think, I think he's, he's stroked or something. I don't know. Stroking. He had, yes. Clarence Carter. He had um, uh, taxidermied uh, cats. No. Oh, yes. my God. Um, and other oh, animals on his show. So this this character here is a carryover to Andy's show. Andy took over his show. This is a taxidermy cat. This is a real cat that is oh. dead. Oh my god! Of course it, it is. Got worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I never show one of my recommendations. Yes, you know? I believe I pointed that out. <laughs> now you tell me after the recommendation. <laughs> Look, no, look, bitch, no, you no. knew it was a scorpion. That, that, that's all that Jethro has to say. I don't want to hear any more shit about my movies. <laughs> you chose this. Oh, dear God. I mean, at least the hamster is alive, so. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Do you think that cat was white before they decided to yes, build the second? Definitely, yeah. they sprayed it. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> like, uh, it wasn't racist enough. Oh my god. I get that little cobra. That's that's uh, wow. You know that oddly that is a pickup line of mine. Come on, baby, get that little cobra. <laughs> Eraser head, you heard that Jethro picked this, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, how long is this? I'm suddenly yearning for the cat video, but I get this cat instead. <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh, oh cat. no! Roll over like a dead eyes, like a cat's eyes, like a cat's eyes. You can rewind the tape. I did say this was an endurance test. <laughs> Looks like a real snake. That was the first thing I told you about this. <laughs> was that an earthworm in there? It's like a Mr. Ed situation, and they put peanut butter on the edge of that, oh my God. that thing for the house. <laughs> <animated>. Probably. <laughs> Which is another pickup line I happen to use. I've got peanut butter oh, on the end of this thing. Kids would like that. And now, Froggy the Gremlin, uh -oh. you'd better become visible. Okay, do you need to explain oh, this bit? Oh, God. <laughs> well, yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, sweet. Eight pound, five Woo! ounce baby Jesus. Hiya, hiya. <laughs> You'd better be good today, cause here comes Clancy the cop. Oh, ah, Jesus. good day to you, lads oh, and lasses. Sure, and it's a, it's a beautiful day. Oh, look at that, even racist against the Irish. Kids, wow. yeah. I've asked Clancy the cop to come over and give us a lesson in crime detection. He likes to take pictures Tell of kids. Tell him why I picked you, Clancy. <laughs> the reason he selected me is because I'm such a big boob. You're right, lad, you're absolutely right. I'm the biggest boob on the whole farm. He went to the James Doohan school. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Get rid of the tongue, you'll end up behind the chocolate bar. That's right, behind the chocolate bar, and I'll throw the tea away. <laughs> what do you mean? You're trying to make a fool out of me? It's too late. It's too late? You're done right, it's too late. I was a big fool long before I met you. That's right. You bet that's right. Kids Don't love this. What the God. hell is what going is... on? I... Well, well, now, now, boys and girls, the, the most helpful thing in crime detection is, is the your flask. Oh, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> what a sick thing. It's to I stop, stop, stop carrying all together. <laughs> <laughs> on Come and meet my handy friend, That's Apathy. Right. Then we press the print. Onto the paper. All right, I need another drink. And I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, he's leaving us without being able to pause and take a break. <laughs> and then you arrest the lady. No, you'd better keep your trap shut. You got me going round and round. The mulberry bush. The mulberry bush. The mulberry bush. Here we go round. The mulberry bush. Bush, Ratsy Tatsy, Tio. Here we go. What kind of a shenanigans are you putting on me? All of this. What the hell am I? I'll be hitting you on the noggin with my shillelagh. My shillelagh. In the rogues gallery before you grow up. He will, he will. I'm. I'm, I'm sorry, boys and girls. I believe you. Clancy. Not sorry enough. Now maybe we can have a listen in peace. You see, after taking the crooks to the prince with me What back, the hell? Now what? find those same prints at the scene of the crime. I know just who did it. Now don't you well, worry. We all know who did it. No, I think we have some idea who did it too. <laughs> we know who you're going to frame for it. You're the biggest one. You bet your life, man. And believe me. Says Bangladesh if I ever see oh, you just gave us all the fingers. Thank video. you. I'll see that I get life. How are you doing about here? Waiting for a streetcar. Well, get out in the middle of the street. Go on down to the corner and I'll be giving you a ticket for jaywalking. Was... You, you're not waiting for no streetcar. Now out with it. 
What are you with you? Take my picture. <laughs> well, of course I will. Oh, no. I'll take your what picture. What in for the you. hell is going on? It gets picture oh. too. Okay. Okay. But it'll be in the rogues gallery I'll hang you in. Okay, okay. I'll find out if you've got a record. I'll get a real close up. Now hold real still and watch the body. Well, no, okay, watch okay. the birdie. Well, that's it definitely is. one of Jay's uh, channels. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it Oh, it hurts, and it has injured me. I need an ambulance. Hit me in the face. So funny. Must be an oil leak. Ha, ha, ha. That's what it must be. <laughs> hit me right in the eyes. Ha, 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 ha. What are you laughing at? <laughs> You did this to me! You did this to me! I say that to Adam all the time. They're laughing at the conspiracy of fluoride. It's true. You have to tell us about how communism is great now. Yes, sir, we're pals. No, we aren't. No, we are not. No, no, no. 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 I wouldn't go that far. Don't call me oh, as a character witness. You're not going to like the results. Those hard cuts are really weird. Like when it goes from the kids just like screaming and then it cuts. Hey! Oh, so B wow, Bender, like Bender brings shit. up something. He's he's. We did partially. Uh, Clancy at least went black nosed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Brown nose. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my God. Black lives is. <laughs> having a riot. No, that's true. And that's now, true. Gang, don't forget church or Sunday school. And remember, Andy's gang will get together right it's here. It's a little late in to Hollywood. tell us to go to church. Go to church. Mean, you have to, you yeah. have to go to confession yeah. now for having watched Andy's gang. Let's redeem this entire week, hour of antisocial we'll behavior by going to church. Fun too. Filmed in Hollywood oh, at an undisclosed location. Yeah, yeah. We'll never find this. <laughs> We're so glad to leave. Hey, can we play the uh, the guy from the beginning of the uh, feature telling them to shut the fuck up? Wait, oh, <laughs> to shut up, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. I need the shut up, kids guy now. Wow. Hey, kids, how would you like to hear this <laughs> on the street instead of the great show you came to see? Well, no That's one likes you that, sound clearly. Good like. call, Jay. Please cooperate and do your part in keeping That's this my quiet banana. so everyone, including you, can enjoy it. Speaking a little remember, fast, Remember, lots of adults and kids, too, paid admission to enjoy the show. We must insist on absolute quiet. Otherwise, we will be forced to evict all disturbance makers from the theater. Those asked to leave today oh. will be refused admission to this shot. theater in the future. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome, out. sir. I feel oh. dirty. I wish you would include people wearing blackface in that list of offenders, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that had like, everything, I, didn't it? Yeah. I like how, after all that racism on a raft and with a shark, they then have, like... like Additional kids, racism. It's <laughs> screaming at a frog. Yes, <laughs> that that is that is busy making fun of a racist caricature of a an Irish, a Polish uh, Irish cop. Yes, clowning himself oh. with a plastic frog. Oh, the I plastic mean, so frog was just so convincing; it just kept leading him astray. I don't know I mean, how. I didn't drop enough acid to watch this shit. I'm exhausted. Jesus, that was exhausting. <laughs> the plastic frog was the only bit that was um, entirely okay to watch today. Yeah, that was yeah, the, the only frog part. sequence. That's I mean, I mean, maybe TV maybe anymore. the taxidermied cat and I'm the hamster. Sure. Who knows? I'm not sure if that would that would float uh, today. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, 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 But yes, apparently the previous incarnation of the show had a lot more taxidermy in it. <laughs> that's fucking 
crazy, <laughs> dude. That is just bad shit. And that cat is just like a carryover for Andy's gang. Well, there was know. there was one clip. I to tell you. There was one clip where actually was a live cat because he saw it sort of blanking. Yeah, yeah, when he gets yeah, the close yeah, up of the face. Yeah. yeah. But otherwise, that cat is dead. That cat's dead. dead. Yeah. Much dead. like my soul after yeah. watching that shit. All right. I so, did for the kill. There's a so, bar near me that has a, a, a massive wall of taxidermy in it. It's fantastic. It's called the House of Trembling Madness, which is the best name ever for a bar. I'm not uh, opposed to like taxidermy, like on principle. I actually have owned a couple pieces, but um, you know, antique pieces. Nothing that you know I personally yeah. <laughs> gutted and. and uh, no, I can see you chasing down bears. Somehow. Sure. I, yeah, I'm more interested when I hunt. I was like, I'm here for the meat. I don't give a fuck about putting something <laughs> on my wall. God. Uh, so I, I want know. all of you to get all the way off my back about the features. Okay? <laughs> you, you knew the source. You said, nah, bro. That's good. Oh, sure. On the basis of your previous stuff, why not? Let's just well, watch this without Of course, of course. He sent three links. Okay. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, question from the chat. Hello. I I steal them all from an AI Excellent. thing. I um I often get a quick link as to what we're going to watch. You know, a couple of hours prior, and so a basically few minutes just, before the show. Yeah, yeah, today it was a few minutes before. I quickly check the uh, the trailer and go right. <laughs> Throw that shit into AI and let it do the hard work because I'm not doing it. <laughs> Two a.m. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. I, I give you a pass on the AI. Andrew does not get a pass on the AI. No, God, no. He's putting people out of work. Uh, wow. Uh. Gee, if only I could come up with something more racist than that to follow up with. <laughs> please, please let us not do that. <laughs> oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, no. You got karma to burn. <clears throat> oh, my what God. did I'm I gonna, do? I'm going to yeah. add. You decided you to the atom. this man. You I knew what you did. You, do. <laughs> you married him, Barbara. I got told, oh, no, I love classic film. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> Hey, Coop, you just missed. Uh, Listen, wow. I I stand by my husband. You can't do. That. I do. <laughs> I but stand behind damn. my wife with a baseball bat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> Copa, uh, you might as well go ahead and darling, and add, love add of my life. Dream. I don't want to hurt you. You didn't I let me finish my sentence. <laughs> Copa, add this stream to you. your worst of 2024 <laughs> list that you'll be putting out videos on <laughs> at the end of the year. Oh, I did bring a list of uh, my top 10 movies of the 2024 that I imagine people will be upset about. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Jay and I sharing the mutual brain. Yes, yes. The brain cell fired for the both of us. Number one, the Joker sequel. Boy, are people going to be pissed about that? I'm already Ooh, pissed. And I haven't really? seen it. <laughs> man, oh man. I don't know. That could yeah, go either no way. One, that could be uh, atrocious or some sort of genius. I mean, I'm thinking it's likely to be atrocious, but. Uh, <sighs> It, it doesn't have all the greatest of the ingredients being thrown in it, does it? So, I mean, yeah, again, when when I was it when I heard uh, it's it Joker screams. two, the musical. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Thanks. Bye. If it's really Lady Gaga, I don't know if I can watch it. This no, screams LSD worthy uh, turkey <laughs> turkey dough turkey dough. Twenty twenty four. Sorry, I'm I'm chatting. I mean, Copa, okay. Copa, look, yeah. Triumph of the Will at least would have some decent mm -hmm. cinematics. I don't know what the fuck Andy's, whatever the fuck that was. Jesus Christ. Andy's gang. Andy's that gang. was a fever dream. It, it, <laughs> Andy's crawl no. space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> fuck. This ain't no dream. This is a goddamn nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, okay. Drew's got a good point. It could be. I am Patricia Arquette uh, eating like Folgers crystals with a spoon. With your nose. Trying, yeah, trying to keep away from Freddy Krueger. Oh my God. After that fucking. Ooh. <laughs> 
No. As a matter of fact, I have to pause for a moment so that I can go get drink number four of the year. You let hey. some, let see, some I'll out. see you guys in a moment. Let some out. Let some in. Yeah, uh, exactly. And her, I, yeah. I can't stand Lady Gaga. I find her so fucking tired. I she was can't. in um, uh, A Star is Born, wasn't she? She was in the remake of that. What is that right? Yep. And, find her and that got loads tired. of um, sort of Oscar attention. I don't know. I don't know if it actually won anything, but it certainly got some Oscar Oscar buzz when it came out. Yeah, I think it, from the nearly it win, tens like, the of the people song? that saw it. Oh, it may have done. I just I, I mean I watched that and I don't know. I, I found it just incredibly flat the entire way through. But then again, I, I feel that way about a lot of Oscar bait movies that tend to come out around about this time of the year. I just she, I, I, I I'm, think I'm she oh, sorry. wrote the best song. Didn't they, didn't that Shallows song win for best whatever uh i mean i mean i guess the fact that she you know she does go on stage and do her you know she was probably more convincing than some actresses when she's doing the the, the music parts but as an actress mm, uh, she's kind of i find her whole shtick really boring and, and tired and derivative i mean klaus nomi was doing her 30 years before her 40 years before her i just ugh. Ugh. the the weirdest thing i've ever seen from lady gaga and i swear to god i'm not making this up uh she did a thanksgiving special like the, it showed like thanksgiving night or something like that and house. it was all about her standing in her kitchen cooking dinner and like covered you know, her her God, this, sounds, this sounds almost as bad as Dior. that Carpenter's TV special where the alien showed up. It was it was her and some family members, and she was cooking like Italian food, but she was wearing couture while she's in the kitchen, right? And then she uh, she does like a oh, it, it's a worse. Thing I, with, I don't with, I don't um, think that a certain Austrian would endorse Andy's gang. I, I think he, that's beyond the pale. <laughs> Um, she she did a duet with Tony Bennett, and then she closed out oh, yeah. the show with um like a Christmas song, like "I'm Dreaming of a White Christmas" or or mm -hmm. "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas" or something like that. And it was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It was it was surreal. Have have you? And seen... I feel like I'm the only one who ever saw it because I think when I you talk may about have. it, this nobody may... ever knows what I what I'm saying. They're like, uh -uh. Had, were you running a fever when you allegedly no, saw this? And I wasn't drunk either. Okay. Have, have you have you ever seen the Carpenters um, special? And it was like I think it's '77 because it's like when Star Wars came out. Yeah. And and they decided to do the space. What the fuck is going on? Story thing along with the the and and karen carpenter singing and all that that is a fever dream of biblical because it is maximum 70s that that's what i can say just shove space in there just yeah and aliens. And, and aliens that come down what what is going on why am i watching this and and, hey. and i think i think the 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 brother is the one that did like all of the writing and cinematography for it. <laughs> Oh my god! Basically, shit. I don't so remember weird. seeing that one, but I I just googled it. It's called a very Gaga Thanksgiving, and it was in two, 2011. No, I'm no, not. I, I'm not making things up. Has anyone seen the um, the Carpenter story done with Barbie dolls? I forget the name of the movie. <laughs> there's, like a, there's like an amateur like home movie shot on uh, Super Eight, and it is the Karen Carpenter story, like with all of the horrible stuff in it. But it's all done with Barbie dolls and little miniatures. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, let me find it. This is probably public domain, actually. Oh no, the the Carpenters is Space Encounters. There's a a, a film reviewer in the UK who uh, refers to any biopic where the character does the thing that they're famous for and sort of telegraphs it in advance um, as um, a chubby hmm moment, which is 
which oh. came from the Karen Carpenter TV movie, which is when she, you know, she looks at a review of her uh, of a, a recent stage performance, and the reviewer said something like, "We really like the chubby girl," and she goes, "Hmm, chubby, hmm," and you know where that's obviously leading. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and there's one of those in like every biopic you'll ever see. You know, they're just uh, you're just thinking, ah, oh, here's the moment where Elvis discovers like uh, drugs and. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the uh, the Barbie film is an art school project by a student named Todd Haynes and it's called Superstar and it is all over YouTube. Um we're not going to show it. It's 45 minutes and Wait, I don't The Todd Haynes. Uh what's that? Sure. sure the, you know. the Todd Haynes, isn't he? Uh, Bart is that Todd? student Todd Haynes. No, the Todd, Todd is clearly his, his, his middle name. The is his first name. Uh, <laughs> the Todd Haynes, yeah. yeah is it yeah. H-A-Y-N-E-S? It's Todd motherfucking Haynes. Is it is that guy, isn't it? Yeah, I know him. He, he's done He's done things. He's done he's okay. things we've so, seen. So let me give you a, a, a just a taste of this Carpenter's shit show. Their, <laughs> their big song that they wrote for this and, and thought it would be a radio hit is calling occupants of interplanetary craft. Oh, I love that song. Yes, that I that really, is. I really do enjoy that song. It is. It is that this the the uh, the whole show is kind of built around that song. And what the fuck have I seen? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is insane. I believe it's on YouTube. The the mm. complete special. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I will screen Superstar for another show and see if we can get away with it but um it, it may very well be public domain it's there's a bunch of them on youtube um it's bonkers it's definitely like a party film like something you want to watch when you're doing a lot of drugs it is fucking weird uh, and it yeah it does not shy away from the anorexia and the abuse and all that stuff and it's all barbie dolls it's fucking weird yeah, oh, it is yeah. the Todd Haynes. It is Todd MFH, as the oldest isn't gamers that, put. I, I <laughs> thought that I thought it was illegal. I think, isn't it? Well, it's just banned. Do that at all? But banned is not a thing in America. That's not yeah. so. Smilex, what else will we know Todd Haynes from? Uh, he had a bit of a flurry of activity in the nineties. He did um, the Velvet Goldmine, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and um, he did I'm Not There, the Bob Dylan movie. Okay. Um, and he he appears to have done a velvet the Velvet Underground uh, a movie in 2021, but I've never. He does have a theme. A thing, yeah. He seems to like um, his punky sort of influenced music stuff. There's quite a few um, uh, music things in there actually. Uh, this movie, um, Save, yeah. is incredible. If you've never seen, Save, yeah, that's Save. right. Yeah, he did that as well, didn't he? Yeah, of course. Safe is really good. Yeah, I I can't. He's not bad. Like. If it's one thing I've learned, it's that a couple hours into a live stream, I can't remember any fucking actor or actress's name. So I, I, I can't tell you who the lead actress is in Safe, but she's so good. Like last it's, week, uh, got Julianne Moore is in Safe. Yes. Okay. Thank God. Um, like last week, we were talking about uh, Infinity Pool and how much I like that. It's Skarsgård's uh, son. Who's in that? Which one? Mia Goth and uh, Skarsgård's son. Yeah, yeah, which one? He's like <laughs> five of them that have all done movies. Well, you know, well, I wasn't. I wasn't ready for a follow up question. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! He, this he fucks just, up. He, I, he just. Oh, I just drink. figured out his last name. I didn't know he had a first name. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I says, there's an elder scars guard. I didn't know there were five juniors. Yeah, there's, there's a, all like all of his sons have, have been in movies of one sort or another. I'm gonna give a hot take. I hated Velvet Goldmine. I oh no, I, I, I think it did really badly as well. It's um, terrible. It's a real, it's a real mixed bag of Eddie stuff. Izzard is the only redeeming part of that. Um, isn't uh, Ewan McGregor's kind of... in it? Isn't he? Ewan McGregor's in it. Yeah, but yeah. It, I think everyone's terrible except. For I think Eddie it got Izzard. some really bad reviews as well when it came out. I don't think it was loved. I remember it coming out on video. 
I don't think you hating that movie should be anyone's deal breaker. I think no, I don't either. I think, I think it's legit to hate, to, safe to hate that movie. Yeah, no, I mean the Carpenter's Barbie thing was pretty pretty dope. <laughs> G- yeah. Gamer, I believe there were like twenty, but then we showed Andy's gang, and they uh, they yeah. retracted their. Thumb. Unlike, yeah, yeah. Uh, Subscribed. Thank you, Jim, for keeping us <laughs> up. Uh, I uh, earlier today I nominated. We went the wrong direction. I liked it twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, unlike, well done. There we go. Do it again. Um, <laughs> I nominated some new mods. I nominated the uh, CLS and uh, Tom has some thoughts and a couple other people earlier today. So, sweet, uh, sweet, awesome. I can't nominate everyone uh, because YouTube, uh, if you don't have a original handle, which is, you know, the at uh, name on YouTube, if you don't have an original one, and if you don't have any videos on your channel, I cannot nominate you for a moderator. So that's how that works. That's funny because I don't have any videos on my channel. I don't know how you went through, but you did. I I don't have any on my channel either. I, and it, it would not let um, me say. No, but like I don't have anything on mine, and I'm a moderator on Browns. Well, I mean, everybody's a moderator on Browns. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I just the, just the facts, ma'am. This is. <laughs> These are uh, the uh, the trends that I had noticed. Well, maybe, maybe they maybe they changed the rules up or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, a recent modification. We have altered the bargain. Pray we don't alter it further. Oh wow, Jamma, that's weird. And you are a moderator. I don't know. This is what happened today. And like the three people I couldn't do was uh, people that didn't have any videos. So there you go. All right. hmm. Well, uh, we're going to watch Andy's game again. Uh, but, believe it or not, that is not a single episode situation. Oh, no, no. I, I feel confident that there was at least an entire year of this shit. And I am not watching another fucking one of them. Black Lives, you are a moderator. You should never watch another episode of Andy's game. You have watched the only one you should ever watch. Yes. Well, speaking of Negroes. Uh-oh. I watched you. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's just get into it. Uh I stumbled onto this uh late night scrolling through 16 millimeter educational films, and uh the title alone is just absolute gold. So oh, let's oh, dive boy. in. Hold on to your butts. How we this just in white people are great. It was good. Oh. Well, move that over there. Why don't you? You got the level on that, Joe? Hey, how's this video coming through? Are uh, the lights hot enough? Don't forget the dolly and coach. All right, be sure and stay clear at number two camera and all set. Stand by. Atom prepares to broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was, oh, I was hoping low. Oh my god. Let's just pause for a moment on oh, no. this. Oh, now this yes. is a big podium in the town square. You might want some chains. And then you're ready. Exactly. You're gonna need an auction house, a good auctioneer, preferably an auctioneer who has sold tobacco. Yeah, anyone, that's uh, very important. Anyone it's getting like a, a red flag feeling here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. The place. I mean, this it's is very practical Nuremberg and educational. Flags. This is the kind of thing that clearly you have, we're to, here, you have to. We're here to educate people. Exactly. You, you could learn life skills. So. It was 1954. It was a different time, you understand. It was a different time, you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Hats off to anyone that can read Roman numerals in this day and age. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I mean, this can't be racist. It's literally made by the publishers of Ebony and Jet. 
Yeah, I like tan and hue. And hue, yeah. I, it's <laughs> it's a it's a spectrum. We we cover any number of of yeah. And I'm sure the Johnson Publishing Company Incorporated is not just a bunch of rich white guys. What, what type of uh, publications do you think those are? Oh, I, mean, I think I think to be fair, the Johnson Publishing Company predates the BBC. <laughs> Going on eBay right now and buying copies of Tan. Yeah. I learn the secrets of tan. I want to know what I'm okay. interested in Hugh. I used to subscribe to Hugh. <laughs> right. I feel jet now with my needs. You know, I published my Johnson once or twice. <laughs> Did you follow Johnson at the other Johnson, right? Uh, Johnson? Johnson. That's very well liked. It's a large exploitation. No, the other Johnson. Hello, oh, I'm Bob hello there. Please leave me alone. I've got a story here that I think I is just big. Looking at some really big. Because it's bound big, to have a like my Johnson. On business. Publishing. I love the bounty. I'm talking Volumes about a new market. A big new market. Millions upon millions. Huge. Of new prospects Enormous. With Fifteen billion dollars to spend. That's right. I said fifteen billion. That's Turns a lot out of money, isn't black it? people have money. Yes, the surprising yeah. thing is that it's a fresh market. Well, did you not read Still the teletype? Full of opportunities. It grew up so fast, got Black so big and a hurry, quiet. that few of us realized its scope. <laughs> now these days, nobody's likely he's to pass busted. up chances to sell. Yeah. And yet right much. here in our own he's, front he's yard, actually online trying to cancel the subscriptions to Ebony and Jet. Right. <laughs> to get the story of this market, white guy. to be able to tell you the secret of selling the Negro, we did a lot of digging. Hey, we talked to leading businessmen, to customers, and to salesmen. We went to Washington, D.C. We set up cameras and other key points around the nation. And out of this all, there emerged a story. The story of a new market. Well, well okay. listen, white people. Tell me you gave these it. black people money. Oh, it's boy. time to get it back. That's right. James Brown. Oh. Tom Jones. Neil Breen. Neil Breen. <laughs> Yes, this Listen, is the market fellow we're white about. people, the new we don't know how it happened, we don't know why it happened, Wilson, but we have Smith to go get it. We have to go Alexander get it now. They brought down the values of the Chicago, homes in our neighborhood. In Atlanta, Let's clump that money back. In Detroit, St. Louis, Los Angeles, any one of a thousand cities and towns. All over the country, families such as this are enjoying new prosperity. They have new interests, new standards of, standards of living. Why they're yes, all members of Andy's gang? Because I mean, I got, I'm, I'm with Jamma. I'm I'm throwing some ones in the chat for the, for some of these women. That's yeah. totally legit. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It turns out they're just like real human beings. Oh my God! <laughs> power they've never enjoyed before. They're good prospects for practically all types of goods and services. All too often, though, they're overlooked prospects. Why? Because of some uh, good, well, yeah, in that reasons, era, that's true. No, they're overlooked because of mistaken ideas, because of out of date ideas about how the Negro lives. The little lives girl from the Gravity video is going to walk up in a minute. The truth <laughs> of the matter is that the Negro lives pretty because much their the same house as other people. No he buys pretty much the same way, too. But just the same, a lot of old doubts and opinions is keep cropping up over and over again. Sequence in this movie? I hope so. I don't like to do business with Negroes. Oh. They're drifters. You can't keep track of them. Yes, although a lot of people well, think but that what way. what I do the like is, is drilling holes in things. <laughs> Take that, Negro, and that. Oh, home. sorry. Oh, that oh, figure comes directly <laughs> from the United States Bureau of Defense. about the drifters? They have their own Marmadukes. This is yeah, completely maybe not so. I mean, I, I enjoy the songs of the drifters. credit risk. <laughs> not more of a credit risk than any other group. Actually, the Negro home buyer meets his payments faithfully, often more faithfully than other race groups in the same economic level. That's go, the information see. we got from oh, people who ought to know, the National Association of Real Estate Boards. NASA. Well, maybe, but I've always heard that Negroes buy shoddy, poor quality merchandise. No, it's well, just you're the selling it to him. Yeah. According Ooh, to leading yeah. that. In proportion what, to population and income, where did this income, come up in Negroes conversation? Buy more quality <laughs> what is wrong than with any you? Other comparable United States <laughs> what dinner parties are you going to with yeah, that? Yeah, someone tells you that, like, about the Negro customer. You're like, what okay, it's okay, less of a dinner party, more of a meeting. Is that information? I don't think so. <laughs> Kind of a picnic meeting. Yeah, kind of a <laughs> meeting. We we meet outdoors. We go. We have a big bonfire. <laughs> What the fuck is time. going on? Who are you hanging out with? Is it dress code? <laughs> yeah, there, there's some right 
so that so that there is some interesting um like buying behavior um especially in the in the south um for blacks in this era so buick was was one of the biggest sellers um for black car buyers in the south because it was the most reliable car and when you're driving through towns where you are not welcome you do not want your car to break down Ah. and and, um so the you know they used to have um what was it the little blue book that that had yeah they're easy yes. to work on and then yes there was well a- no they, they were just reliable from the b-jump right but they were also it was like the the cadillac was more of an in-town purchase the the buick the town car yeah right the buick was was the kind of thing if you were if you were in the south and you actually traveled on the roads it was it was the step below the cadillac but it also didn't have the goo gauze that could go wrong with the cadillac and it was a much more reliable car and it was certainly um more reliable than like the the baseline chevys and all that but the so they there was a um there was a couple of publishers that put out uh books specifically for black people traveling mm-hmm. um to like uh hotels that would that would accept them um you know restaurants uh you know um vacation spots um and there was a whole like secondary economy um that that served the black community in areas where where you had segregation and racism yeah no that was a real thing that yeah. was absolutely real and yeah i mean it was very just... practical right that, that that you look at it and go it, i've i've always i've always looked at that era and been like this is why i love humans uh well you erect problems they solve them right yeah and, the and workarounds so they come up, of reality right. because not only were there like officially published things you know if there were officially published things there were lots of underground oh yeah oh yeah going around of safe places to go and right on and find out about them where they just don't hold water where musical Negroes acts own homes. Right. they meet their payments faithfully they buy good brands of merchandise so why let a lot of old-fashioned oh, ideas like hurt profits Take a look at the real facts. Here in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, some amazing facts and figures about this new market have They've been They've been considering letting a, a Negro in the building for a while We would like to take you directly now. to the United States Department of Commerce to hear this story from the Secretary of Commerce himself. Here is the Honorable Sinclair Weeks, the Secretary uh-huh. of Commerce of the United States. Uh-huh. In the Department of Commerce, the sheriff we is are here. constantly alert to trends <laughs> that mean a healthier Duke national boys. economy. Better business for the nation as a whole. Recently, we I have been interested in a rising young lip. market. Wasn't he the president in our feature a huge film? potential yes. for goods and services. <laughs> sure. I'm referring to the new Negro market. The the doing the same smile like that this growing up, back to I like uh, Knight Rider and Fall Guy. Negro and I really like Dukes of Hazzard, too. In fact, <laughs> since 1939, yeah, that's, that's it has a show that probably wouldn't get a remake. <laughs> it's a hard, it's hard for, America. yeah, it's hard for us to enjoy Dukes of Hazzard now. It, yeah. As much as that comment is three hours late, I do appreciate it. There was a, <laughs> there was a, there was a, a guy, a neighbor I used to have that had a An car official painted with the same picture, report shows which is, that at least... it would be weird if it was in the States, but it was even weirder in a little northern town in the UK. <laughs> I bet. I, I've seen I, a couple I, of General Lees on the road yeah. back, yeah. back in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. just waiting for Jethro out, to man. catch up to the fact that we watch Andy's Gang and, <laughs> and to really catch his reaction to that. <laughs> It'll be what good did you guys think? Talk. Did you guys like Andy's Gang? <laughs> like, like, oh, oh, are we going to play that good? later? And then he, oh my God, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Is <laughs> that good? Oh, living in cities earn from two to five thousand dollars a year. Today, the average children's Negro show. Wages Is he talking about people that are only one third black? Yeah, this is one third, so it's a little more so. Do you think? I mean, they only started out as three fifths of a man. Guys, um, you know, so, you know, you know what know. this is? This is a come to Jesus moment for racist um, door to door salesmen. Racist capitalists. You know, like, I'm still trying to look at how you become a third. There's just like, like, look, guys. <laughs> Could not. <laughs> How do you become a third of something? Do we do? <laughs> Unless you put your keys in the fishbowl. I mean... 
It, it takes a few generations, but you can make the math work if you try. <laughs> Should we get Quarter Black Garrett on here? Because he might have fun with. I him. mean, he's gonna he's gonna fe- he's gonna feel inadequate. He's a quarter. <laughs> We're talking about thirds here. Yeah. There's a total income of about fifteen billion dollars every year, and after taxes, Negro families still have. Many billions of dollars to spend. Now we gotta take that. We Here gotta take a, a lot of that. <laughs> we gotta take the power of that if we can. That's money that could be in your pocket. Economy and on business prosperity. Of Robert in De Niro and this when is these killers of the flag. are spent for a wide range of goods, services, and employment, business everywhere is bound to feel the impact. <laughs> this new buying power has resulted in a class Negro market. A profitable, above-average income group of consumers. For example, the nation's largest newspaper and magazine research organization, Daniel Starch and staff, Why has reports that child these significant figures. The Why do More they have the black people of the listening to music? Of magazine have a record. Negroes can now afford paneling and pinafores. <laughs> player in their and home. music. Soon almost they will be able to afford chicken. On a television set. Take in some Al Jolson. And almost 78% enjoy the convenience game. of an electric refrigerator. <laughs> I, oh my no, god. No, 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 okay, 78% of black people can afford the luxury of an electric refrigerator. Okay. H- I'm wondering it, what the total disper- like like what the the overall US average What year is this? What year is it? I mean it's uh, definitely 54. 50 50 54 I think. Yeah. It, yeah, it was 54. Yes, 54. Television yeah. set. Uh, there's a big black spot. Percent enjoy you the see convenience it? of an electric <laughs> Wait, it's right beside his refrigerator. No, 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 that was the child. That was the child, Smilex. <laughs> That's not a so child. We're, the, it's a little the boy. Same, oh. we're in the same fucking age as as at the Andy's game ep- episode we just watched, right? Oh, wow. Have a record player in yeah, their this home. was same not age. made for children. Right next almost to the fridge. 64% Big black spot. on a television set. There and almost 78% oh, enjoy the convenience of an electric refrigerator. I didn't expect to see that tonight. It is also a fact. And this is from the magazine, like the Rhodes, Food uh, Field Reporter, that, Negroes that they buy a lot of beer. I mean, a lot of beer. Food alone. <laughs> Hot liquor. Per yeah. capita, they buy more cosmetics, yeah. drugs, and toiletries than anyone else in the country. And they and rub their beer on their face. Too, because since 1930, enrollment in Negro colleges is, is up 2,500 percent. But really, to recognize the importance of this class Negro market. We must realize yeah, well, that again, I mean, this class? That, was, that was the politically correct Jeez. term of the time. It's, um, it is, you know, yeah. Howard and, and all of those, you know, before they became HBCUs, uh, yeah, they were they were Negro in, colleges. In this age, um, that word was on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the idea of the BB sides. Yes. I feel seen. We're done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I will accept this nomination. Look, Mr. Brown Alliance may have the best chat, but we are easily second. That is fantastic. Yeah, it, 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 he has the quantity. We make up for it in quality. Just <laughs> per capita <laughs> chat. Just by besides, far. Which, besides which, he lets anybody on there these days. Exactly, it's true. Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, I saw an otter on, on <laughs> brownies recently. Jeez, I am what? crying. I am laughing so hard. I am crying. That is the funniest thing I have ever seen in my whole life. Oh my god. Somebody I mean, well, you, you should out. actually put that on the Patreon page. You know what the B and B role stands for now, and, and you, <laughs> yeah. I, but but actually, make sure make sure that you you quote you know the endorsed by Black Lives or Black Lives. <laughs> that gives us cred. Yes, oh, we are addressing the new Negro market, and you know, episode eighteen. Yeah, three hours fifty one minutes <laughs> of Noted. racism. Fantastic! Wow, oh, economically in our country. People are on the move. The population is shifting. The makeup of metropolitan populations today is different than it was just a few short years ago. To give you a better idea of what we mean, we set up several cameras, candid cameras, in a number of shopping locations. Yeah. Take a look at these shoppers. Upskirts. 
Shit's been candid enough, yo. Oh, we're like, going upskirt. Notice now. what a large proportion of them are Negro. What's the He's reason? Not the Negroes yeah. are simply no? this. Negro yeah, that's not candid. You shove that shit in their face. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Here they find occupations with more prestige and security. They might be dressed as a pay more money. As a result, <laughs> Negro families today often make up the largest part of central city consumer prospects. Really? A shoe store in Chicago's central Loop, for example, reports prospects? that more than 50% of its customers are Negroes. And we attend in another case, there. A drugstore located at a transfer point in a non-Negro neighborhood finds that its Negro customers total 25%. The trend is plain. The new Negro families today are moving into more populated areas. To the city, Texas? Where there are more Get the stores, fuck out of here! Buying Dude, have you been to Dallas? Look how Florida's represented San Francisco that. alone. The Negro well, nobody lives in Florida at this time. Eight. Wait a minute, everyone. Florida's just swamp. Nobody lives hey. there. Hang on. The new There's four no? major cities. Hang There's on. a lady drowning Mrs. Santa in Santa Claus right is now. Yeah, I know. Right, right over the dong of America. Hang yeah. on. The whole of Florida is one lady. Hang on. <laughs> it's a white lady <laughs> and a white cowboy. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, to be fair, I mean, don't, by ratio, don't forget not, not nearly as many black cowboys as there were white cowboys. Yeah. 59%. In Chicago, wait, wait, okay, hold on a second. Houston, what Texas, is going? 45. What is going on in the Northwest? What is? What is that? It's the uh, Phoenix it's Lights. A, there's a oh. phantom. There's <laughs> aurora borealis yeah. over yeah. here. That's the, oh, fortress, don't worry. that's the fortress of solitude on the right. Uh, yeah, that's the gateway to Canada. Buying force <laughs> there are, are no so Negroes around the aurora borealis. Markets, I mean, I would. A product cannot be number one. one. Without of course it does. I mean, that's the thing, though. Again, the, to be a in the if, if you look at those cities in this time sell? period, Chewing those cities are all car, doing fabulously well financially. I mean, they had a car. Right, yeah. I mean, the, the Detroit was was, was one of the biggest yeah, wealth creators for black families of any city in the nation. Detroit you know, Atlanta. Is, it was it was really Atlanta and Detroit. Yeah, Detroit um, is one of the untold stories of America because it actually was the great equalizer in the Northeast. Yeah, yep. and now now it is just a fucking crack wasteland. Yeah, yeah. You, they cannot hey, be. The tourism is, is effectively now just Blues Brothers and Motown, isn't it? That's that's really all they've got left. Well, and then and then <laughs> Kentucky Fried Movies send them to Detroit, right? But the the. <laughs> The the thing is is that if you look at a lot of those cities, um, their downfalls are in um, sixty eight. You know the long hot summer, where where those cities burned and and it destroyed a lot of black businesses that never came back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, in the obvious pullout of all the 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 big three fucking auto manufacturers. Well, but but Speaking part of that of, uh... part of that triggers is sixty eight in Detroit, where where that city burned. Yeah. And it and it the oh yeah the big three they're still making shit yeah. in Detroit, but the black communities that built up around there yeah Detroit was one of the yeah it was the the absolute mecca of wealth and, and still then, the, yeah. the architecture and the 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 uh, the all of the business buildings in Detroit are spectacular they are beautiful they are like pinnacles of capitalism and they're all gutted now but um, oh, they had um, amazing infrastructure. Yeah, I thought crime was eradicated by RoboCop in Detroit. Or is that well, see, OCP um, didn't serve the Negro um, customers, <laughs> right. and that was really their downfall. If they would have watched this film, they would have understood uh, how this works out. I would like them to uh, try and deliver groceries with a robot in Detroit. I think yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, really do, well. do it in Compton. Do it in Detroit. Yeah. Try it in Baltimore. Let's see how sure. this works out for you. Sure. 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 Quite as polite either when it got there. <laughs> it would have probably just there, there was out, a son. story not too. I can't remember how long ago this was, but a story about this little robot, like this little robot that somebody drove pretty much across Canada, and then it dipped down into Philadelphia and it got wrecked. Oh yeah, like that, yeah, made, you're... yeah. It it made it all the way across, you know, 
Yeah, it, it, it dips through the U.S. Mexico to Philly. Oops. Yeah. Is this a, is this a hitchhiking robot that we referenced earlier? Um, <laughs> no, this one actually anyway, paid its own fare. I wanted I wanted to point out that um, uh, yes, that scene in RoboCop where he shoots that guy in the balls. <laughs> um, that is white on white violence to prevent white on white violence. Uh, here, here. Now. Well, yeah. what, what you saw, what you saw in RoboCop is no black person looked at RoboCop and was, yeah, I can take him. No, they're like, hell no. Right. Instead, it's it's the goofy white motherfuckers. Oh yeah, I'm bad. Man, that didn't work out for well for them like, at all. Dick, you're fired. Yeah. Could you imagine uh, the RoboCop <laughs> movie that stars Dolomite? That's oh shit, really... it would be down. I would. That's what I really want to see. That's what I really want to see. It's RoboCop and his kung fu bitches. <laughs> Bitch, yeah. are you for real? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are we even talking? About? Certain neighborhood. I know. Today, Negroes I shop downtown. I they want Rudy Ray Moore's mind. RoboCop. They shop in small no. neighborhood stores. They'll buy from anyone who wants to sell to them. If but we all know that if you unusual. Can sell to customers, yeah. you've got to get to know them. You but that's what these movies. The, what we're watching right what now makes me want to like even buy? the scales. Like you know, Why do they buy? I want there to be Predator How where it's about Carl Weathers Let's instead. You know, like Wait, Arnold Predator Schwarzenegger wasn't about Carl Weathers. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets killed first. You know. Here is what sales psychologists have to say about selling well, to the to Negro. Well, to be fair, Predator did kill two white people first. The secret of selling to the Negro is expressed in one word. It's true. No, that word right, is right. recognition. Now, there's nothing unusual about that. People want to be recognized. They need recognition. That's basic in all of us. But perhaps they because he's had so little... Hats. I love this. I Negro love the tone of this. Hats sell he a needs bear. to feel... Him. It's a weird mixed bag, because there's the, like, mm -hmm. the, there's the, mm -hmm. the sort of climate that yeah. this was made in, and it has a weird, uncomfortable tone to it. But mm -hmm. it also goes into some interesting sort of side alleys where it's like yeah people want nice stuff like you know well the well, the, the 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 tone i mean it, it I, I don't have any problems with the tone of, of this the the thing that it's trying to address is um you know businesses that are racist right that that they're or, or at least um Prejudice. bigoted uh, I, in I certain really, ways right yeah. But the but all of the, all the things they're laying out is look motherfucker it's a customer stop fucking around yeah right. yeah take the money yeah right I, yeah I think right that's that's why I've, I've always not, said is like if a business is going to be racist oh please do I will open yeah. the store next to you and take all the money right no is, no I th I think you've got it like um you know it that's what they're saying is they're like you know like just just put it aside you know you weirdos and and just sell you know well again it's, it's, a, it's a and 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 the same thing like happens like nowadays it's like you know where are we uh one place or another you know well, the, the way the way the way you don't you have to people... guess you just watch commercials yeah but the, commercials, but the way commercials will tell you exactly where you know the true public opinion and 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 you uh, yeah, you overestimate yeah. marketers. I've worked yeah, I don't about know about that. But, but the thing, well, the thing is, is that they this, know where this, the they know where the money's at. I mean, it's their job. It's their whole job. I it's don't know a, if you've met a lot thing. of marketers. No, they like, don't. There, there's a lot of cargo culting going on with 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 many many marketers. Right. Yeah. There's a reason that certain brands have lit themselves on fire and then wonder why they burn so much. But the the thing the thing that unlike what's happening now, where it's like, well, if you done this. You're just a dirty racist and virtue and all that, right? The, the appeal for this is very practical, right? Fine. Whatever bigoted thing you have, dude, money, right? The, the, right, the two right, things, yes. that, the, the two yeah. colors that business cares about is gray and green. Right. Do you have the yeah. brains to do this? And can I make money? Yeah. That's well, the, it. So right? the, the comparison in, in modern times is like a bakery that won't provide a gay wedding cake. And that sort of thing, like, oh, why not? <laughs> like, yeah, what? Well, yeah. well again, I mean, thing. you can choose in in the same way. These people can be can be stupid enough to go, no, I don't want to serve this. All right, yeah, but your no. competition will, right? Yeah, yeah, that's 
that's the, private, the private hotelier yeah. who will uh, not not give a gay couple a room, that kind of thing. It's ridiculous. Right, that's and again, it's like, it's like, go ahead, I will build something next to you yeah, and sure. open all, yeah. please, all <laughs> are welcome. Do you have yeah. green? I am interested in your business. Absolutely, that's the only color that matters. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you say, if you say you're not, yeah, if you say you're not going to do it, then um, there is going to be like a local and a national brand that it's just going to be like, okay, we'll do it. Right. When you, the, whenever you get those capitalism is the great yeah. is the great equalizer because it gives yeah. no fucks other than uh -huh. do you have money? No, yeah. Then I I I like money too. We have so much in yeah. common. Let's hang and out. Whenever you hear yeah. those kind of stories, that's what about, this whole um, movie, the, what we're watching right now, that's what that's about. Right. Now. Yeah. Like, and it, I think it, as, it, when you whenever you get those kind of stories about um, uh, businesses not wanting to do yeah. business in a certain way. It always comes down to racism, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> because and I mean, I think... it, it, when it comes to like the hoteliers not giving rooms to certain types of people, you just think, well, <laughs> are you giving rooms to unwed people? Are you giving rooms to, you know? Yeah, it, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Well, I'm not you, sure that gay why is why a race. Are you line I, here? I'd, I'd, I'd be interested in in, in uh, figuring uh, out the uh... a part. Yeah, a part of what. Oh we're no, seeing... for sure. But you know what I mean. There's always there's a there's a, a, or, a, or again, there's a bigotry the there that either either oh, the Overton window hasn't quite caught up to them yet. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jethro. Well, I was just going to say, think about what you're seeing right now um, under the context of trying to talk a white person into selling things to black people. And you, what you're seeing is like, you know, these real life situations and situations where like, you know, you, the white seller of things is already in this situation, you know, and here he is and he's doing the things, you know, and like, it's 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 trying to get you comfortable with it, you know. It's it's weird. It's so weird to see something. Like this. Well, again, I mean, the 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 so the the one thing that they're addressing is is and it's they not negative. It's right. just well, but but think of again a the part of, feeling. Well, part part of the so at the time, you know, the, you're you're still in Jim Crow in the South. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. the you've gone through reconstruction and and mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. agrarian you know uh, economy for the most part you are now in post world war ii a a purely like merchant based economy all right mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. that comes with a lot of baggage beliefs about people that you don't interact with on a regular basis and the and the and and so you have whatever you know preconceived notions that were that were you know you absorbed um by growing up and and having the people around you all who look the same telling you certain things right well you know black people they don't pay their bills uh, they don't do this and all that right these are these are kind of common beliefs of the era and the the thing about this is not going what are you doing you bigot right it's like no you're wrong here are the here are the economic statistics for why these are the customers you should go after right which is the best convincing argument well, right. and, and now and, now we're on now we're on the flip side of all of this, mm -hmm. which is where companies like Disney, yeah, are 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 destroying their bottom lines by sort of forcing this agenda, which is not, you know, business oriented, which is not capitalism oriented. And I'm not a, a huge fan of capitalism. Don't get me wrong. I think it's, there's a lot of trouble that comes with capitalism. But yeah, um, it's, the, it's the worst system conceived, except for all the others. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it theory and practice, it's like unions, you know, on paper, unions are fantastic in practice. The time. It's the mob. So, right. Well, but, the, but the, so, so the thing is that this is overcoming biases by look, money is to be made. Right. And, and yeah. the thing about the thing about this is that when you begin to, you know, actually realize these, these are people just like everybody else to spend money and all that stuff. You will then be exposed to people spending money, doing, doing things, the economic way that everybody else does that then loosens up and begins to dispel any bigoted notions that you had before, as opposed to now, which is, well, if you don't do this, you're a racist. No, I have, I have much better reasons to, to avoid certain behaviors Right. And calling me a racist just because I don't agree with you is a great way for me to dig in my heels and never move an inch. Right. This is actually persuasive argument that, that again, goes to the bottom line for businesses. Of course, I'm interested in money. If I'm not, I'm not a business. Yeah. As a function of business, 
doing business, this is correct. This yes. Is actually, it may be a little insensitive and it may be a little dated, but it's not wrong. So, yeah. I, yeah. I, the, and appreciate it. No, go ahead, the, Barbara. The, <laughs> yeah, me. go ahead. The, the argument is about this is, one, this is being sponsored by Jet and Ebony and all of that. And but, whoever owns it. And the U.S. Right. Commerce Department, yeah. Right, and the Commerce Department. But this is also coming at, what, 30 years after Tulsa? After right. Rosewood? Yeah. And you're still trying to, and now you're trying to convince them to shop for you? There is a lot of feel-good sort of, you're doing the right thing, Whitey. Well, so so, yeah. so the yeah. well the, yeah, the yeah. argument the, the white white the, savior Barbie there's white savior yeah. Uh, yeah I mean no it's it because yeah. again it's not yeah. you need to save them by it's what no they are they are viable economic uh, participants take their money you idiot right and and right. because yeah. you're doing that yeah. that opens it up right but the, but the I'm gonna I'm gonna save them or whatever that's like third fourth order shit on on this pitch. Which is why I find this pitch much more compelling than a lot of others. No, oh, by the way, Tulsa, the uh, things that happened in Atlanta, and all that stuff. These are these are very small pockets of of black prosperity in an otherwise sea of of poverty. Right. right. The but move. Fair, the move. The move to Chicago. The move to Detroit and all that stuff. Right. That's not happening when when the Tulsa riots happen. Well, it's it's a pocket of prosperity that we didn't burn around. <laughs> I mean, right, but again, it, but they were also isolated, right? They, these the, the the prosperity, like Atlanta, had a, had a very tight knit black community that built up wealth and built their own colleges, right? It was it was it was like a a shadow economy that was built up. So for white businesses, they didn't really interact with them, right? And and oh, by the way, the news about Tulsa didn't exactly go national. No, right? it was, it these stayed these were local for a things. very long time. Yeah. Right. What what's happening now is going, hey, chuckleheads, especially because Detroit is absolutely fabulous, right? In in the in the wealth that it's creating, that all of these big cities uh, have attracted people from the south to move to them for mm -hmm. economic opportunities. And oh, by the way, a lot of those manufacturing people were like, dude, if you're willing to do the work, we're willing to pay. That's regardless, right? Mm -hmm. And now it's telling the second level merchants and all that, do you want to make money? Then do this. The benefits for for race relations and all that are secondary or tertiary to that, but they will happen because you are exposed to people on a constant basis that begin to dispel your bigotry. I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw this out just as like not as a devil's advocate or whatever, but it, do you feel like this type of film is being thrown out there to sort of assuage? racism in a sense and just saying hey man like, no 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 because i mean think about this era the the default in this, position in this, is racist yeah. yes this, yeah right so why am i assuaging it the the easier play is to go no you're damn right you know them black people they don't pay nothing they, they're always late on their payments they don't have anything and you know, and they'll, believe they'll me, the neighborhood. there was plenty of media that presented that, that absolutely you know? made that pitch because it was okay. an easy. Plenty pitch. of media that made that pitch. Okay, you know? my, my, yeah, my, but, my... but but this is like insider seller shit, you know, where they're like, "Come on, man," you know, like, like money. You, you like money. You, we like yeah. money too, right? Yeah, but to the, buy but, into green. But but the thing the thing about the thing about changing a a, a social uh, system is you very rarely go right at all of the population, okay? What you do is you build cadres of people who are interested we'll in... a diploma to just about it. Yeah, you don't want the B-size diploma. That is not something you want to put on your resume. <laughs> Hell we, are no. not, we are not accredited. No, 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 no. Board. In fact, we are not economically viable, unlike the Black people in 1954. If you think the, that gravity doesn't exist, <laughs> yeah. it's running out. Perhaps it might be. Yeah, if, if you if out. you were interested in yeah gravity running low and want to offer your alternate history of the space program, we yeah. are your. We source. would suggest checking a different source as well. Just yeah, but but the thing break. is, is that so so as with any, I mean, I, I I'm 
I have to deal with this on a, on a fairly regular basis on like how you build mm -hmm. communities and stuff like that. Cause the mm -hmm. web, right. The, the fact is, is that um, if you have a hundred people that, that signed up, you know, subscribe to your channel. Okay. Uh, you will have 10 that occasionally interact in, in the comments or in chat. Right. And of that 10, there are one or two that tend to be the, the, the kind of driving force, right? The people that are all in committed and, and become the tastemakers for the rest of, of the audience. Okay. That's true in all societies. All right. So you look at the people that are like the nexus, who, who's the cadre that, that I need to convince to, to start behaving a certain way. And then they're they're because they are movers and shakers, right? That they they kind of define the local um acceptability and in, in Overton window. If I can convince them, then then they will convince a much larger group than then those people will convince a much right. So it's like a cascade effect of social change. The mistake that so many people make because they're young and impatient is I want it now and I'm throw a tantrum if I don't get it. Yeah. Right. It there is a there is a now. gradualism to change, and it's there for a reason, right? Because change itself involves a cost and a risk. the The great thing about this this film is it is addressing the cost and saying you're lose you're actually losing money by maintaining the status quo, and that is a compelling argument for business. And businesses are especially in this era, right? Are are much higher on the social strata as far as like defining taste in a community yeah. right and so this is exactly the way that that, that so you the, should go about it the baseline yeah, 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 yeah. the society around them aren't they the, the right yeah. sometimes sometimes right. they're the hub of the entire community aren't they right yeah so the baseline of this film is essentially take the money don't be an idiot right um and you know capitalism it works wrong. do that shit it's not wrong in the context of being an educational business film so right yeah, yeah, they're very close to just doing this outright in public in the form of McDonald's commercials. Yeah, or or menthols or malt liquor yeah, or, or menthols. Or, yeah, I mean, not not to not to sully this particular film, but um, yeah, I mean, it's it, this is a weird one. And when I watched this, I thought I thought a lot about it, um, and, yeah. and I have mixed feelings about it. But I think uh maybe jay it's isn't, long, isn't it's wrong thing yeah it, it's a weird fence to sit on yeah it's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of wrong to say that its heart is in the right place because this is right. about this isn't about emotion this it's is not about all about the economics of taking money no. off more right people. it's the practice and again and again that's the the truth, no, the no, truth this about is, capitalist this economics is about is, it is the great racism. equalizer mm -hmm. right that that a dollar is a dollar is a dollar sure. don't yep. care the source Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. That the, again, there are only two colors that you care about: gray and green. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But you know what? Like this need is a very real and important one. It shows up even in many of the Negro's shopping habits. Anyone who sells or wants to sell to the Negro customer should know about some of these habits. Three habits in particular play a big part in every sales transaction. To begin with, most Negroes buy by brand. They ask for products by name. They're quick to turn down off brands. Do you wonder why? Well, listen to what this customer is thinking. Hmm. That last hat I bought just didn't hold up at all. You see, for a long time, the Negro has been sold a lot of shoddy, second-class merchandise. Is, uh, so now he asks for the name brands in order to make sure he gets his money. Well, for it. Okay, so brand so by brand. All right, stop, 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 and think about it. Okay, so so the go ahead. The assumption is there's buy the whatever, right? The the thing this thing is no, the, the, they go with brands because they're discriminating customers like every other customer, right? They they want quality. They just that, like you know real people. Right, exactly. That that I I'm, I'm going to spend my money. I want to get my money's worth. Right, and yes, and yeah. the way that this is presenting it is again, these are just like any of. Again, it's it's a person with money making economic decisions. Stop fucking around. Start treating them yes. like a, a an economic person making economic decisions. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I get that totally.
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hang on. And now an update from this guy. Yeah. So these... Uh, well, so there's a... Did, did you happen to read control. the teletype when it first came in? I did. Right. So the thing about that 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 blacks are making four times the wages that they used to. Hmm. Oh, right. Back in the hat shop. Here we go. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, yeah, right. That was right at the very start, right? Right, when the teletype mm -hmm. was coming in before he ripped it off. 1247. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hang on. I'll it's hard oh, to well, we started again. Well, because you brought it up. On the yeah, it'll zoom in. There he is, Walt Disney. Right there. The yep. average Negro wage earner that gets... Uh, i got to get my fucking glasses out. Four times. Today, gets two. four times more money than a few Commerce, years ago, Secretary of Commerce States said. said today. His income has increased more rapidly than the income of all other Americans. Well, so compared to slavery, these black folks are doing okay. Well, or sharecropping, or 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 agriculture, because again, the, what you have is is in you know look at 30, 40 years ago, the vast majority of Black Americans are on in an agricultural economy, sure, and then you start to have the the Great Migration to yeah. big industrial centers of the North. This and, just oh, hey, guess what you know their 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 incomes start blowing up. This is in. We're an incremental step above Jim Crow. Yeah. Well, it, the good news is they left Jim Crow. Well, the framing is weird, though. You know, the framing is like, you know, news bulletin. You know, people are working right. hard and making. Right. But but again, that's the thing uh, yeah, is yeah, you're I trying to dispel. Yeah. You're trying to dispel the notion of of blacks not having money yes. of yeah, making yeah. poor economic decisions. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're not so drifters or off. deadbeats or whatever else they were. Right. Uh, so the lead off is. No, actually, they're making four times what they used to. So, again, I'm not saying, hey, bigot, don't you realize this? No. Right. Whatever beliefs you can't raise with, maybe that was correct at the time, but here's the new reality. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. adjust exactly. accordingly. Exactly. And, and, again, that's how you yeah. get that gradual. Yeah. And it's not wrong, and that's why I find this, no. this little feature no. so No, I think uh, so this whole thing is that, I, again, I think that's like the nail on the head is that, this is to help people not lose their jobs, kind of. Yeah, you know? well, like, not not, not short is, themselves and not short. Yeah, not customers. short themselves. Yeah, right. it, also, a double it showed, bonus it shows the um, it showed the American map for a reason as well. It was basically yeah. saying you are getting yeah. more of these people into your area yeah. regardless yeah. of whether what you think about them, and therefore, yeah. if you're eliminating these people from your stores, then you are basically yeah. cutting off twenty five percent of yeah. your community. Yeah, well, you yeah. are what we call an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Be <laughs> racist at home. home. <laughs> Don't bring it to the shop. <laughs> sure, he gets his money's worth. Buying by brand. That's the first important it is Negro buying. Selling a lot of like bad now, second. myths. Right. The Negro buys good. Man, I've never bought an expensive hat, Symbols but I've watched my friends buy expensive hats. hats. Have, has bought anyone several. bought an expensive hat? Yes. Oh yeah. If you go to a yes. proper haberdasher, that there there's it's like it's like going to a I've real barber it. shop where they never give you the straight it. razor, you know, shave and, men, and the steam and all men, that, right? It's like getting a proper bra fitting for women. Yeah, it, yeah. It I got I, um, I got a very nice um, um, cowboy hat when I was in yeah. those that part of the world <laughs> in Montana oh, and places oh, like that's that. Cool. And that was nicely fitted, and uh, there was some care and attention given to it. That was quite. That was well, quite I think cool. hilariously, um, in in most big cities now, if you want to find a proper haberdasher. It's going to be a black-owned community yes, uh, business. Exactly, one hundred percent. That's right. that's where I got my hat to know. Yeah. So so I mean, again, it's like it's like a good barber shop. Mm -hmm. I, I it, I'm I'm look, I'm looking for where, where 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 are the black men going in dress dapper going in looking. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going there because I know damn well they're gonna they're gonna take care of business the right mm -hmm. way, yeah. right? And and yeah. and understand that, right? Yeah, Obviously, when I when I left the hat shop, I was a, a, attacked by some youths who uh, accused me of cultural appropriation. Yes, well, that goes. <laughs> yeah. that it's funny that you say that because uh, the last time I was in the haberdashery, I was in New Orleans with a friend from Columbus who comes to visit every year. And we went to New Orleans together, and uh, he, you know, he was like checking out hats and like, um. It, it was New Orleans' biggest haberdashery and oldest haberdashery. And, like, guys are, let's, you know, 
coming up and grabbing on us and saying like how are you doing and it's so great to see you and like uh it was yeah it was, oh yeah i mean the the their like the, service yeah, yeah. The, the customer service in 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 certain businesses right that have been, have been around a good long time that that serve uh particular markets right you walk in and it's like jesus christ where where has this gone yeah. in the commoditization bullshit of of we must uh reduce customer service to outsourcing it to to another country because well, it's you, five cents cheaper per call we brought up home depot earlier if you go to an independent ace hardware or oh yeah local hardware store the difference is night and fucking yeah there, there was an old yeah. true value over here the guy the guy that 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 ran it he was an asshole of the of the first order but when you ask questions he could fill all of it right the well mm -hmm. I, my, my, my water heater, this, okay, you're going to need this and that and whatever and so, and so forth, right? There used to be a small, uh, so when I was a kid, when, when you went to the, to the auto parts store, right? <clears throat> guys could see what you had in hand yes. and already tell you what it was, what model, what year. And oh, by the way, you want to use this thing to modify that. That has gone away because of all the O'Reilly's and, and all this stuff where it's, a, I, I need, I need new tires. Does your car have air conditioning? Fuck off. Give me the fucking tires, yeah. right? Yeah, but yeah, the yeah. the I found out that that the the place to go to are the small engine repair shops, right? Because mm -hmm. I I had a riding if you mower can that find one, yeah, right. But but if you if you find one, those guys that used to work the auto parts counters, they must have moved there, because I walked in, I was I was third in line holding a carburetor for a, a Briggs and Stratton motor, which is pretty fucking common, right? And the guy asked me, he 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 like yells over and he goes. Does that does that have the plastic or the or the cast iron intake manifold? Mm -hmm. uh, plastic. Okay. He then he he turns to another guy, lists off five part numbers, and sends Junior to go in the back. Right. Beautiful. And when I get there, I've got the gaskets, I've got the rebuild kit, I've got all of this shit. There you go. Thanks or whatever. I'm like, oh my god, I I thought all of you people had died, but apparently you just gone to the small engine shop. <laughs> yeah, no, that's totally, totally accurate. Um, do you, babe, do you want to tell them your Home Depot story? <laughs> no, oh, I got, I got my cock torn off by a guy in the plumbing department. Man, it was like the most emasculating moment ever in front of my wife and son. Oh, it was awful. Like, and then he tried to like sell me on and backhanding me his business card like oh my god it was <laughs> the most humiliating awful insulting shit it was terrible I, this I, woman freaks out i stood there and i was like so how does it feel to be mansplained to <laughs> yeah that's exactly what happened yeah it's like i'm, I'm afraid you're gonna you turn in your man card uh, i knew, awesome. I knew exactly you awesome. what i needed i knew exactly what i needed to do to fix this not even fixed, but to patch this fucking leaky laundry sink. I just needed a valve on the end of it to shut right. it on and off, keep it from leaking. And uh, yeah, this guy just fucking tore me in front of my family and a couple of other customers. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't want to do yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to tell you where that part is. And if I was allowed, I'd give you my business card. And if I could think of it, if I could... so yeah, I ended up not being able to find the part, it was there somewhere. But then the landlord's uh, fucking repair guy came over and did exactly what I was going yeah. to. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is buying fine crystalware. Yeah, I, I think anybody but that is doing customer service talks down to me and finds out that's a bad life relatives. choice. Oh, yeah. that, guy, that guy was asking for it. Listen to her thoughts. My, isn't it beautiful? <gasps> I can hardly wait to show it to Sally and Joan. Is this what women want? fact. That many I don't know, but I'll give her one. <laughs> it's one. She's of, very pretty, it's but one. no, yeah. it's not. Yeah. It's not what I think about. I don't want that. It's not the thing they want most. By the opinions of others, <laughs> what their friends may think of a certain sure, has what one often wants decides most. whether or not the sale is made. So remember, the Negro buys quality merchandise. That's the second important point. And here is the third thing to remember when selling to a Negro customer. When he specifically asks for one thing, don't try to sell him something else. Don't try to switch him at the point of sale. If you do, he'll probably react something like this. Fuck your pants. Doesn't he think I've got the money to pay for it? 
There's a reason for this reaction. Yep. Again, because he's had experience with cheap merchandise, the Negro resents what, being offered a substitute. Yeah. He yeah. wants also, to be sold insulting. on quality. Yeah, also, no don't do that to the white customers either, you yeah. ask clown. He buys by or brand, women, yeah. Or, yeah. he buys quality, and he doesn't like to be switched at point of sale. What is the message here? These he's not as gullible as selling white a Negro customer. Customers. Well, no. So, the, yeah. The, the, again, this is the 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 bigotry that they're that they're addressing is is that blacks are uneducated. They don't understand that you can easily get one over on, or they're cheap, or and, they don't and, appreciate. Quality. Again, as as the man as the man said, you know, what does he think? I can't afford it, right? Right. It's, the, it's the, insulting. But, it's... but these but these again are basic customer service things you do regardless. But the fact that that's, yeah. that's mm -hmm. again, the normalization that this is going through. This is just another economic participant. Stop fucking around. Yeah. Are the, are the worst uh, retailers still um, snarky kids working in record shops? Not that they're actually yeah. record shops anymore. <laughs> mm, no, I, I actually... I think, I, really... this is for, I think this is for older folks in that. Oh. I mean, I, I they were the most kids, dingy of all of them, weren't they? Yeah, record shop that, kids are already honestly, on board. The worst service <laughs> is in places like mega stores, like Best yeah. Buy or something. Oh like yeah, big box yeah. stores. Yeah. Where I used to, I used to go to a record store all the time, and that's right. I used to go to work. The people that work there oh, don't God. care, <laughs> and they're not paid enough to. Welcome care. Welcome to talking over the guests with <laughs> Mr. Brown. Oh, sorry, Mr. Rat. Friday night tights, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, my no, I was going to say I remember uh, there was one record shop I used to go into uh, in the nineties, and I would just go in there and buy a big stack every week because it was all secondhand stuff, so it was always like you know real cheap. So I'd just go and, and I'd take risks and I'd go and buy all kinds of crap that you know whatever. Just just I'm sorry, just I just help. read Black Lives comment. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fucking awesome. laughs> That's very true. <laughs> yes, preach, brother, preach. No, I, just, oh. I do remember trying to hide uh, amongst this big stack of one week um, a Leo Sayer uh, album, and he, he not only um, found it amongst the, uh, the <laughs> amongst the other ones, and went, "Oh!" He also played about two tracks off it, and then made everyone around him sort of point at me while <laughs> while I waited for the rest of them to be packed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you bastard. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing. So, I, I mean, yeah, the 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 record the record store geek is always annoying because of the I have taste and all that stuff. But at least they're passionate about what they're they're selling, right? And and they're like, no, you don't want that, you know, drab, you know, top forty bullshit. Have you have you listened to this thing? Oh, yeah. oh, okay, right. So so they're passionate. Yeah, big box stores give no fucks. They don't know what the fuck is going on. They don't know what they're selling. It's just, oh, I'll they're ring you selling. up. Oh, the computer is down. I can't do anything. They're not even selling physical media anymore, apparently. No. They're all shutting it off, which doesn't make any sense to me because what could be a better markup for them than fucking Blu rays? Like, I don't even. I I, I just, I, I want to read out Black Lives for those who are just listening and not. Uh, paying attention <laughs> black lives or black knives for zero dollars because we're not fucking monetized <laughs> don't sell race swapped black characters disney remember the negro wants quality original characters does not want to be switched up on 2023 fantastic that is so great Actual... what did you think of the little mermaid black lives <laughs> <laughs> I believe he uh, just answered it with this <laughs> comment. Don't sell race swapped black you characters. Stay <laughs> on target. It's great. Can we fit it on a koozie? Another point. The Negro family does things together as a group. The family works like as a unit. Families do. It lives as a unit. And like white people who hate each other. When you sell to one member, Thanks, gamer. you many times sell to all. It's also true that many places of entertainment are still closed to the no, You can have the club, but you'll have so a lot of trouble getting into the actual... So he spends more of his money for the uh... things that are available. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the golf <laughs> course is going to be problematic. That are considered yeah, luxuries. that might be a problem. Another trait of the Negro market is the fact okay. that it is a pre-sold oh, market. We know that the Negro buys by brand. And he buys the brands that he knows something about. 
Where does the Negro buyer get this information? Jet Magazine. We know that Ebony. Negro companies Hell yeah. are turning more and, and more to the publications that are tailored specifically to their needs, that give them the news and the information that they want to read about. Oh, many leading businessmen and companies already know this. That's why so many of them are taking this direct, well, so you sure buy route Hugh, of reaching Ebony, the Negro and customer. Jet. But Bender, that's the answer I thought I was going to get from this video, but uh, sadly, it's a trade secret. The uh, vice yeah. president of advertising of the Drew and Watch Company, for example, says this. In many important cities throughout the United States, Negroes are important customers of the credit jewel. Yeah, the only one who wants to hear Barry White Ebony read magazine these words. would be a very yes. important oh, advertising oh, medium for us. This month, we this would say it was months. very well received. And from our viewpoint, a very successful campaign. From the Remington Rand Company comes this statement. Our records show that advertising in Ebony has been effective in many ways. As all good advertising should, it has built a terrific amount of goodwill and has brought a volume of sales and sales inquiries. A representative of the Alaga Syrup Company makes this statement. Because of Alaga's regard for the influence of ebony in the Negro market, advertising space was doubled. Alaga's long experience in selling to Negroes now takes the most direct route to its best customers, reaching ebony's two and a half million audience in every issue. And here are the statements of still other business leaders. Yes, many business leaders are discovering the most direct and oh, most malt way liquor. of reaching the new Negro market. Let's Look here at the results of the same advertisement. I just saw it. Two the, it was, their logo was on one of the Ebony letters. And another general magazine. Same. You can see that proportionately more men and women read the ad in Ebony than the one in the other magazine. And they did a better job of remembering it, too. A greater percentage of readers noted associated and remembered the ad in ebony Ugh, he's now, used brand x if the negro market is so big <laughs> and an easy asshole. to reach why aren't more companies going out after it well often because of the feeling that there's something entirely different unusual about selling to the negro but is it really so different what do salesmen say the successful salesmen who do a good job of selling in negro communities no, we only so discord. Getting the order. <laughs> How do I get the order? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't do anything. <laughs> anything different, that is. Yeah, I sell. I've been calling on the ABC. 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 No, Always be close. The yeah. just wants to be treated like everybody else. No matter who you're calling on, a little friendliness get, and I love this help video. a lot. It's naturally, the machine anybody who goes, being patronized sale. or talked down to. So I usually call a man, Mr. Brown, Mr. Smith, or Mr. Mr. whatever his Mr. name Brown. is, oh my God. until he tells me to call him by his first name. And of course, I always stick to business. Is this always sponsored by Quaker Oats? I've seen about a thousand cans of it in politics. this. Well, that goes for talk about Negro celebrities, too. You know, this business about what good prize fighters and singers the Negroes are. Who cares? When a guy's in business, no matter what color his skin is, He's interested in making a living. Preach, making brother. Money. Preach, preach. That's preach the truth. His mind. <laughs> I guess maybe what I'm saying is that I try to help any way I can. Sometimes with displays or ad materials or an idea once in a while. The important thing is that if it helps push sales for the dealer, it helps push them for me, too. Hmm. Yep. Handle the Negro account just like any of your others. Don't patronize. Stick to business. Get interested in the account. Pitch in and help any way you can. Sounds like pretty good sales Oh, advice. if only it were that simple. <laughs> That's the secret of selling the Negro. Get, get Bender on the well, board. How about yeah. Tr trust us. You think NASA this and this are the not the reason for you we're not monetized. And for everybody who sells goods or services. It's still possible to get in on the ground floor when this market is just beginning to grow and to expand. The facts and the figures that. that we see here are just a small sample of what they promise to be next year and the years after that. Yes, here are men and women with money to spend. 
And they spend it for exactly the same things as Make you that and money. I and everyone almost else. like they're the same they as you. Almost every oh, type of product and service that you <laughs> have to offer. People. And they can be reached like everyone else. I mean, three fifths at least. Through publications <laughs> that appeal to their interests and desires. That deliver the kind of loyal readership that can be proved both in surveys and in down to earth sales. Here is a ready made market waiting to be asked to buy. They misspelled birth. There's no F in it. What the hell? Sorry. Here are millions of customers oh, for what you have to sell. <laughs> customers with Please, 15 billion Oh, God, did I say that with my outside stand. voice again? <laughs> That's true. He's so Moorish, but... Fiend, uh, finally. Fiend. Fiend. True, Bender. When the first time I spoke crack was with a black policeman. <gasps> Absolutely true. Yeah. And a uh, construction yeah. worker. And oh, I, I've, I've said for them. years. I was like, if I want, if and I want salespeople, <laughs> I'm tempted to go on the street corners and find people who are slinging. Because <laughs> everybody else is walking around looking at you know fiends and be like, no, I want some of that. Somebody's selling. Yeah. You know what, Black Lives, that's absolutely... I mean, it's a sad state of affairs that um, some companies do need to re learn the lessons from this 1954 film. Yes. Yeah. It's so dumb <laughs> that is, obvious, that doesn't is it? truly sad. It is, yeah. isn't it? it is, well, man. again, I mean, it shows it's just a regression of the, well, I'm going to tell you what to do. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Give people a reason to, to change their behavior yeah. and not shaming or... Don't you know? You, oh my god, you believe differently than me. I don't give a yeah. fuck what you believe again. I, business I is the to, great equalizer. Yeah. yeah, I hate to I hate to even bring up Twitter, but um, I don't know if Jay, if you saw it, there was an exceptional video uh three or four days ago with the uh the airline uh representative working at the counter. Yeah, yeah, where, where he's, like, trying, he's like, he's like, okay, well, you can um, throw your tantrum, you're not gonna was, be on this airline. I may get fired, but you ain't flying. Was, trying to weaponize their fucking magical beliefs yep. against this person and make them feel like shit or whatever. And it's like, we could play this game if you want. And I have every authority to escort you out of the building on Christmas. You want to yeah. do it? I mean, I, again, I may lose my job, but right now there's going to be a cost to you. Mm -hmm. You willing to pay that? Yeah, oh, no, I guess listening. I'll shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah. You, you're used to making a noise when everybody just folds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that I thought that was like a perfect illustration. And you know, I don't have any specific skin in the game when it comes to gender politics or fucking, you know, virtue whatever politics and social shit. I really don't. I'm too old to give a fuck anymore. But um I thought that guy handled that beautifully. Right. Absolutely Again, it's, it's the There's look, 20 it, people in line behind you. You want to pack up your shit or you want to fucking leave, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a zero tolerance policy for cry bullying. Yeah, you know the the I know this has worked for you in the past. This that check is going to bounce right here, and yeah. yeah, I may have negative consequences, uh, but I will. The cost will be on you. Let's like see if that. you're willing to pay the freight. I yeah. like that thing, cry bullying. Uh, cry bully is good because yeah. good people are uh, named Karen. Like that, it's not really <laughs> there are good Karens out there. Yes, <laughs> it's not really true. fair to be like you know, you know, like if I were a Jeff with a J, I'd feel really bad about all those assholes out there. That's true. It's true. Well, yeah. I'm not, but I'm not a Jeff with a J, so I feel no shame. Well, I have them blocked on the <laughs> chat. However, however much you should, Andy <laughs> and his gang. <laughs> yeah, <cat videos. laughs> I don't know. Perhaps you should change your name to Jeff with a J. Uh, it's uh, I don't yeah. like your tone, man. I don't like, I don't like your recommendations, well, you. <laughs> <laughs> I I I couldn't get behind the cancel pigs thing. I get where the 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 feeling and the motivation <laughs> and the backlash comes from, but yeah, it, to yeah. me, it's just more of the same. It's just more name calling. It's just. It's well, I think I think what what you have now is is you you've let you know people run around red assed and 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 stupid 
for a good long time and and they the bullying or the or the name calling has become their you know trade right that that that's it's worked for them and and while those of us who would like to be polite you're like, no, nah, I'd, I'd rather not. But it was like, oh, well, if these are the rules of the engagement, then I'm willing to step up, you know, and and uh, hopefully escalate to the point that you realize we need to step back into the arena of civility again. Right? Yeah, because yeah, I mean, the, all of the um, the cancel culture like... stuff is, um, you know, there, you could say that some of it has come from a good place, but there are so many people that have abused that. Uh, that ability to bullying. remove a person's uh, yeah remove a person's livelihood basically by just yeah. making accusations and things. Well, and neither is correct. It, no, absolutely yeah. right. Right, and again, it's become a blood sport, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. The remember, remember, I mean, the first cancellation that I remember is the is the gal that made the the private comment to her friend group about going to Africa and said, "Well, I don't have to worry about AIDS because I'm white," right? Oh, Which oh, is yeah absolutely an in joke that you would make talking about white privilege mm -hmm. and all of that stuff right because it was it was a joke but she's then on the flight somebody leaks that and then oh i remember this in twitter yes. is just you know vibrating with i can't wait until she lands right they had already hit the company and all that stuff she's on a plane she has no fucking idea that that joke made among friends has something well friends with sneer quotes apparently um has has been leaked Context. out and there is an entire mob yeah. going after her because let's lynch right well, at boy lynching. because uh i remember uh i think it was on saturday night live i i can't remember if it was kevin nealon or or who who made the joke but in context they made the joke you know i was gonna wear a condom and then i thought When's the next time I'm going to be in Haiti? Right. <laughs> it was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bad idea. No, but again, bad it's, idea also, it's also bad it, idea. As, yeah. as, as, as with all comedy, right? There's a certain um, but uncomfortable victim, truth about that. The, right? the, 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 the victim there, of the joke is the, the ignorant white person. Right, right. That, well, I'm, I'm, I'm a white. I don't have to worry about it. And I'm heterosexual. I don't have to worry about that, right? Yeah. I don't take IV drugs. I don't have to worry right. about that, right? Oh, except for these these countries that I don't... I think that's I the don't, important part of that joke is like, where is that punch going? Is it going at the person... It's a self-directed punch. It's self Haiti, or is it, Or is it going towards the person who's saying it? Yeah, yeah. Right. No, that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it is exactly that sort of thing, and it's like yeah. uh, a minefield now, you know. And and I, yeah. I have been on. Well, the, I think it's always been a minefield. Well, it, it's not that it hasn't. It's just that it's never been such. I think. I think. I think in the past there were clear lines that 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 said, "This is a minefield." Now it's yeah. random putts. I'm offended yeah. and want to start yeah. to get the to. To you know, rile up the mob. Yeah, here well, we go. Uh, well, it's always then, in the minefield. It's like uh, uh, the stakes are higher now because you can lose your entire livelihood just by saying yeah, the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah. Whereas if you're a comedian, you're you're no longer allowed in certain comedy clubs for you know uh, because of you know reasons. So it, it's it's yeah. It's your your biggest cool. problem before is that you would bomb in a yeah, set. exactly yeah. But Once then you'd be back a comedian the next week, is you'd be, pretty you'd be, brutal. You'd be to still yeah. Yeah, you'd still be allowed to do your act for the following I think week the, in a different I, bar. I, I think the important thing is to always take it on the case by case basis. You know, like it's not like context. Really, yeah. Well, I think I think I think context. my my, context. my default context. my default is to give is to give the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Right. If mm -hmm. you then if 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 you start removing that benefit of the doubt, then I'm I'm changing my position. Well, I think that's, I get it. I that's get that. Changed. But there is no Absolutely. grace. Right. This this is what you have now is is a a a religion um, masquerading as a political system, and it is the shittiest religion in the world because there is no redemption or grace. Well, the um, default now is reaction as opposed to the benefit. Because again, it's not it's not you can't argue logically. It's my feels, my feelings hurt. Okay, well then we're we're essentially in religious territory. I I had an experience. Okay, well I can't argue against your experience so i don't right but when you weaponize that and suddenly go my feels are hurt and i'm start 
riling up the mob. Well, they're your feelings. You deal with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it's just, it's been weaponized, and, the, and know, that, yeah. that's what bothers me. And I have lived on the fringe of fucking subcultures and society my whole life. It's I a, absolutely yeah. have been out there on the edge the whole time. I've been the target for a There's lot. So of many, people. like yeah, like deep empathetic beliefs that can be manipulated to be the opposite. All right. Over. Again, the, the, well, and, and the problem is you will begin to erode that empathy yes. when you abuse it. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. And that's what we have now. Well, right? the, I, the, the, well the reaction, I mean, that's it's why, I, it's why I fear yeah. this is that the, 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 the inevitable reaction and, and counter swing will then go too far the other way because that's, you had somebody push it too far this way. And as with any pendulum, yeah, it's going to swing yeah, back my and analogy. you're not going to like the results I, of this. And it's, I've it's, lived long enough to see the pendulum swing back and forth and yeah, back, right. and, forth yeah, and, back yeah. and forth. And the people that are making the most noise yeah. about these sort of things and demanding, making demands, the extremists on people. both sides are so aggravating. Well, but no, the problem is that what you have now are cosplayers yeah. who who they the 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 yeah. the, the, the currency name. of social status right now is what intersectional victimhood can I claim to grab that right? When the pendulum swings swings the other way, those who are cosplaying at it to to get a, a you know social status can revert back to whatever that you know, their their actual. Uh, alignments are but the people who really are you know truly trans not just i use my pronouns no i haven't actually pursued surgery or had you know psychological um you know meetings to 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 try and and deal with this or whatever i just like cosplaying for this because i'm i'm thinking they will flee and go back to their default you know set the the true you know, small minority of people who are truly trans are going to suffer the consequences. And that's the thing of that I fear. Of course they do. Of course they do, because it's not like true trans people making this noise. It's right, like just right. stepping in to be yeah. their fucking proxy. Right. Without right. any... Either white knighting or cosplaying because yeah. they get they get social status from it. But exactly. when that social status evaporates because of that, oh, they'll run, they'll be done with it. But most, but most the people, trans people that I have ever known and that I've uh, ever read about just want to be left alone. Right. Yep. Don't want to make any fuss. Just go right. Just get on they with things. just want to get on with their lives and, and deal with their own personal shit. This this new stuff in the last six seven years is completely separate from. Well, again, you have role players, right? Who, who like to cosplay that, and then you have a lot of people who who are that are in the nebulous uh, queer category. Which means whatever the fuck it means this week, right? It's 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 a boatload of of different uh, kinks and 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 behaviors and all that, but but they try and and glom onto a group that that is does have uh, status problems, right? Legal status and 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 social acceptance, and they're like, well, I'm one of them, right? But they're not, and they are willing to to wreck all kinds of havoc. And then when it when shit goes sideways, they'll run back to their mouse holes and the people who are actually that, that they claim that they identify with and that, that they are, those people are going to be the ones that take the the consequences. Yeah. Right. I mean, you get these, I mean, uh, this is a massive generalization, but you get the impression that an awful lot of the people that are making this kind of noise are effectively people who've tried every other method to try and get some attention because they're quite dull. Right. And and now they're trying this one, and they'll do all of the damage, make all of the noise, and at the end of it, when when the pushback comes, they're just going to dye their hair back to a normal color and take all the piercings out and go back to a normal job. And right, it'll, it'll be, it'll they be what... they're not making that next step in the in, uh, uh, to. Right, they have no skin in the game. Right, they, they, then, they're willing they're to game the, it to and... get what they want, but but when the consequences inevitably come come, you know, when the butcher's bill comes due. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The, the, no. I. That wasn't me. I'm not. I'm not part of that. I'll let and somebody people, else. And the people the I'm referring to are the people that would never even consider taking the the step of having surgery. Right. This yeah. Because... And, and I have contemplated that. I'll be a hundred percent fucking honest. I spent a couple of years actually really thinking long and hard about it and researching it, mm-hmm. and um, it has nothing to do with what's going on now. 
No, absolutely definitely nothing. Definitely no. And I, I imagine that most of us on this panel are probably old punks mm -hmm. in quotation marks. I don't mm -hmm. know about Spilex, but I know Jethro's history. I have a good enough sense about Jay's history and Barbara's that that was a different kind of edge that we were sort of experimenting with and, and writing on. Um, right. The, the, the being counterculture was, was there, there were consequences to that. You know, you'll get your ass beat. I got right? my ass beat. Yeah. The, the, and, and again, it the, is the, so the, weird you're willing, I'm last, willing, I'm willing uh, to stand on, on this Hill and say, come at me, bro. Right. It, what you it, have instead so is, is these are, Oh, this is the cool thing. Right. It's like, it's like nerd culture circa, 2015 when loot crate and all this shit started coming out and all of a sudden you had a whole boatload of normies show up and go yeah. look i'm i'm nerd too right and then yeah. it stopped being fun and no they, go, they go look for the next thing <laughs> yeah just I can right. they're tourists <laughs> locals yeah. only yeah it's so I, it's so weird to be um the last generation of the illegal stoner the paranoid stoner i mean like like kids today, I don't mean to be that type that says kids today, but it is true that like, like, like we were illegal, you know. Like, yeah. no, Ben Bender's right. That's no, done. Ben, I, I, it, it will go again. The overcorrection. I agree. We'll uh, I totally of... agree. I don't think it's just going to hit the trans people. I think no. it will. Because, I mean, the L's and the G's and the B's are, for, many of them are making that separation, that distinction between. Right. Their they're like, group bitch, you ain't talking for me. No, the, you're yeah, not part the of my group. The they're, not, they're not really trying to, you know. And they're even saying, I mean, I, I read somewhere recently that, were, that um, underground gay bars are now opening again because they want to have a space where they're not getting an awful lot of these. Right, where you have a dude come in and go, no, I identify as woman, so you yeah. have to respect me. And the lesbians are like, I'm not interested in dick. Well, how dare you? What well, exactly? No, I mean, and and the, you know, it's they don't want to be exclusionary, but at the same time, it would appear that they're sick and tired of the bullshit that goes with a lot of the people, that are the, these very vocal people who are, who are making these, you know, ridiculous claims. Because I'm pretty sure that most... Well, I mean, to be fair, most, a gay most bar gay bars I've ever been to. Yeah, well, it is, but, but, but most gay bars I've ever been to, I've been in gay bars and I'm not gay. And they're, yeah, so have I. they're, they're incredibly welcoming. They're absolutely fine with you not being gay. They don't have an issue with it. I think there must be something more than that if they're if they're making it underground. It must well, be a case of when these, when, when these tourists, if you want to call it that, go into these places, they are clearly making a bit of a fuss and, you know, making other people feel uncomfortable well i would I, I would liken this to um the difference between original feminism and current feminism because original feminism was about equality yeah that's right as yeah. far as i understand yeah. it and the whereas now it's about man bashing <laughs> is about domination yeah yeah it's i mean misandry. A, a feminist would not have a, a really have a big issue with you opening a door for them for example you know, whereas now, if you open the door for a lady, it would be a case of, well, I don't need your help, man. <laughs> I well, can do here's the thing: well, is that I will help a man into I his would exa boat exactly as, as fast as I will help a woman. Absolutely, into I'm doing this out of politeness. It's nothing to do with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got to the door first. The I'm holding friends. it open for whoever is like right behind yeah. me, trying You're to get in. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't and want to slam it in your face, it's whoever not. you are. Yeah. <laughs> no, and and I, uh, yeah, you have to be of a certain age to really understand how far off the mark it's gotten. I mean, mm -hmm. everything evolves, but um, it it's not healthy right now. It, it This pendulum swing is going to have major repercussions yeah. for decades to come. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't well. look forward again. The, every time, look, I, I, am, I am the most radical bomb thrower you're going to find. And when I am telling people, hey, back the fuck off, mm -hmm. you're playing with shit you don't realize the consequences of, right? Yeah. That, that this... This will have repercussions, and they're like, nah, bro, you don't know. Boomer would do the thing, and we're just like, all right, well, you're on the fuck around part. You're really not going to like to find out, except that half of, or better of you are not actually going to be around for the find out part. You're going to be like locusts searching for the next thing to glom onto to try and attain social status because you bring nothing to the fucking table otherwise. Well, I don't think that there's a lot left on the table, which is why people are glomming on to this sort of 
uh, vaporware of social credibility. I don't think that there are that many barriers left to smash. You well, know? but it's not about smashing. So it's it's whatever whatever there there are a certain percentage of the population, and I suspect it's better than fifty percent. Um, are are like externally defined, right? That that they they have value and meaning in their lives because of the recognition of others, right? The the social position that they hold. It's why it's why big companies turn to shit because eventually you get enough people in there that are about social positioning and then it becomes corporate politics and that's it, right? But the the thing is if if the next thing is religious fundamentalism, half of these ass clowns that are wearing blue hair and talking shit are suddenly going to become the most devout and burn the heretic and all that because it's whatever the, the what gives them social cred because they they their performance and their abilities and 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 the results of that are subpar at best or they're lazy and they're just looking for the social cred however they get it i don't even know if they realize what they're doing that's the thing i really right. again well all they do yeah, is you play don't the get game. a lot of um opinion you don't get a lot of feeling of intelligence behind a lot of the stuff that's going on well or or, or well, there's or, a no, cunning the there's an animal a lot of it is just straight up knee-jerk reaction yeah and that yeah. that's it that's all it is it's knee-jerk reaction of how does this make me feel personally not not how it affects everybody else in the whole but how it affects me personally it is it is the most self-aggrandizing generation i have ever seen mm -hmm. but yeah, it's but, it is, but but interestingly it's not okay so so the, I the thing the thing about well I, so I so I you're see seeing the results kids. you're seeing the behavior and the results what you're not seeing is the system that rewards that behavior okay people who really are all about themselves but are internally identified right that the, their values are theirs and everybody else can go pound sand in a variety of ways what you see instead are herd animals that start to follow the herd going a certain way and they're never the prime movers they're not the first ones into the fight right they're they're the they're the useful idiots and the problem is when they stop being useful they'll still be idiots and they will look for the next thing where they can be a useful idiot for because the only value that they why, can that's find why it's a is reaction. when other people right it's a cunning right it's not a thought through thing it is, it is, there's a certain a social cunning to them where they go, this is what is rewarded. I'm going to do that. Is it conscious or unconscious, though? I feel like it's totally unconscious. I think, it, I think it's mostly, again, it's, it's a cunning thing, right? It, there's a, there's a, we are, we are by evolution social animals. And, and if nothing else, the, the, the thing that we try to do is fit in with the social, uh, aspects, right? There's a reason that we're polite because we, we're also a bit porcupiney, right? We're, we're, we're prickly. When you get enough humans together, people start getting bitchy and all of a sudden the clubs come out and we start bashing heads. So we have certain rules that we operate under in order to get along that are always kind of commonly agreed to. But when you have a certain segment that, that, that runs off the reservation and gives these people who can't function in the Social reward is what is your your contribution, right? What is your skill set, right? The 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 productive uh, social rewards. If instead they can find something that rewards them for just being who they are and having the feels, right? Because feels are a much lower part of the brain than than conscious thinking. But but they see others doing that and getting rewarded for it socially. They are going to flock to it. And so when my, that it gets exhausted, they will find the next thing. So my question to. would be, uh, do these people, in quotation marks, do, do the people that we're talking about, um, do they actually care about the larger uh, perspective? Do they actually care no, about? It's, it's, no, again, it's again, it's it's what? Where is my social status coming from? Yeah, and, and it's and, the media and, and too. Like it's the media not prime mover. One at a time. One at a time. Sorry. I was going to say it's like the media justification, and it's this, and it's a consequence-free generation to some extent as well. 
Um, I don't think they're I don't think they're thinking about the long term as to what how this affects, for instance, women's rights or or the rights of children or whatever it may be. I don't think they're that concerned. I think they're just concerned about how it affects them at this moment. Yes, that's exactly it. Well, it's it, a major that, reaction about yeah. how it affects them personally. It's like that that person in the airline mm -hmm. at the air ticket counter or wherever it was you know, saying, oh my God, you gendered me? You gendered me? How dare you? How dare you assume that? He's gendering me and he's, you know, he's shouting to all these people, hmm. she, who, whatever, is shouting to all these people that this person at the ticket counter is wrong. And right. the ticket but, counter but they... guy just wants to get through his damn shift. And, and if so he, does and he is else done, and so does everybody else in line and he knows it. So instead of, you know, bending over backwards for this one person that it's affecting them and they're making it about them the guy shuts them down right but this well, is behavior that has been rewarded in the past when you throw a tantrum oh my god you're gendering misgendering me right the most very people recent past. will fold well, yeah but these are look at the age of these people all they have is the very recent past right sure. all they know is the game that has been played thus far here are the rules and here is how you act in order to get whatever you want or to get social status or to get upgraded or whatever right and and that's the game they're playing because this is the system there change the system their behavior will change but it will always be what do i do to get social status how do i how how do i become they don't have meaning internally their meaning only comes from external recognition and and that then they're stuck with it, right? So they're they will always be where whichever way the wind blows, they're going that way. I believe that I just don't know to what degree or what percentage it, it is. I don't have my finger on the pulse well enough of popular culture or whatever it's called, conventional wisdom, we used to call it. Um, I'm very isolated, uh, so I can't really say, but my feeling is. But this is like no more than a fashion trend for a it's lot a of these people. Yeah. And it, and I hate yeah. to say that because my parents accused me of it and their parents accused them of it and so on. It's an easy. I think, I think it is. I think, I think it's exactly what it is because, but the problem is that when we look back on um, uh, photographs from the seventies and eighties and we say, Oh, look at that. You were entirely head to foot in tartan because you're a big base at your rollers fan, or you got your nose pierced. What a fool. Whereas now the, the risk is, Oh wow. You were taking drugs, which changed the way your body works. And Oh God, you had a bit of you cut off. Wow. Um, that seems kind of final. You know, this is a this is a trend, a fashion trend with a with with higher stakes to some degree for a lot of the people that are making these, um, you know, these having these conversations in in Twitter. Yeah, it, that's it, what, that's what I find. Oh, I, th I think the, the about biggest it. thing. I think, I think we're heading towards is, a culture of kids who are probably going to start suing their. Oh, parents. I think I think I think R two is right. The 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 inevitable lawsuits that that come out of this uh, for people who who are willing to monetize. Um, people who were essentially chasing clout um, because they're too young to 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 make good decisions. And oh, by the way, their parents should also be beaten vigorously about the face and neck because the vast majority of of, of people who are the 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 percentages of people who are who are actually trans are vanishingly small. Yeah, but exactly. a real it's, it's population. A, it's a fashion symbol, isn't it? I right. mean, what you why have is it, now why is, is it there's so many Hollywood stars seem to have trans children? I mean, right. The, and and, and, and oh, oh, oh look, the free. celebrating my five year old is trans. Your five year old is five. They don't know what trans. the fuck they are. How can Megan five year old is even trans? Yeah. trans? Right. That's ridiculous. But the, the the odds of of having one trans child are about a million to one. But Megan Fox has got three of them. It's clearly more the parents than the kids in these in these cases. And it, I, you know, I can I can give you uh, at least one example where that's not the case. Okay. But, um, yeah, I, I for the most part I agree. Five year olds don't have um don't have the bandwidth to make that kind of decision for themselves no. or the and life. they can go through, you know, a trends where, where I, I, you, I'm a boy or, or I'm a girl. I like to wear dresses or whatever. It's still, it's a, something that they can actually grow out of. Now, the one case that I do know of in, 
for certain, this child was severely abused, sexually, uh, mentally, physically, severely abused to the point where um, they no longer wanted to identify as who they were when they were born. And right, that, made, but the problem is, it, most, no, 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 let me finish. Right, hang, on, it, hang on, it made a world of difference in this child's world. But this is one child, mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Well, and the problem the, statistically, it is the rarest thing. Right, to it is come a across. vanishingly small percentage, but a real percentage. But but the thing is, is that so so there are there are trans people who who believe I need to transition because of trauma that is very much the kind of thing that used to be yeah. look we need to not get out the knife we need to give you the psychological help to move beyond that trauma right in the same way that, that there were I, I i had friends who for a decade or two were absolutely i'm gay because of sexual abuse that happened in their childhood and then later through therapy, not conversion bullshit, right? Realized, no, I'm actually, it, this is a reaction to trauma that I had as a child. And it, uh, what I was seeking was the safety uh, or, or the power over the, the, what I identified as my abuser, right? Which in no way is the same as someone who's born gay. You're right. absolutely correct. And in now, the same in way that many, most of the, most, of, there's a reason that, that we used to have rigorous psychological screenings before you ever did any kind of trans uh, transition surgery. Right. And it was because um, if you are, if you, if it is a result of trauma, then, then that is not the biological issue of your, the hormones that you received when, you know, after, after conception and, and, all that it actually changed the functioning of your brain. You really are a female in a man's body, right? Your brain is female and you're stuck in the wrong body. That that is that is usually what surgery was reserved for in the past. And now it's just become, well, I cosplay and I get social clout. And well, oh well, let's get I out think... the knives. Let's not even bother okay. with psychological uh, examination. I, I, hang on, give Barbara a shot here. So the to go back to this this one particular child, um, after this child had been um, removed from their home, had been placed into a, a very safe foster home, and the foster family ended up um, adopting them. The whole family it wasn't just wasn't just this one child. It was it was three siblings altogether, and um, all three of them had severe uh, behavior disorders you know, all were severely abused. Um, right. Just which is absolutely horrific expected things. from an abuse. After child. this one particular child had been in this fa foster family for, I think almost two years. And then they were adopted. Uh, the child started showing signs of retreating back into the, the sex that they were born with. So it's, it's a catch 22. And I do know kids um, you know, who have felt that they were born in the wrong body. And I, and I'm saying kids, because this is what I primarily deal with on a daily basis. This is my job. And, um, I've, I've yet to meet one that, um, that didn't genuinely feel it at some point. Now, maybe they will change their minds later on down the line probably will but you have to you have you still have to be able to talk to these children as seriously as you possibly can about this subject right. it's not something that you can just gloss over and say you'll grow out of it no my you, son you have has to, a friend you, that has again, that knew used he to be was transgendered from from the get-go and when i first met him he was clarissa and he, she was a lovely lesbian freshman girl. And one day she just basically told her parents, this is not who I am anymore. I can't live like this anymore. And this kid was fortunate enough to have very understanding parents, very accepting and said, great, 
you've got it. We're on board with you. We will support you no matter how, how hard this is. It's going to take some time to adjust to all of this, but we'll get through all of this as a family. This kid was lucky. And he has stayed transgendered ever since. So it's a, it is a small percentage, but I think when you're talking about kids that you think are going to go through as, as a phase, it's still something that you need to, to respect and take seriously. Otherwise, they're going yeah, to grow never up know not what, trusting what anybody. That, what that, what that 0.001%, you know, who it is, right? And, and you have to take it, but, but the other thing is questioning, you know, your gender and things like that, you don't just poo-poo then blow that shit off, right? No. The the best thing you do is is equip that, you know, talk to them, have 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 you know some some counseling if you think they need it. Um, you know, be open to look, I'm I'm willing to listen, but I you're not of age to consent to that. You don't understand the consequences. And and I'm willing to, you know, go th go through whatever phase you want to. Look, the the thing there's a reason that the vast majority of people who, who identified as, as trans in the past were men. And it has suddenly switched to girls because, and oh, by the way, most of those sur surgeries are happening right after puberty. What girl is not uncomfortable with breasts yeah. sprouting? Well, yeah, that, exactly. Right? I mean, if you want to find anybody that is uncomfortable with their body, just talk to any teenager, any, teenage any generation. Well, any any preteen. I mean, nobody looks back on middle school as... <laughs> that was my finest year. No, <laughs> right. nobody does. Everybody okay. hates it. So there, there, there is an uncomfortable sort of uh, middle ground there, which is if you really want to grow up and pass as a gender that you were not born as, the time to do it is before or during puberty to get the most convincing results. So there is sort of an impetus there, right? But the thing the problem is, is you that your not... mind, that your mind and your life experience right. are not in place to make right. that kind of you decision. cannot no, you consent. Don't... And you're there. Nobody's brain is fully developed until they're into mid twenties. Mid twenties. Most people die without a fully developed brain. That's My brain well... definitely isn't fully developed. Well, I think <laughs> mine is devolving now. I'm I'm hoping to get back to my teenage years. Every time I watch one of the films, it gets worse. <laughs> I'm uh, pickling mine as we speak. Yeah, Bender. I don't know what the criteria is now, but yes, he used to have to spend two or three years. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. you still have to undergo um, constant consultation, constant therapy. Yeah. yeah, and you can be kicked for any number of reasons. Abuse yeah. was one of them. Yeah, uh, I don't know what the rules are now, but yeah. So uh, I don't know how we ended up on this. Uh, I don't either. My head, you guys, I have, I have had a headache since I got home from work. And now my head is just like screaming. I'm going to call it a perhaps, night. Perhaps Andy's gang will uh, help cure that. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. I, don't, I, think I don't think so either. I think I, I developed a headache. You know what? Let's watch more Andy's gang. Uh, I think you? Andy's what? gang might know. have pushed me I over. I identify as not one of Andy's gang. <laughs> That's I don't awesome. know how to tell you this, but there's more than one episode. Uh, <laughs> Wait, that show lasted more than one episode? Oh, I think it's it was true. a season or two. Of it's it. true. <laughs> All right, Barbara. All right, you guys. Good night. Take Feel care. Happy New Year, Barbara. So wonderful to hang out with you. It is always wonderful to hang out with you guys. Happy um, sleeping. Yeah. See you in bed, baby. Woo! Hey, that was to me, wasn't it? That was definitely. Remember, to I me. told you not to say that when Adam is around; he gets jealous. <laughs> All right, good night, you guys. Good night. You have to watch good night. an educational video now. <laughs> Adam will be the young Deb tonight. Uh, not till I scrub my shit in the genital sink. Oh, I... oh! You got the genital sink ready? <laughs> no, but I do have a piss bucket under my desk. And... Oh. Ooh. I feel pretty good about it. I'm filling out my uh, my three by five note card now, uh, listing my contacts. How is everyone else feeling? We want to uh, call this, or we want to? Yeah, going? let's go ahead and call it, especially because you and Bob's uh, the sickly. Yeah, I had a, a horrible sinus headache all day, and it's gone now, thanks to the power of vodka. But um, may not be the best idea for me. What oldest gamer wants a 1960s traffic video? What, is this about trafficking?
people or uh... yes. yes. <laughs> I don't think it's any different now, is it? Trains? <laughs> Are there trains involved? It's a cargo What's container oh, full of oh, that's, a different video. that's a different video we don't talk about, Jethro. <laughs> the train video is this was because not of the allowed. leaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, leaks in quotes. Leaks. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I knew it could be a little leaky at the wrong time. You know, that's like, why I have a bucket. What's up? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a a quick laugh and uh, I'm gonna fix a drink and I'll be right back. Oh my god, he's gonna pull his pants down and turn yep. on the camera, isn't it? It's more Andy's game. We, we hey to... kids, let me scream at <laughs> you, <laughs> right at you. A lesson. A lesson. Oh, there we go. Do, do, do. I'm going to set Clancy on Jethro. Oh, no, where'd he go? Fine. Oh, shit. And we joined drink number five of the year. Everything. Yay. Fuck. Happy New Year. I Happy wish, New Year. I wish I didn't have that tolerance. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, where did it go? Shit. Up your butt, Jobu. Eat up your butt with a rubber coconut. In your eye with a cherry pie. I was going to throw James Brown out there again, and it's not in the folder. Shit. Where is it? Well, I gave you a hor horrific short video earlier. Did you not? Um, I was feel like bad? we all do want to <laughs> jump back. And, it's still and, pretty bad. And touch ourselves. Well, it's not that I don't have material. It's no. uh, Oh, okay, it's good. Well, it's whether we're willing to take the yeah. strike. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, tonight has a theme. <laughs> yeah, awful things that have happened. Awful things. <laughs> awful, awful things. Well, that that does seem to be a recurring theme. All eighteen fucking episodes have been awful things that happened. Yeah, alleged Mainly movies. Him, the Godfather of Soul, Mr. Dynamite, and oh, the yes. hardest working man in Chile. Yes. But very soon, oh my God. he may be this known as so the good. Defender. <laughs> Grammy-winning soul oh, singer James Brown is about to embark on a oh, South American tour, but it's this right. tour that prompted right right his latest brush with the law. <laughs> Brown says that he and his wife had goes. an argument because she wasn't going on the tour with him. Adrian Brown and South Carolina police say that in the argument, <laughs> it resulted, as a matter of fact, in Brown assaulting his wife with a lead pipe and firing a gun at a car that she was in. These are charges that Brown denies. He was released yesterday on $15,000. Bond. He joins us for from Atlanta to discuss oh, the charges, and we welcome you, James uh, the Brown. Highest How did all of this trouble love. begin? Living in America. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. You're not in any difficulty, but you're out on bond. No, I'm not. Have I'm all the charges been dropped? Yeah, I'm out on love. Well, are you out on love or out of love? Which yeah. is it? Out on love. Alone from night to night, you find me. Now, James, this isn't the first time you and your <laughs> wife have had a problem. Are the two of you going to be able to work this out? Let's talk about some music. You oh. want to talk about music and you don't want to talk about what happened? No, it's all over. Well, let's talk about your tour. When are you leaving? We're leaving tomorrow. And where are you going? Rio de, Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Brazil. Now, your, your fans will have read all Great about this, James. Aren't you concerned situation. about that? No, the No. Dr. John. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because there's nothing wrong. <laughs> and what are you going to say to your fans when they ask you some questions about it? I'm going to say, I'm high as fuck. Bob's got a brand new bag. It's a man's world. Well, that's the second time we've heard that in two days. That's oh, crazy. Now, don't leave yep. us, James. You stay oh, right there. We have more that we have to talk about. Well, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be Hello, doing Dad. on this tour. Uh, what'd you say? What are you going to be doing on this tour? I'm going to be doing... Right. Papa's got a brand new bag of living in America. Sex machine, get up off of that thing. I feel good. Jam. Yeah. Now, you I understand good. that you I'm have real. already... James, I have to ask you one serious question here. I understand you already have started divorce proceedings. Does that mean that you're now eligible? Um, no, I'm, yes, I'm eligible. I'm single. I, I want to mingle. You want to mingle? Yeah. Now, the women like love the you when you get out there. Yeah. Why do you think that is? What did you say? The women love you when you get out there. Why is that, ladies? Well, I'm asking you. Huh? Because I look do you think good. that is? You I look smell good. good. I, I smell good. good. And you sing good. And make love good. 
Oh. <laughs> Top that. Well, oh, boy. There you are. We don't have to ask anybody else. We Driving got that blood. from the source. <laughs> there you are. Now, you're involved in publishing a gospel magazine. Tell us a little bit about that. The Second Coming. Uh -huh. it's, uh, it's out of a yeah. at his age, he can manage the Second Coming. Joseph P. Young is the editor, and James Ryan, one of his advisors. And we have <laughs> a fantastic <laughs> job. The Second and, Coming. Uh, it features uh, on this week, I think we have the Pope and um, I believe the, the, Williams, the Williams brothers. The Ritz brothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've done a lot, a lot, a lot <laughs> no, of good things. And hopefully we'll get <laughs> Brother Ted Turner on the cover. Ted, where you at? Brother James, Ted. we want to thank you for having, for being with us today Wait and a giving minute, us an opportunity. Oh, is there something more you want to say that we <laughs> yeah, haven't covered? Yeah, I want to say a lot of things. Okay, I go ahead. You. I love America. I love everybody. Well, I feel it's, good. It sounds yes, to me you that do, you're sir. not troubled by any of this at all. This is a man's world. True that. Thanks True for that. reminding us of that. Every once in a while, we forget. Get up on We remember it again. James, good luck on your tour. Thanks for being with us. I guess we're going to hear lots more. Hasta luego. Okay, hasta luego. There you are. There you are. There you are. This is this is literally Jethro after six drinks. I like to think and that we played one of his videos. <laughs> Man, don't ever put me out of touch. No, I'm this Rio de Janeiro yeah. with Andy's gang. Ah! I like to think that Jethro's wearing those glasses as well. Oh, I know he is. <laughs> it could be. Jethro's hair is more convincing though. Yeah. It is. It I have is. seen it in person. Mm -hmm. I saw it on live stream. I watched that um, on New Year's Eve as well uh, with a load of friends in the pub. Um, we were we started early. We started day drinking, so I actually missed the celebrations. Uh, I missed all the fireworks because I came home and I was just uh, a little a little tired, a little sleepy yeah. for some reason because I've been drinking for about eight hours. <laughs> kept kept wondering why this this bed spinning backwards and what the hell. <laughs> but I do remember showing that clip to uh, to a bunch of people in the pub last week. It was so much fun. <laughs> God, I remember. Uh, yeah, I actually do remember being younger and being so fucked up that like you could not stop spinning. Oh, oh yeah, I yeah. don't do that anymore because I'm an alcoholic. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I I was I was. I was so drunk one time. Yeah, I laid and I was getting the bed spins like crazy. And I was like, I'm going to go in and intentionally throw up. Yep. Just to right. get it over with. Right. Oh, the yeah. problem yeah. is I have a cast iron stomach and I, I like <laughs> stuck my finger down my throat three or four times and nothing. And I'm like, fuck it. I, you don't want to come up. Well, all right. I'll just try and sleep you off. Okay. Stay in there. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, when, when I first went to California, we had a, we had a company, a uh, party we go out to this to this bar um all of us and our our vp of sales was buying drinks and um they so the alcohol companies would like uh pay san jose state co-eds to go out to bars and like pimp whatever liquor they had you know and they have a, a you know a deal with the bar where it was it was uh you know it was on sale and all that that yeah. night was gold schlager oh God. right oh yeah Ugh. so <sighs> I don't know how many shots I had, but I know that the the VP of sales was tipping so well that they began to give us our shots in highball glasses. Mm. And I had 13 of those. Mm -mm. And then I'm sitting there and, and uh, one of the guys I worked with, Dittman, was sitting across from me and he said, I could tell the minute you realized how drunk you truly were. Because you were talking, laughing, having a good time, and then you kind of stopped and thought for a minute, and then you melted in the chair, right? It was just like <laughs> collapsing in on yourself. Yeah. And I was like, I have to get up. And I got to go piss, right? And I took one look at the urinal. I was like, I don't think yeah. I can reliably hit that. Ooh. I'm going to have to go sit down and pee like a girl, right? <laughs> and I sat down and just got done peeing, and it was like, uh-oh, I'm going to have to throw my face in this stuff. And I proceeded to bump. Now, I blacked out. According to all reports, um, every time somebody would open the door, I would yell at the top of my voice, which is not insubstantial, don't no. drink the gold schlocker. <laughs> now, after about 20 minutes, my coworkers, who were also pretty pissed, uh, noticed my absence and went to come find me. And they they realized that I had locked myself in the in the uh, in the shitter. And they went and found a bartender who was an offensive lineman for San Jose State. 
and he jiggers the, the lock and gets it open. And I am laying there, pants around my ankles, Ooh. laying next to the toilet on the cool side. And they he took one look at me, looked at my buddies, and he says, I'm lifting him, but somebody else has to pull up his pants. Get him out of here. And they did. I That was a Friday night. I was hung over all the way until Monday. When I showed up at work Monday morning, I was still, my head was fucking pounding. Yeah. My, my, one of my friends actually uh, passed out while having a piss over there, over New Year's Eve as well. <laughs> he, just, he got home and stood there over yeah, just to, to relieve himself and then woke up about an hour later just covered in, in piss and his head oh, hurt because oh. he'd fallen. <laughs> so yeah, that was a that was a fun day. I don't, yeah. I don't think there's anyone here tonight that hasn't woken up in a hedge. Uh, uh, no, no, that's true. Oh, yeah. And I've certainly lost that. time. I've certainly had a couple of, uh, uh, certainly a few evenings where I've lost time entirely. Yeah, well, I wouldn't yeah. judge. A couple of hours judge. of whizzed by. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I was at one of those uh, bar promotion nights when they were uh, introducing Hypnotic, the oh, disgusting yeah. blue crap. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. And I had like one full glass and I refused to oh, drink no, you're anymore. About and it was free. Jeff, were you there? No, but just, I know, but no, just, I know, it, it I know what the drink you're talking you about. You know the medicine. Drink. Yeah. Shit. Oh my god, it's disgusting. It's like 50% sugar. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the um, I think we have a, a blue wicked in this country, which is pretty much the same. Oh god. maybe I was there though. I, I think you might have been. Uh I can't remember if it was in uh, San Francisco or if it was in Columbus. But uh weird. I think it was in San Francisco. It's just a weirdo party. Yeah. Yeah, I think they were posting the one of the tattoo nights. Yeah, it was like free, and I didn't want it. Like that's yeah. how bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely yeah. disgusting. Yeah, <laughs> it's the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. Oh, <laughs> it's pretty badass. Look, it runs all over the place. Whoa! Watch out, says that bird. Ew! It's got a snake. Oh, it's chasing a jackal. Oh my gosh. Oh, the honey badgers are just crazy. The honey badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all of the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give a shit. If it's hungry, it's hungry. Ew, what's that in its mouth? Oh, it's got a cobra. Oh, it runs backwards. Now watch this. Look, a snake's up in the tree. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a shit. It just takes what it wants. Whenever it's hungry, it just, ew, and it eats snakes. Oh my God, watch it dig. Look at that digging. The honey badger is really pretty badass. <laughs> There's no regard for any other animal whatsoever. Look, Look at him. just grunting and I know. eating snakes. Ew, what's that, a mouse? He's so relatable oh, in this face. Oh, they're so nasty. I'm like, I don't, Ooh, look, I'm it's not chasing bad at him. And eating them. No. When I'm the driving, I'm have kind a, of a honey badger. You know? Fairly I'm like, long I'm body. Not bad at them, but a know? distinctly like, thick set, broad that's shoulders. That's how I lost and, my license. You know, their, their skin is loose. <laughs> Allowing them to move Who about freely, and they twist around. Now look, here's a house full of bees. You think the honey badger cares? It doesn't give a shit. It goes no, right into the house of bees to get some larva. <laughs> How disgusting is that? It eats larva. Ew, that's so nasty. But look, the honey badger doesn't care. It's getting stung like a thousand times. It doesn't give a shit. It just, it's hungry. It doesn't care about being stung by bees. Nothing can stop the honey badger when it's hungry. Oh, what a crazy fuck. Look. Ew, it's eating <laughs> larva. That's disgusting. There it is, running in slow motion again. Look, he's See? eating he's eating yellow. Now, what's interesting is that other other animals like these there. birds here, they just like to wait around until the honey badger's done eating and then it swoops in to pick up the scraps. It says, You do all the work for us, honey badger, and we'll just eat whatever you find. How's that? What do you say, stupid? Look at this bird. Thanks for the treat, stupid. Hey, come back here, says the honey badger. Birds don't care. And you know what? The jackals do it too. Look at these little dogs. They're like, thanks, stupid. Thanks for the mouse. See you later. <laughs> the honey badger does all the work while these yeah, other animals lesson. just pick up the scraps. Yeah, At night time, the honey badger goes hunting because it's hungry. Look, here comes a fierce battle between a king cobra and a honey badger. I wonder what will happen. That is not a, There's no. the honey badger just eating a mouse. And then look, get away from me, says the snake. Get away from me. Honey badger don't care. Honey badger smacks the shit out of it. And the snake comes back and it lashes right at the honey badger. Oh, little does the honey badger know, FYI, it's been stung. It's been bitten by the snake. So while it's eating the snake, 
Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> Meanwhile, the poisonous venom is seeping through the honey badger's body, and it passes out. It's Look at that sleepy nails. fox. In a hedge. Now, I mean, the honey yeah, badger is going to be passed out that. for a few yeah. minutes, yeah. and then it's going to get right back up and start eating all over again, because it's a yeah. hungry little bastard. I dated Look her. at this. Like, like nothing have. happened. The honey badger yeah. gets right back up and continues yeah, eating I, the I've been stung by the snake a few times. I've passed <laughs> out, and then I'm very hungry have to afterwards. Eat for the next two weeks? I've eaten a kebab out of a van before. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's much the same control, thing. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walk it off. It's nice. Yeah. That it's, it's, it's very nice that uh, John Waters was agreed to do that. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 he doesn't care. He doesn't care. I mean, there is very much a Matt cat. Um, vibe to that, which amuses I love me greatly. That. I love him. I I love his little heterosexual storyline that he's working. Yes, with. yes, yes. His, <laughs> yes, his beard, children. his beard and family. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch shit for saying. Well, that well the no so so <laughs> in uh, it was Bisa. Um, I think I think it was like the first time Matt was on, and and I said something about uh. Man, I, I I really applaud because he he had some shit take on a on a bad movie or something like that. And I said, you know, I applaud him uh, coming out uh, on B sub. This is very uh, yeah, brave and stunning that. or whatever. And then the next week he had another shit take, and I was like, wow, uh, yeah, I think you're starting to milk this uh, coming out thing or whatever. <laughs> and Cynic saw it and fucking, I could see when he read it because he fell down like laughing and eventually <laughs> pulls it up and Matt goes ha, ha, okay yeah that's pretty good ha. <laughs> I mean could you be any gayer yeah yeah <laughs> I, and god bless him no offense at all I just he, he, he reminds has... he reminds me of a guy I worked with we called him the gayest straight man you'll ever meet he, he has like, to know he has to know I, I don't know. There's, there's no way his parents haven't told him. No. There's yeah. No. Just, yeah. yeah. Right. How, many, how many? How many of his friends are like, dude? You, you know you're gay, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. What are you talking about now? Oh, I listen. can't say. I can't say for sure. Like, I, I have a theory. Like, if if you're not sure and you go into a gay bar, you'll figure it out. Yeah. Like, what? To, like, I've, I've I've been into a gay bar many times in my life, and like, it's been anywhere from like. Oh, you're nice to who let the straight person in? Yeah. I can't yeah. I can't like hide how square I am. I'm just like hi oh, really? everyone. I really enjoy Hello boy. Little gay people. I am <laughs> boy, is it, yeah. boy is it fun to be here. So you know, like oh, hi. I I've I have never had that experience. A because I will flirt <laughs> with anybody that that because again it's just a game to me right and yeah. and so my wife's best friend uh was gay and at our at, at our wedding he told her before we got married you know he's gay right and she's like no he is not uh i right. i can assure yeah. you uh <laughs> that is not whatever I've but because because i i when he would like flirt or something like that then i would just go full on and then we went to a gay bar in Lawrence and uh, I was dancing with everybody and, and having a great time and, 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 you know, doing the, if you're going to flirt with me, I'm going to flirt back. I don't care. And my wife is just laughing at, and he was absolutely convinced that I was gay. Yeah. Well, you well, me. there's no, there's no <laughs> me, there's no me fooling anyone. I can tell you that. Yes. Right now. <laughs> Like, dude, like, like they may, I, like I may, they may as well be like, like you know, yeah, in the Tejano bar, it well, would not work out. Isn't it exactly uh, the, square the, is the, the square is command the square. Let's humor the square. Okay. Well, the the rest of you have not uh, had the pleasure of knowing uh, Jethro in person, but I I have for many years, and he's a he's a good and and one of my best old friends. Um. If damn if, calling him old like that and you it, older, he's I'm younger than me. I know. That's what I've been like. Pot kettle. Hello. If uh, <laughs> if if Jethro were to put on overalls, like I feel like time and space would collapse on his <laughs> with the amount of like just appellation credibility. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> he has he has a countenance uh, of of a combination of hair and beard 
Yeah, and Jethro, uh, your your brother was on the live stream with you, right? That's my younger brother. Yeah. Who that, clearly who the is. postman came to visit. Yeah. They're very <laughs> they're very different looking. Yes, yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. I was like, uh, do you get a lot of the same your voice. We have the exact same voice though, which is so strange. yeah there, there's certain there's certain mannerisms that that you can pick up but yeah if you were to police line up people would go hell no no yeah there's no, no relation there these guys are not from the same city yeah no. yeah jeremy uh jeremy went to a, a ween concert with me with his wife and uh she was like you know when you you two are excited you're both the same person <laughs> Well, what's weird to me is, <laughs> is, is that people say that you and I sound exactly the same. Fiona made right. a point about this. When, no, I don't yeah. think that's true. I don't yeah. think that's true. Yeah. Well, Jeremy, think, has to crash, Jeremy has to crash this sometime. As a massive we, generalization. We, we, we have to have him on this sometime. As a, as a yeah. massive generalization, I do think that um, Americans have a bit of a tin ear for uh, accents sometimes. I, th yeah. I don't think they made the distinction as easily as uh, some. I think I think the 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 thing that kind of throws they're they're both. Well, they're, I'm not slurring, you know. I'm not, I'm not slurring. I'm slurring. You're slurring. slurring. Hi. This is the thing, and I hear this a lot where people you you like, have been oh, slurring, slurring for like the last you know? hour, which has become <laughs> very amusing. <laughs> well done, Black Lives. That's about the that about sums it up. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I think well because there there so um, the frequency like uh, you know the 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 literal tone right the musical tone of your voice voices are very similar, <laughs> right? And that would throw somebody off if 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 you don't get enough of either of you speaking, it's if you kind didn't of hard. Know us and you weren't from the same yeah area. If you weren't from Ohio, yeah. you would yeah. probably think so. I get it. I get it. But to me, it's it's totally different, totally different. But I've known I've known Jethro for Jesus since when? Like ninety one, ninety two, Jethro. Uh, I got my first tattoo, which was from you in nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. Okay. 1990. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, to me, to my ear, we're we're completely different. But. Well, again, I think it's it's if you if you if you speak multiple sentences, it becomes pretty clear. Um, if if both of you are like, God, hey, I, I saw a thing, right? That there's a there's a very similar. Uh, the accent is less so. I mean, I can I can pick up Jethro pretty easy, but if all I hear is like the 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 audible tone, uh, that it can it can, I can see where where somebody could get confused, but. They just need to listen a little more. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, that's on Fiona. Jeth Jethro is like Atom, but with positivity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Je Jethro <laughs> hasn't been ground has down by life. Left. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't yeah. given up on life yet. <laughs> if if, if, Jeff, if Jethro him. was nibbling on the barrel of his gun, <laughs> yeah. then he would sound much more like Adam. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's accurate. I can't yeah. argue with that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Nor would I. I mean, and and having seen your movie selections, I can understand why uh, <laughs> you have reached this depressed state. Well, oh, those are movies. Yeah, Jethro actually helped form my my uh, my my current my uh, my my later in life understanding and appreciation of movies. I I took a. A well, lot. that explains quite a bit, given Jethro's yeah. selections as well. Yes, yeah, a lot so. of cues from him, and I took a lot of cues from his brother. His brother taught me Hong Kong cinema, basically. That, yeah, that mm -hmm. yeah Jeremy, Je yeah, to Jeremy you. is real big into to Hong Kong cinema. I was going to ask uh, a question about this about a couple of weeks ago, and we never really got into it. It may be a little late to do it now, but um, was there ever a, um, a particular TV show or a particular reviewer or something in your uh, youth that kind of opened your uh, appreciation of movies to more than just what was on at the local cinema? Because for me, there was a couple of TV shows that oh. sort of were very um, influential on my movie choices and where I sort of, you know, uh, expanded my horizons, should we say. I was always on the fringe always i i grew up in ohio when i was a kid 
And then I was like, Dude, I am married as fuck, just FYI. <laughs> <laughs> I moved to New York and then uh it was like at the just the point right before puberty. So I got fully invested in the independent uh punk cinema, the sort of uh just transgressive, awful VHS stuff. Nick Zed and uh, uh Richard Kern and Lydia Lunch and all that stuff. Like it, it hit me at just the right time where I was full on into the weird shit. Like I just, <laughs> I, I couldn't get enough of it. Um, and then I moved back to Ohio after college and opened up my tattoo shop in uh, around 90, 91. And uh, yeah, I, it, there's no one defining moment, but having not moved to New York when I was about 12 years old, I would not be the person that I am now. Like right. I, there's yeah. no chance because I was. So it's, so it's a combination of the people you were surrounded by and uh, the, the you know the accessibility to. It was uh, the access. It yeah. was absolutely a hundred percent the access. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I I can't speak for Jeff, but yeah, what what about you, Jethro? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, because you've got quite an eclectic taste, Jeff. So it's uh, it's interesting. Yes, he does. Me. Eclectic I, is a synonym for shit, but go ahead. That's, that's, uh... <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Columbus, Columbus cinema really did form so much of my taste. Columbus and, oddly had a culture in the 90s. Really? And it was weird that my dad took me to like... Uh, I'm sure you all in your... Um, where you all are at you have like a majestic theater that has like a, a, a pretty sophisticated um, uh, calendar, but also shows movies and will often show 35 or 70 millimeter films. Th that's a pretty common thing, you know, in, in metropolitan areas. Uh, so I kind of grew up on my dad taking me to like, uh, uh three stooges marathons and uh horror movie marathons of uh in october at, at, at this like kind of ornate uh theater but what really formed my taste in film was uh 24 hour movie marathons and if you've never been to a 24 hour movie marathon it's really something, you know, like I, I'm, I'm genuinely compelled to make one here in Austin. Yeah, we had, um, we, we have uh, film festivals in mm -hmm. the city, um, which are, which do uh, go into a lot of indie and world cinema. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't think I got into any of that stuff until probably in my maybe in my late twenties, early thirties, I think. But yeah. I, I think for me, um it was it there was a couple of TV shows. There was a uh, uh there was a TV show that was called Movie Drome. Mm -hmm. And it would be on Sunday nights and it was presented by uh the director of Repo Man, Alex Cox. Alex mm. Cox. Yeah. He's so, so great. Oh he my great. god. He's still great don't... now. He still has loads to say about film even today. He's still pretty interesting to listen Dude, to. Dude, don't get me started. I love and, Straight to Hell. But he kind of st he, he, he started out on the yeah, well that said Nancy, yeah. I mean he started out on this He's TV so show. Good. And it was all it was was just um he would put on a there would be a new a film coming on uh, on a Sunday night, and before the film started, he would do about a 15, 20 minutes at the start of the film and basically tell you why it was an important or interesting film and why you should what? pay attention to it. Really? So yeah, and and that was my that was I already had an interest in film, but that wow. was one of the two things that kind of pushed me into understanding and learning more about you know the appreciation of film and why you know why things were important. I think Blade Runner and Alien were in there. I'm pretty sure they had a couple of Cronenbergs in there as well. Um, so yeah, he was quite good. But there was another one called The Incredibly Strange Film Show, which. Um, which definitely was a big showcase for fringe directors. There were a lot of people on there, like uh, 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 
at the time these were still sort of fringe uh people like david lynch and yeah, um yeah, yeah. Sam raimi uh russ yeah. mayer oh, yeah roger corman was obviously featured on there as well that's like um, a great show yeah, yeah. It, was, it was fantastic. It, I don't know if you saw YouTube. Perfect timing for all those guys. Yeah. Absolutely, and I think I saw this in the probably very early '90s, and about that yeah, time yeah, when yeah. you're sort of you're consuming film, you know, at, at an alarming rate. You basically just can't get enough. Um, yeah. So it was a, it was a perfect timing for me uh, watching that because that really expanded my interest in a load of people I would never even have heard about otherwise. That's awesome. I, yeah. I mean, I Mine. do have to go. To, I do have to go to bed really quick. But I'm wondering if anyone Bullshit. has ever. I know. I know. I know. I, am, I, I think. I don't the, know if the, he can tell I'm drunk, but no, no, any, we couldn't tell in the last no, hour, hour and a half. Good. No, I think you got to pass the chat. No, you were faking <laughs> it well. Okay, okay, I passed it, officer. You, uh, <laughs> you, fine. So, you're fine. You, you're carrying it as well as uh, Andy was. Yes. Yes. And, yes. Um, I, Without the blackface, I mean that was important. No, I, no I one applaud you no for that. Knew. Yeah, no one knew you were drunk. Oh, so. yeah. I, I, well, I think, I think there's a, there's like two parts to the, to Smilex's question. One is, why did I become very interested in film, and then mm -hmm. why did I start looking for things that were more out of the norm? Right. Um, the, I, I think that. Um, my my interest in film, um, part part of it was um, seeing certain movies and 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 just just like viscerally recognizing there's a difference between this and other movies that I've seen, right? And Good and examples. I can uh, King Kong, mm -hmm, um, yeah. right? So and Son of Kong. Man. The, uh, no, sorry. the 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 oh that's so you know, good mighty joe young um the the valley of bronze so um but but it was because when i was a kid um my parents would go and and play cards with my my aunt and uncle and the the rest of us would stay up and watch the friday and saturday night monster movie uh thing that you know had the 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 guy that he wasn't he wasn't dressed up as Dracula. It, he was just, it was like fat guy that, that apparently was like the intern or something it's there, but minor. Yeah. yeah. But, but they would do the, the, the kind of all night monster movies on Friday and Saturday night. And so, you know, I would see things like, I mean, again, Kong, you know, the, that had an impact because the, the, you know, when you're a kid, a, the, there's a scare to it, but also, man, you really get pulled in um yeah. to to the the cinematography the 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 animation of kong it's why it's why i loathe peter jackson's uh yeah. king kong because kong yeah. isn't just a big fucking gorilla right? right he's he's a different thing um well it's just the sort of thing where you should just make something else and right you should use the same ideas and technology to make something else and that's yeah why, peter jackson you know, it's, drive it's, it's, when he was doing his own I, thing. I, I feel like it's so obvious and it happens more and more where you're like, you made a remake, but what you, sh you shouldn't have made a remake. Right. What did you we bring that just... was new? What was the new voice? Yeah. What was the new twist? Right. You should, you should have done that. That's yeah, I mean, what you the, the, the great, the great example. And not is, attach is... it to something that, you know. Well, or, or spin it, right. You know, the, the, my, yeah. my, my great example of, of how you spin it, a story, um, and, and an homage to a great film, but, make it different and 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 improve it in its own way right is the difference between nosferatu and shadow of the vampire yes yes right the the what what if max Shrek but really I, I was i really like nosferatu that, well i i get what you yeah well it's not denigrating nosferatu no i love nosferatu right and, like, and, no and i say i immediately thought of the uh herzog Greenbank, which i like a lot but yes, yeah, yeah, uh, but something yeah. fresh yeah. to yeah. An aesthetic. right, right. So, bring, yes, bring, exactly. you know, give it a spin. Give it, give it. You know, what is, what is your voice in this movie? Right, that that make yeah. that, that made yeah. it worth you making it and not, you know, oh look, I colorized it. Fuck you, Ted Turner. I don't mm -hmm. want to see that yeah. shit. Right. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. Um, and I and I, but but I think at the same time, the there were certain 
you know, even watching the like the you know the late night monster movies, you know, Battle of the Gargantuas, a mm. cheese movie, <laughs> if ever there was one. But but I liked it, right? Yeah, and and it was because good. Good. it had a different vibe. Um and and you could tell the qualitative difference between Kong and Battle of the Gargantuas. Oh, right. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. but it's like, I mean, you know, it, this is a neat thing. And then you know uh, the the where I got into the technical, um, you know, part of of filmmaking and all that stuff is is very much Star Wars and then Empire and mm-hmm. Tron and what well, Tron actually is the reason that I got into computers. Boy, Tron um, is something else. It, it really does exist as just. Yeah, it is. It is absolutely a a time capsule of, oh, of yeah. the era. I mean, there is gigantic stepping stone. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. and but but it is it is it it is a giant that others stand on, yeah. right? You know, and and if you look back on it now, and you're like, what the fuck? And it was like, no, no, look what was before that, right? Yeah. And yeah, the story is a bit, you know, sus. Yeah. But again, the story is a time capsule of that era where the fear of computers, the 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 you know the personification that people would put into this computer just doesn't like me. The computers don't give yeah. shit, right? Then they're, yeah. they're just they're just you know yeah. tools. But but the the thing about so so i became i became very much we're definitely we're definitely total recalling that yeah i well i think the 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 thing is i became very much enamored with with special effects um and and you know made mm-hmm. made home yeah. movies oh, on that's on, great on yeah super eight you know, like, and, and stop motion like, and all that stuff Tron last was week the thing. like last week you guys were talking about how much you love the thing and i don't know if you've ever seen like the extras to the thing oh where, yeah um, they have, have more stop motion <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. and it's like why did you not use that mm. that is so beautiful you know it would look so great in your movie like well, let's not, let's not go faulting movie? the the final product uh, that is yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i think i think i think the pacing the, it's it's much like aliens right the the there are the the director's cut that everybody um you know but raves about didn't now use I, it, I don't i don't even like it because he didn't like the way it looked and i just disagree with him like that well i mean i think look the 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 final shot of the thing going up the stop motion uh part of that is a bit shit in comparison to the practical where it shows the 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 thing doing the roar and he's like, yeah, well, fuck you too, right? And tosses it. But the but the stop motion tentacles coming out and grabbing the the plunger for the explosives and all that, that's a bit shit. Um, oh no. Oh, oh yes. No. Oh yes. <laughs> no. It does. Because because I in refuse. contrast, I it, it is in contrast no. to the to the practical effects that were so convincing. And then you kind of get jarred out of it where you're like oh, wait what what sense. was this right oh, um maybe you did i uh, you're damn right i do and i still do to this day <laughs> yeah. the the but the thing is is that the, the the real revelation of of crazy off the wall movies that that you know i i started to watch and, and appreciate and all that is absolutely because of the vhs revolution where where you would go to the VHS store and okay we wanted to get X and either it's out or we'll get that but we're staying up all night you know in high school and we're going to get five other what the fuck movies and then watch them and some of them were shit uh to be yeah, frank yeah. and others were okay i i i appreciate the the effort or or there's a there's a there's a real there's a real story but the execution was a little off or man these couple of scenes really work shame about the rest of the movie and and so you kind of started to search those things out right it's why you know i i you end up watching trauma films and 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 roger corman stuff and and all that is is that you look at it and go okay well there's a there's an honesty to it um the the execution at times falls a little short or the execution is good but shame about the story but but you see the components of of what makes good films and and it makes you appreciate more when um somebody puts it all together whether big budget or small budget right when when they're able 
to assemble. It's that, yeah, it's that thing where it's like, if I've sold you, I've sold you. But if I've sold you and I've visually sold you, then holy shit. Right. You know, like you've had a moment. You know? Right. And and you, and you again, budget is relevant. I mean, one, one of my... Uh, I, yeah, so yeah, I, sci-fi, right. sci-fi is a thing that I very much I agree with live in because it makes me think. Right? It it it's yeah. oh, that's an interesting question. Um, I movies that that when I leave, and and it makes me think, and it doesn't make me think. Why the fuck did they make this movie? Um, but but I I, I contemplate or I, or I or I roll it around in my head and 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 think about it. Right? Those are the ones that are interesting to me. Moon. Is a great sci-fi movie that the oh, I like, yeah, I, I love yeah, that, 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 that you know brings up a lot of very interesting questions. Is mm-hmm. visually very smart in the way yeah. that that, yeah. that they 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 you know Kevin Spacey is only a voice, but visual and the voice. the the Absolutely. smiling icon, the 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 emotive icon on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That film kind of got buried, didn't it? It came out. Oh, yeah. It's it's a it's a a victim of coming out in a in a decade or a year that was very strong for film, I think, because uh, very very uh, underrated. Yeah, I mean, it was yeah, David Bowie's film, wasn't it? Duncan ludicrously Jones. low budget. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, was, the, yeah. the budget on that is, set, is infinitesimal, right? And you know but, what? No, I've never seen Worlds of Warcraft movie, and like, not only do I like uh, Moon, I love Source Code, and I feel like Source Code is oh yeah, Source Code more yeah. less appreciated. Yeah. Well, I, I think the, the, oh, the, most the, of these they're, they're interesting things. In the so good. Like up. Source Code is so good. Pi yeah. Pi is a great example of a movie oh, that, that was made Pi. on yeah. on a very low budget yeah. and got. I mean, it, it may it may have been because I was in the the valley at the time, Silicon Valley, and and so everybody that I knew, um, you know, knew about Pi, and if, and if we met somebody that didn't, it was like, dude, you need to you need to watch this or whatever, right? The but that that's a, again a small indie film, you know, that that's that's filmed. I think it was filmed on Super Sixteen, if I remember right. Um, and it might have been. It, it's just. A, it's just Pretty a cheap. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 that's, not. Um, it's not just. Yeah, it. Is that Aronofsky who did Pi? Yeah, yeah it's Aronofsky, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I feel like I I watched uh, Pi with uh, the director commentary on there, and he was like, "I invented this uh, camera strap onto oh, the, the actor, the frontal know. camera." Yeah, 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 and like, boy. You know, like, does that seem like an impressive accomplishment? <laughs> Unless you've seen Trucker Turner. Yeah, it's like I invented that. Did you? Did you? I mean, you you may not have been aware of it. You know, <laughs> that you may have you may have invented reinvented something that was already there. But okay. Are you familiar with uh, films that Isaac Hayes? Has- <laughs> <laughs> Trick Turn is great. It's got a great soundtrack as well. Oh my God! There's yeah. nothing to dislike about Truck Turner. If you dislike Truck Turner, that, that's the, just, I actually like. I don't know what to say. To a, I actually oh, like that song better than Shaft. I actually, and it is pretty much yeah. the same. It is pretty much the same song it is as the well. Same it's song pretty much exactly Isaac the same. Hayes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The the one of, I, one of my I, favorite I was, tracks of all time is I uh, uh, there so so I had a I had a, a black classmate that that I was talking to like I don't know maybe ten or fifteen years ago, and I was making um, Rudy Ray Moore quotes, yeah, and he had yeah. never seen any of the Rudy Ray Moore movies. Oh wait, and I'm like, wait, what? You haven't seen Dolomite? I mean that that's that's like the basic bitch of of you know. Rudy Ray Moore stuff. And yeah, you have to see that. No. And I was like, oh my God. And, and he's like, How? dude, we grew up in the same town. Anyone listening right now, you have you're, to you're... see Dolomite and the Human Tornado. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm sure and Dee Wheatstraw, <laughs> the devil's Dee son-in-law. Wheatstraw is it. Yeah. But, but the, the, and he was like, well, I mean, we we went to the same places and, and, and saw the same. How the hell are you seeing black exploitation stuff that yeah. I haven't yeah. seen? And I was yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I mean, I was like the, 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 Oh, look, here's a thing on, 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 in the movie store and I'll just randomly grab it and, and watch it. And then I was like, Oh my God, I've got to see more of this. Right. And, and so you go through kind of the filmography of Rudy Ray Moore, which is an interesting dive. Um, and is high again, but there's a, there's an earnestness 
right there there's a there's a there's a genuine um you know attempt to make a movie right and and right right i yeah. i i will a bad movie where i can tell that the people were trying really hard and their and their you know their reach exceeded their grasp i i'll give that all kinds of grace the right. I the, mean, everyone likes homemade macrame and uh, <laughs> machine-made quilt. You know, like oh, sure, yeah, yeah, but yeah. The the authenticity is just over the top. Like yeah. it's just we're oh, yeah. going to do this. We are making this movie. Yeah, and again, what well, we have a vision, and we're going to do this. Oh shit, we may not know what we're doing. Uh, but fuck it, we're gonna plow through anyway, and we're going yeah. to deliver a film, and we take it seriously. Um, our competence may be somewhat problematic, but but yeah. we are trying to take this seriously and do the right things, right? And and tell a story. Okay, I'm 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 willing to to, to ride with you on that one. Yeah. I can't. Uh, I, 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 it, it. I have this cognitive dissonance with Eddie Murphy. And uh, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't really, I can't really prop him up in the last twenty years, except for the Rudy Ray Moore yes. movie. Yeah, oh, I, like, I agree. I agree. Well, it's so good. Oh, yeah. it's so good. It's oh, man. amazing. I have, absolutely, really? I have absolutely no faith that Beverly Hills Cop yeah. for the next one is going to be any good. No, like, no, oh, no reason. Man. No reason. To this, man. No yeah. reason to dislike. Yeah, that once he got really employed well. by Disney, I was out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that that really you know, like, more. Like again, it, it, when you see it, you're like, no, I absolutely believe that 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 was what was happening behind the scenes, yeah. and that when it's he, in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like, yeah, it just it feels like what what might have actually been happening right mm -hmm. yeah maybe a, yeah. maybe a good double bill with uh bowfinger oh god yes. maybe it just looks like well a bowfinger could probably be revisited bowfinger <laughs> i mean if you're gonna do that then revisit he loves leonard part Bo. six <laughs> well i leonard part six could probably be revisited Shut you know up. i mean you might want to change the no, actor no. You don't know. Like, yeah, we, I I want to run around with a helmet that says "Ipso facto." Right That's me. I I want to do that. I, I had mean. never seen the cat from outer space. I really? had never seen this film ever. What's wrong with you? Well, he's he's Not younger than purpose. us. He didn't. I'm he he really wasn't subjected younger. to the terribleness of seventies Disney. You know, uh, I gotta say that is one cute ass cat. You know, I. Uh, I've just checked that IMDb have got Leonard Part Six as it giving getting a two point two out of ten. Yes, well, and, it deserves and, it. I saw it in the and, theater. It is, it is, and, it, uh, is, it is a terrible movie. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes. I saw, again, I saw it when it came out. Seven <laughs> yeah. percent. Yeah, on Rotten yeah. Tomatoes. Yeah, oh. Leonard Part Six is fucking ridiculous. And, I don't and know. It, but it 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 so it it it's the okay. This is a bad movie, and it's falling down the cliff. It climbs up the cliff to become fucking hilarious because of how <laughs> bad it is. Yeah, yeah. Funny enough, on uh, Amazon's UK site, it gets 4.4 out of 5. So um, <laughs> we are much more discerning in the UK, clearly. <laughs> I think, I think time, has, time has helped that, where people go, oh, this is actually, this is yeah. shit, hilariously shit. The, yeah. the when it came out, it got brutalized and rightly so. Yeah, 1987 Dude, I, it was I, a really quite a strong year. I mean, Robocop was out that year. Predator I have a that prediction year. that the year that uh, uh, the year or the year after that uh, Bill Cosby dies is going to be a great year for uh, Letter Part Six and uh, Visible Dad. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, ghost dad, ghost dad, ghost dad. Yeah, we can only dad. hope. Well, um, so, so I, my wife, I, I just, I think within the last week, um, discovered that my wife had never heard of or seen Remo Williams' The Adventure oh. Begins. Oh, that's a great film. oh, great! Whoa. Okay, we'll see. So at some point, we're gonna have to have uh, Jay on uh, Total Recall, and I loved. That movie when I was a kid. 
I did I too. Yeah. And oh, by the way, too. white guy playing Oriental. All right. I know. Yeah. I know. And that was yet yeah, another film in which. Uh, it's very white. It's like Brilliant some straight up serious racism going on there. Yeah. <laughs> That's another one of those types of movies I was talking about on Brownie Stream last week, where they have the uh, the pro the program change, and you get the film that comes on instead of the sports ball thing that had already finished. Right, right. That also, was another topical. One. Yeah, topical because there was a, uh, uh, you know, they were working on the. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bridge, well, yeah. I'm glad that was enlightened. The, the funny Liberty. thing is, I I Statue of Liberty. Liberty. Oh, oh Liberty. yes, yes, yes. I the the, 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 I the Remo Williams up. stuff. So that, that's that's a hilarious. Again, it's it's very much of its era. I might fall asleep while I'm talking. <laughs> well, yes. don't the, fall asleep before this next short. The, the that's a short. The, Smilex, Smilex, Smilex gave us a short. We that had is... to sit through your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to put up with the otters. It's only a minute and a half. It's fine. I I no, I not couldn't read. Will there be shark clubbing? Stuff. Will there be shark clubbing? I'm, uh, I'm barely know. still in the room. That's. I don't know what pengu is. Is this a thing? It's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's going to find it's, out. It's a kids' TV show, and it ran for about. Six or seven years, it was really popular amongst it's very small children. That there's name no language got reused it, so for a video game. There's yeah, there's no there's no language in it, so it's all for babies really, because it's all just about you know the way it emotes and stuff. So it's, it's well, Jethro may be able to comprehend it at this point. No, in this is perfect, yeah, his level yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this I have is, indeed uh... pooped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> is... Ah, baby uh-huh. needs a change. <laughs> <laughs> Pengu's the thing which passed the initial copyright scan. Right. Let, let, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Pengu. All right. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is a children's show? No, this wasn't a children's show. This is a character is a children's show. It's a parody of the children's yeah. show? Okay. It looks almost like this. Diabetes. <laughs> 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 You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's great. Weird, it's pissed off. I don't want to spend all night tied to this fucking couch. <laughs> yeah. to this fucking couch. I'm all right. I'm all right. I I know you've been been through a lot. Let's show you all right my wrong as well. I'm this really is capturing the essence of the thing. I'm, really I'm down. Great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'm yeah. Really. for copyright, not for effect. I like the popsicle sticks. That's great. <laughs> oh my god! Nerf, nerf. Nerf, nerf. I mean, I, I have to say, the stop motion for that was better than the original oh. thing. <laughs> also, oh, I'm huge into the Keith David fan club. There are a few oh, actors, Keith, Keith David few makes actors I love yeah. more than Keith David. He's man. great. Yeah, he's great. As a seal, I think yeah. he's probably doing his best work. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh... One thing I'm grateful about this. Uh, live stream is that it tells me what my tolerance is because it's like where are you at with uh six gin tonics well i'll tell you <laughs> i'm right here this is where i'm at on the floor curled up in a ball no i'm still in my chair like you can throw up on a live stream you just can't show it yes. so yeah if it's audible <laughs> well it's is it artistic audible. is it artistic <laughs> Is it is are are you transforming the content? Yeah, yeah. Is this transformative vomiting? 
Well, sure, it's the laugh I can get, but this oh, is the God. laugh we want. Oh, today is the sixth. Okay, so we get another <laughs> chance. We oh get another God. chance to fucking. This motherfucker get... is going to go seven hours. Like, oh my God. I said, you promised me. Sorry. He's so. like, I'm going to do four because I got a headache. <laughs> I have drank myself uh, healthy. A uh, miracle of the first order. Hey, Let's go it, for seven hours. In yeah. Texas, it's 2 a.m. What time is it, Smilex? Um, it's uh, it's eight in the morning, it's ten past eight, eight in the morning. Oh, yeah, it's not right, is it? It's just We're at right. six hours, 11 minutes. Folks. <laughs> yes, yes, I okay. could not, yeah, I could not possibly. I, oh, well, Jethro, if you need to get out, uh, Jamalata really actually fell asleep, that. uh, during this. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, if I'm just being honest with myself, I really do have to pass out. I'm not gonna pour myself another drink. You're a working man. It's fine. Yeah. All right. And, Lord and loves I, a working man. You know, I I really worked hard today. We did 41 surgeries. Jesus Christ. 41 surgeries, which included an enucleation, and 27 spays. It's a lot. You know, it's like it's fucking. Smilex, you better sign up on the waiting list yeah. there. I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, Bob, Bob Barker would be proud of your efforts. I'm tired of drugs. Yes, he should be. You know what? R.I.P. Bob Barker. Yes. Let us. Let us. Let us just look. Why don't up you pour one out on the floor yeah, for Bob Barker? One. Well, it's Bob a carpet. Or so into your lap. That. That's fine. <laughs> I was really happy to get to see a, a Price is Right show with Bob Barker before. That'd be so tight. So tight. Yeah. That's I awesome. had a buddy that was a contestant. What a Price great. Right. Yeah, that's great. I got past the first interview, but I didn't pass the second round. Oh, my buddy made it to the showcase showdown. Shit. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Shit balls. Good night, Jethro. Good night, Good everyone. Night. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Have fun happy storming the toilet. <laughs> so I'll see you in a I'll see you in a week. Can't Love wait. You. Cheers. Good night. Later, Jethro. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we should probably wind it down. Do we want to uh do we want to bring up any of our, our old favorites or do we want to uh wind this bitch up? Everybody's gone to sleep. All right. We don't have uh any viewers. We have seven people watching. They that... all fell asleep. They have no idea what the fuck is happening. One of those or, or is them <laughs> yeah, one of those is my cell phone. Uh, Drew Gordon, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, everyone should go subscribe to Drew Gordon's channel. I, I, I am sorely right? tempted. I'm sorely tempted to have Black Knives on a show as a guest. I am too. I mean, as banging yeah. as he is in the chat, totally. if I could get him and Cider Feet, I would just sit back and and enjoy the the fireworks. Cider, Cider Feet is banging, and Kiranto's. When he when he shows up, is yeah. I bet I bet Black Lives sounds exactly like Matt Cat, which is why he's probably not. It could be. It could be. <laughs> I, I think I think he's a he's a it's an unusual mix of Barry White and Matt Cat. It's it's <laughs> it would be disconcerting. Awesome. Awesome. Somebody <laughs> fucked up yeah. his words. Oh my god! All right, guys. Well, let's wrap it up. It's been a really good show. I thought we had a really good discussion uh, regarding that. Uh, Capitalism video selling mm. the Negro. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I thought that brought up some really good stuff. And Our expectations were subverted. Given Indeed, the title. They were. Yeah. Indeed, they were. Turns out they're real people with money in their pocket. Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, just almost like us. God, it's brilliant. woke, woke. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God. Woke bullshit. No, I. Those are the moments that I really, uh, I, I appreciate most uh, doing the show. We have a lot of fun laughing and making fun of bad shit, but um, uh, being able to tease out sort of the truth and the historical context uh, of the past is the most delicious thing to me. So thank you both for contributing to that. And um, yes, it was a great show, Drew. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a well, good time. Yeah, he has been watching B-Sides. His taste is somewhat suspect. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I wouldn't join any club that would have me as a member. Exactly. But, yes. Uh, Thank you, Groucho. Yeah. Uh, uh, Smilex, 
Put your channel in the chat. These what? are my principles, and if you don't like them, well, I have others. Stu, this is my channel, really. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything. Oh, he was hoping for an upgrade. Oh, and... how disappointing for him. <laughs> Far too lazy to have a channel of my own, and uh, I don't need the grief. I let Atom take it all instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass, I'm going to tell you. It really sucks. Um, but yeah, but you're, you're just in it for the money. Oh, wait. No. Oh, no, wait no, no, that's really not money. money. Yeah. I got, I got 30 bucks a month from fucking Patreon. But I do want to thank you both for uh, pimping out the <laughs> B-roll and B-sides on your uh, uh, respective uh, guest spots on uh, Mr. Brown and everywhere else. So, uh, oh no, thanks, that fellas. That has to happen, doesn't it? I happen. believe I believe <laughs> that uh, you and Barbara are on the docket. Well, if unless Mr. Brown fucking pulls his thumb out of his ass and messages me, then let's that... not let's not you know get to uh, raise our expectations too high for for Brownie. I mean, well, I, there are I, limitations. I've, I've told Brownie that you know I don't have a fuck all to say about anything in the last 20 years i really don't I, I i hate everything that is happening in hollywood right now which is why i show grainy old black and white movies um but when he's ready to do blade runner or anything uh yes. anything, yeah uh, when he I, just yeah. The hey i'm there absolutely right yeah yeah, I, I, I would uh, I would certainly be more of a more vocal on those as well. I mean, I, I did try to get the energy level up a little bit on uh, on on Wednesday. Oh, that was that was a were, rough show to begin with. They were with. flagging, yeah. weren't they? They were really flagging yeah. this week. <laughs> oh, he's been he's been dredging. And, yeah, and, they they were they were running pretty low on energy on New Year's Day or New oh, Year's Eve. Uh, and, I, and I mean, Brian I, admitted to me afterwards. He did say, you know, it, it, it's nothing personal. I was just really, really, really tired tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tired in quotes. Well, he yeah. he had to leave the stream i was on because he had a domestic uh situation to oh, flare up and i was like oh <laughs> forgot to stuff the old bird did you you know you don't get that on b-sides uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right well you guys it's been a, a really wonderful show i started off feeling terrible and i i, I feel much better I feel like we covered some good. Well, ground. watch Andy's gang again. You'll go yeah. right back to terrible. And, I'll make uh, you watch it again if you don't. Fuck you will. Uh... Up. All right. Good night. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining the chat. Thank you everyone for uh, rewatching the uh, the replay. Rewatching the replay. Watching the replay and uh, give us a thumbs up. Please visit our Patreon. You can become a uh, really important person for just. Two you too can dollars. subsidize this shit. Uh, yeah. if, for a mere pittance, vote with your dollar or your two dollars or whatever it is, uh, your euros, your pounds, and uh, yes, many people doubt that you're actual people, but you can show that you are by engaging in commerce with B yes. sides because uh, B roll people are just like normal white people, and uh, we have uh, needs. Well, let's not go that far, let's 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 you know, come on. All right. Cheers, guys. Thank you, and good night. Uh, oh, my God. I have to pull a video out of the queue. Really? Fuck out of your what? Off. Hang on. It, you can only line up 10 videos in a row before you have to check it up. Right. Good night, everybody. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage, and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. And we're out.